sorry about that, babe. Well, surprisingly, uh, no mouse to be found in the trap, but I do hear them in the walls. Ah, yet again, guys, living in the woods. Especially when it starts getting cold, it's actually like fucking freezing tonight. So, the mice are gonna start trying to come inside. Anyways, back to the game. Alright, so we have a green ooze. What is this? A witch freeze, okay. All new enemies over here. Goblins. This is a dark archer. Hunter goblin. Alright, something to be uh, wary of. Another green hunter hunter. Anything up here? We got something blocking this. Gonna need like dynamite or some shit probably for that, right? All right. Well, I am unsure how to approach this. I'm gonna try to get like Chester and Jaha in the front, I guess. But I also don't want to be. Hmm. I'm like afraid to move like so far ahead immediately. Coming down, clearly. So this is an instance where Belly will get fucking killed, like, immediately. If he gets hit with Freeze. Like, there's no doubt. Like, it's gonna happen. So. Uh. I guess I'll leave you here? Oh, shit, I really wanted Kazen's turn, dude. Because I think we could do some serious damage with the Blaze 2 right now. I'm leaving myself uh, wide open to a freeze shot, but I'm going to hope that Kazen comes through, dude. This is what we need. Come on. Big money, big money. Ah, uh, the witch isn't dead. We're fucked, everybody. <laughs> We're about to get freeze dude. I don't think there's a chance that anybody gets a turn before. What? Okay, so that was actually best case scenario. I don't even know how to... How to explain that one. Considering I'm on the ouch difficulty, after all. Alright, whatever. Alright, Slade getting hit's not gonna be fun. Got some heals to do, but you know what? Oh, a double attack. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we're gonna try to kill you. Yeah, then we gotta get a heal off. For sure. Alright, so we got Kiwi. God, I keep calling him Kiwi, guys. I should just not even fucking rename anybody. <laughs> Belly. Alright, let's heal Slade first. Hey, we get that level up from all that healing that we've been doing, so can't complain. Alright, um, we got two goblins up there. I guess we'll just focus on you then. <clears throat> and I will push the issue on you. Um, hmm. So we can do... We can't do more than two. Alright, Lily, can you fucking sit down? Ay ay ay. Lily's freaking out because of the, the fucking the mice in the walls, she's just bumping into everything. Thank you. And if you choose to sit down. Oh, I forgot to heal Kazen, dude. I forgot. Oh, no double attack, thank you. 
Alright, I gotta heal him with a uh, medical herb, probably. Let's just do that now. Let's just do that now. Got myself another coffee. Decided to, uh... It's Saturday night, you know what? Fuck it, it's time to live a little. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is up with... Yeah, whatever. Better than nothing. <laughs> Let's just focus on killing who's in front of us. Doesn't matter who's hitting who. And I guess Kazen could finish it off. Here we go. He gets his revenge. He's like, you shoot me with a fucking arrow? Well, here's what happens. Alright. Should I... I'm gonna wait for him to come down a little bit more. Who's over here? Oh. Huh. It's another one of those, like, odd fucking battles. Like, I want the experience. I think I am gonna go this way. Thankfully, moving outdoors is so much easier in Shining Force 2 than it is in Shining Force 1. I just think it's uh, smarter to go this way, personally. got that defense though. Feel me? Alright, Kazen should probably be healed again. Yeah, B Belly is like a really weird character, dude. Very interesting choice by the devs, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Alright, so I can only do two more Blaze 2s, so I think I'm gonna chill with with Belmont, or excuse me, with Kazen, casting Blaze 2. I try to probably uh, do it towards the top of the battle, if possible. And now we'll just focus on eliminating these guys and work our way up and around, I guess, right? Because aren't there, yeah, there's still dudes up there, so. Yo, how did- didn't you just have a turn? What the fuck? Dumb as hell. Oh, where's my double attack? Uh, what is his attack right now? Hers is 15. Is 18, so no chance I will heal here. And I guess we could kill it with uh with Jaha. You know? <clears throat> Probably gonna get fucking popped over here by this this archer, but yeah, at least we can get get the first kill in. Well, first hit in at least. Probably not the first kill. 
Yeah. Hey, you know what? Keep... I wonder if the AI is targeting Belly because he has low HP. I mean, that would kind of make sense, right? Man, I'm not used to archers having, like, good defense. This guy's a fucking brick wall over here. Alright. Probably not gonna get the kill, so whoever attacks next will. Ah, Sarah's not fucking... I was gonna try to get it with Sarah. Oh well. Razor is a worthy candidate. And you know what? Since that one goblin is so close to us, I'll take care of him. And then we'll go up the right to take care of the, uh... The green ooze and the witch. But this dude's, like, right here. I'm sure he's gonna come down again. take care of the goblin. Or no, it wasn't the witch. Yeah, the witch was over up there, so it was another goblin uh, along with the ooze. Um, yeah, out of range, I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, attack increased by two. That's what we like to see, baby. That's what we like to see. You know, another, uh, like, strategy RP... Oh, fuck. Alright, we're good. Strategy RPG that I purchased probably close to, like, seven years ago now that I never played is Dark Wizard, I believe, on the Sega CD. I always thought it looked pretty cool. If anything, it looked a little slow-moving, but... I mean, it is what it is. If it's uh, enthralling enough, it shouldn't really matter. Um, I guess I'll move Jaha up this way. Boop. Oh, counterattack. I thought we were getting the double there. That would have been some sweet shit. Um, you know what? I'm okay with this. I have one Blaze 2 left. But it's fine. Nice. MP went up by 2. Perfect. Oops. Alright, let's work our way up and around now, as we planned. Try not to get popped by the fucking witch. <clears throat> Oh, he has no item, huh? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I'm glad that they're starting to come down to meet me. Alright. Um, it's fine. Hey, probably a little dangerous at this point with only 4 HP, but sneak an attack in there on the ooze. Oh shit, I didn't even know that that was a, uh, oof. Alright. Alright. <laughs> it's time to get serious, people. As soon as I say that, Jaha gets a crit, so what do you know? 
But, uh, yeah, dude. Chester. <sighs> what do I do? Do I attack? I'm worried Chester's gonna get killed. Let's see. Can somebody with an herb? Alright, Chester could heal himself then. Move you out of the, uh... Yeah, healing seed's probably more appropriate. Probably more appropriate right now. Good choice by me. Very good choice by me. And now he is going to be mincemeat. Eh, you know what? We'll get you the kill, Jaha. So I don't know if promotion could start at level 10 in this game, or if it's at level 20. I'll have to look that up. Alright, so I think only two enemies remain. Yep. I do gotta be careful though, because those are obviously the two most dangerous enemies uh, from this battle, so... Gonna heal on belly here. So he doesn't like accidentally get like critted and double attacked or some fucking bullshit and die in like a turn or two. And I just gotta be careful about how I approach my positioning. Alright, they're starting to come over. Kinda wanna keep Kiwi or fuck, I'm gonna keep doing it guys! <laughs> keep Belly off the front lines so he doesn't get frozen here. Huh. Still opting to do a physical attack. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting. gonna do this to guarantee myself the kill yeah it would have been nice obviously to give the experience to maybe belly or something but better safe than sorry Oh, you didn't take the bait. Targeting that low HP. So in a way, actually, I'll say this. Belly is actually probably very fucking useful on the ouch difficulty. Because so far on the ouch, from what I've read and what I've experienced, it seems to target the hero, the healers and the mages, and people generally with low HP. So it's almost like they're seeking out attacking Belly, which if it's a physical attack is fucking wonderful, obviously. I'm gonna try not to to heal here. What are you at, Sarah? 54. I really don't want to attack with you. <laughs> You've had had your uh, fair share of attacks this fight, buddy. Hey, belly. That defense went up again, baby. All right, I have an idea. My idea is to not kill the Hunter Goblin. Might be stupid. We'll see. I want to see if I can get Sarah the kill somehow. Uh, what, what's he at? Hold up. 22. 20. 23. 14. 19. 15. 24. Alright, we're gonna stay. Uh, I guess 
What are we at? Six? I think I want to attack with... Yeah, sucks. Oh well. I want to attack with Belly. And then see if I can sneak in with Sarah. Move you out of the way. Attack with Belly. Then the next person will move. Ah, Belly got the kill. It wasn't in the cards, people. It wasn't in the cards. Oh my, hey, are you okay? Oh! Uh, a big rock fell on me. Huh? Where is it? It's, um... Razor, how come you're here? What a fool. We came to help you. You'd be dead if we hadn't come. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I remember. A huge rock fell on me after you left. <laughs> it must have knocked me out. Anyway, thank you. Look at that, the tunnel was blocked by a rock slide. Oh, what a pity. Treasures may lie within. I guess we'll never know. Razor, let's go back to the ship. Looks like that the ship is uh, all torn apart. <clears throat> Look at that, Razor. They finished up breaking up the ship. Oh shit, there it is. New Grand Seal. But our Grand Seal is much more beautiful. Cheer up. They worked hard to build their new town. One year has passed. Look at that. <laughs> our town is being rebuilt, as you can see. But we'll be better off if there are no accidents. You're too young to spend your time guarding our new home. You are the soldiers of Grand Seal. Do your best to improve our new home. King Grand Seal. <coughs> King Grand Seal. All the people of Grand Seal have been working hard for an entire year. Please thank them for their hard work. Uh, I have nothing to say. Nothing? Mm, Alright. Sir Astral, please speak in place of our king. Um, okay. I got it. One year has passed since we came here. The castle, the town, everything is coming along nicely. But we lack something. What is it? It's trading. We need to make alliances with other towns. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. Thank you, sir. That's all for today. You may go now. I feel Ellis is still alive. Razor, please prepare a ship for me. I would like to go back to Grand's to find her. Time goes by very quickly. Those two jewels around your neck always remind me of that. Hey, I kind of read that normally this time. I didn't fuck it up. The chain is made of mithril. It can't be cut. Everything is, uh, is everything okay, Razor? Can these young men guard our new town? The king is no longer what he was. Got anything in these vases? What? Alright, let's uh, take a gander around the joint here. Oh, this looks like our headquarters. Razor, take it easy. Gotta be something here. Hello? Really? Nothing? Oh shit! Warrior Pride. So... That promotes warriors... So that would promote Jaha's class to something else. Um, obviously we're not gonna be using it anytime soon, but you know, all right. I think that might have been it. I'm just surprised there's so many freaking barrels, dude, and there's like nothing in any of them. Did I check this one? I did, right? Empty. Oops. 
Cheerful bread. Uh, is that like bread of life? Probably. I'm gonna hang on to that as well, just cause I don't really know. <laughs> um, let's pass some items along too. And let's also give the warrior's pride to Belly. Alright, I think it's probably time to go out into the town. Also, we can see what kind of maybe uh, new weapons and shit there are. Grand Seal Castle. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm cool. You need permission to enter. I was told to say that, but nobody ever comes. Oh, you guys. Can't be too sure. I'm just investigating. Well, good to know that the town still has the same theme song. A strange animal? Really? Yeah, it's a very big bird. People are surrounding the bird. Should we talk to it? It'd be a good opportunity. I'll go see the bird. You tell the king about it. So that bird that they're guarding? Oh, Razor. Good timing. There's a strange animal in town. It's very exciting. That bird is none other than Peter. The strongest fucking character in the game, dude. He's a fucking animal. But... There's a catch. Early on, you can't control him, which is kind of frustrating if you're trying to get, uh, out to lunch. If you're trying to get fucking, like, planned out experience, you know, he can come in and snipe your kill. Angel wing. Eh, we're just gonna, like, sell that as soon as we can. The hell? <sighs> Probably sell the antidote as well. <laughs> and this game loves throwing fucking like low level healing items at you and shit. A well? Throw something in? What? Uh, sure. A lot of water. For a second I thought it was going to take me through my uh, inventory, but it didn't. Healing seed I will gladly hold on to, but yeah, the angel wing and the fucking... Antidote? I'm going to sell that shit. Oops. Healing drop. I still haven't looked up what the healing drop is. I gotta look at the manual when I'm done playing. I can't remember if it heals a lot, heals all, heals multiple people, it's something. Just don't know what. Anyway. I'm gonna join in on staring at Peter. Ooh, it's big, I wanna touch him. Oops. Haha, <laughs> you missed, let me try. Oh, he's fast. Hey, he's over there. Okay, my turn. Gosh, she's quick. Stop! Stop this! Amazing, he speaks! Of course I do! Is this how you greet strangers? Shut up, bird. Oh, barbaric! I didn't know humans were so impolite. What? Those boys are about to hit the bird. Stop! What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I must apologize for their actions. Welcome to Grand Seal, I'm the minister. We just settled here. We're strangers here. <laughs> you're right. But, I'm very happy to meet a man like you. Please stay here as long as you like. Let me introduce you to King Grand Seal. Follow me, please. Alright, I guess we're going back to the king. Doo doo doo. Here we are. Are you a phoenix? The legendary bird? Yeah, I'm a phoenix. A legendary? I don't know about that. You are legendary, Peter. I read that a phoenix serves as a god. God? Ah, Volcanon. Luke calls him a god. As long as he watches over us, nothing can break the peace of Parmesia. 
Paul Cannon? The great being who created Earth? Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Please let me go with you and meet Paul Cannon. Um, okay. To tell the truth, I hurt my wing during this trip. I stopped by to ask for help. But I don't want to trouble you. Don't worry. These lads love trouble. Razor. Why didn't you tell me you were here? Did you listen to our conversation? You know, it's time for us to set out. We're going to Mount Volcano with Peter. It's in the Far East. Sir Astral. You said you're going too? No. Why not? We came here just a year ago. We're still learning about this country. You're needed here. He's right. You must stay. Razor, please take your party with you and go with Peter. Astral, do you agree? Hmm. Yes. Then they're my companions. I'm Peter. I really appreciate your kindness. Vol Mount Volcano is in the east. It's very far away. Razor decides to take Peter with him. So like I said, you can you don't control Peter, but he is on your party right now. Minister, bring the gift. Yes, sir. A parting gift. Take it. Hundred gold coins. Good luck, Razor. Find as many friends as you can on your journey with Peter. So that's funny. I was searching that shit earlier and there was nothing in there. What did they just throw the gold coins in like two minutes ago? Give me a break. Anyway. What's up, boy? Alright, let's sell some shit here. Don't need that. Don't need that. And from the looks of it, you don't sell weapons. Yeah. And the priest is down here. Do they not have a weapon shop here yet? I guess it's entirely possible. Are my friends still playing? Nobody came to find me. Razor, you look so sad. Are you going somewhere? Hmm. Maybe the uh, weapon shop's being built over here. Oh, no, there it is. Listen, I've invented something. An explosive. You can blow up the rocks blocking the North Cave with it. Ah, uh, no, you can't. You'll be blown up, too. Alright. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the workaround. But obviously there is one. Ah, oh, you don't have any weapons? Wait, what? So if you talk to the store owners from the side, they don't have anything. Interesting. With that being said, we do have a... Sword upgrade, right? Middle sword? And what about the hand axe? Let's see. Oops. Middle sword is definitely an upgrade. And so is the hand axe. Let's grab those. Is this a new spear? I think it might be. Oops. Nope, no, nope. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. You know me. I love my spears. Saw the bronze lance. And I guess... Even though we can't control him yet, I think I'm gonna give one of these to Peter. Alright. Let's uh, save and head out towards Malt Mount Volcano. Not Malt. I got uh, sweet drinks on the mind. Yeah, it's still weird when you don't have save on the top like the first game. Because my instinct is to just like hold the button down when you get there. But, oh well. Alright. 
let's continue on a little bit. Alright, where are we headed? So like I said, this game is like a little bit more open-ended than the first Shining Force, so you can kind of like wander around a little bit almost. As you can see. This is where we were battling earlier, right? And we can't go in here yet, I don't think, because of the... Really? Nothing's there? Not a gigantic uh, thing of rocks? Alright, so clearly this isn't the right way to go. Which is fine. Doesn't look like anything on the shore either. Oh yeah, we ride down there later, I think. Oh. Battle time. What do we got? Uh, looks like the same crew as last time, except we now have a vampire bat. Who knows Blaze too? Okay. Okay. Definitely something to, uh, consider. It's a very wide open fucking fight, huh? Alrighty. Let's see how aggressive or not aggressive they are. We might have to, uh, push the issue a little bit here. So, the witch and the vampire bat are the ones that we gotta be careful about when we're near due to spells. And again, for reference guys, I am not controlling Peter. Uh, you can't control him until I think after Mount Volcano. Which sucks, but nothing you could do. Oh, let's go. Put that new sword to use, baby. Pretty good uh, level up, too. Two HP, one attack, two defense. Not bad. As much as I want to raise the attack, I also want Razor to be like... Or, yeah, Razor to be pimped out at this point. Another level up. I've kind of like neglected uh, Chester lately in my efforts to level up Slade and Kiwi and, or excuse me. I, you know what, I should have really never renamed him. Belly, god damn it. Again, do a drinking game, guys. The amount of times that I fuck up the same names over and over again. <clears throat> Maybe we could say birth name Kiwi. Uh, fucking nickname is Belly. Oh, a second attack. Are you kidding? Not optimal, people. Not optimal at all. Gotta get him out of there. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, there was a potential for Chester to die there, for sure, so... I'm happy with that. Um, that's a bit odd, but... Hear me out. Assuming Kazen gets his turn, which he does. And then we just, uh, fucking blaze too. Double kill, should be. Alright, good shit. Now we gotta heal Chester. Alright, where are the next enemies? Giant bat. Over there. Over there. I'm guessing that's the town that we need to go to? <sighs> Can't get into those caves until later. Man, what do we got down here? Hmm. I'm just gonna, like, I guess, kinda move, sorta. 
Oh shit, didn't realize he was still alive. Oh, he had one- he didn't die? Man, I was like totally like out to lunch, I wasn't even paying attention. Did not realize that he didn't die. But didn't want to take any chances. So I'm glad I took the kill as it presented itself, you know? Peter's fucking potato AI for Peter right now. Strongest freaking dude. You know? And he's just loafing around, not doing shit. Alright, need these enemies to make a move. Because I am out of range, basically. So fucking do something. But don't put me to sleep or poison me, please. Also, thanks for not using Blaze, too. Alright, let's go in, people. Let's go in. Hey, nice. careful actually. In case he gets blazed too, he might die. Peter, can you fucking do something? You jerk off. You could have attacked that fucking bat for me. What an ass. bad spot right now. I couldn't really put anybody there. Ugh, I don't want to get blazed, dude. Fucking Chester might get my croak here. Nah, he won't. He'd have to get double attacked. Which, again, I guess is fucking possible, but... Oh, killing me here. Well, now he's got the free pick of our litter. Whatever he's gonna attack. Oh, Belly's dead. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what I said. Unfortunately, <sighs> Belmont is very susceptible to magic. Pretty much anything kills him. I mean,. Any level 2 spell will insta-kill him. I guess he has like a fighter's chance to survive some level 1 spells, but even that. Potentially. Right, I want to take this vampire bat out as quickly as possible. Of course, we're missing. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Oh my god, Peter! Thank you! Thank you for joining the fray! About time. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack, fuck it. I did not want to put everybody in harm's way of another Blaze too, so... Take this dude out. Still have another one to take care of, but it's okay. Gotta heal up uh, Razor before we push on. Give me a Slade turn. Should I do Chester? Where's Slade at? 73. Hmm. Hmm. 
Alright, let's get this kill, Slade. I saved him for you. I saved him for you, baby. Attack up by two. Good shit. Definitely have some dangerous enemies uh, left on the board still. Mostly due to the magic threat. Which way should I go for south? Yeah, I think south is the way to go. Man, I just hit a brick fucking wall. I am probably gonna hit the sack after this fight and maybe some town exploration. Your boy is getting tired. It's tough being uh, close to the middle of 30 these days, you know what I mean? Alright people, come on. Damn, Sarah could like, freaking get like a uh, 40 to 50 experience points each fucking fight just from heals, man. It's good shit. Good business model. Alright, any day now, people. Ooh, okay. Was it freeze one? Yeah. Well, that's fine. Not ideal, but fine. And now we just hope that we kill the witch quickly, by any means necessary. Really don't care how we do it. Fine by me, buddy. Fine by me. heal Kazen, especially with the people approaching from the other side soon. Just kind of baiting out the ooze. Feel free to do as you please, Mr. Ooze. Alright, we got one more heal left. One MP away from... Come on, there we go. Hey, we got heal level two now, perfect. Oh shit, Peter's going rogue. Peter's gone rogue, I repeat, Peter might get fucking killed. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Well. Send in backup then, I guess. Hopefully kill this guy in two hits and then try to go save Peter before he gets fucking bombarded by physical attacks and magic. He legitimately might get killed. Peter, Peter, Peter. What's your attack now, dude? 22? What's yours? 26? Uh, nah, I'm not really liking your chances of an outright kill here, so... I'd rather have Jaha, Jaha do it. Fuck, dude. Peter! Why? Why did you go by yourself? You got heavy attacked. You son of a bitch. I don't think we're going to be able to save him. Because his AI is going to fucking attack again anyway. Oh man. Stupid ass Peter. Yeah, he's going down. Miss, 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 miss. Hey, there you go. You just got to talk to it sometimes. How about that shit? Let's go, Peter. 
at least kill the goblin. Thank you. He leveled up now. That's good. Look at those beast stat upgrades, man. Oh, let's go. Blaze 2 up in this bitch. Excuse me. Coming on in. Oh! Look at that fucking dodge, dude. Look at that fucking dodge. Well, that sucks. We could have killed this, uh... Well. Got lucky. Got lucky. Still got the kill. I'm right on the button. Alright. Yeah. I kind of thought Peter would get killed, but... You know what? I guess he did his job, so... Let's get another heal in. Maybe I'll get more experience because it's heal too, I can't remember. Like 16 or 17 experience? Perhaps? 10 points? Sure, whatever. Yeah, let's kill this fucking bat. Bam! Let's go. You love to see it. Now let's head to the town. We got some reviving to do, that's for sure. Alright. Hmm? You're a spy from the new town, aren't you? You're back again. Mayor, mayor. Hey, I'm no spy, buddy. Uh, everything is locked. Historian Passeron? Passeran? Everything's locked, guys. Ah, uh, boy. Dude, this guy's pushy. Who are you? What are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! A group of soldiers were just here. Soldiers must be waiting beyond the gate. Be careful. You're so persistent. What do you want? You suddenly appear in Parmesia and build a castle? I don't know who you are, but all the big cities like war. I've never seen such impolite and violent guests. He's right. You came here to capture Permesia. We'll never obey you. Go away. You talk too much. Hey Razor, why don't you say something? I can't stand this. Hey you, I think you understand how I feel, but listen to me. Why? I'm not from Grand Seal. I just visited there. You think they came to Permesia to conquer it? Well, you're wrong. They're forced to leave their island due to a disaster. They're good people. You don't have to be so paranoid. Who are you? I'm Peter. I'm a phoenix that lives in Mount Volcano. A phoenix? The legendary bird? I don't know if we're legendary or not. I'm very glad to meet you. Oh, they're friends of yours. Wait. Oh, they're friends of yours. My, my. Okay, I see. Of course, we of Ribble will become allies of Grand Seal. I promise that we'll welcome you when you just visit us again. Well, Thank you for the very late warm welcome there. What's this fucking creep doing? I can't find it. The hidden door to the ancient ruins must be near this tree. There's a hollow to put something into. Yeah, 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 I remember that shit. Ooh, another weapon shop. Let's explore a little bit. Let's talk to this dude. Men are so selfish. My husband has gone east to work. What about me? Bright honey. Yeah, I got a lot of reading to do. A lot of reading to do on these items, man. Oh shit, there she is! The people in this village are cowards. When do they ever go adventuring? I can't take it anymore. Hey, would you mind if I join you? May the ranger has joined the force. Alright. Now let's go! Good shit. Alright, we gotta do some reviving here. I think it's what, Belly and Peter? But uh, I'm very glad that we got a ranger on the force. Because I actually think May is decent. Oh! I forgot to tell you guys. Peter fucking revives himself because he's a phoenix. He rises from the ashes. So you never have to revive him after a battle, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Alright, let's continue exploring the town here. The town of Ribble.
about that. Oh yes, we already talked to you. <laughs> to Mount to Jesus. <laughs> to Mount Volcano? Go east and then go north along the river. A cave is there, but I don't recommend that you enter such a terrible place. We call it the Cave of Darkness. You can't see anything inside. The cave is the only way to get to Mount Volcano. You know, I, I vaguely remember that fight. Alright, what do we got here? I think... Maybe the dagger is the only thing that's an upgrade? Middle sword, spear, hand axe, let's see. Oops. Middle sword, short rod, spear, hand axe, short rod. Yeah, I think the dagger is an upgrade. Let's see here, Slade. Bump up to 25, you're a real, real boy now. Sell the short knife. Okay, so I did a little bit of reading last night uh, after I finished. So, the healing drop uh, indeed heals more than the healing seed. Um, I still actually <laughs> don't remember what the fairy powder does. But, there was a couple other things that I think I remember, so let's see. I wanted to go over it real quick with you guys. Also, I don't think I really noticed earlier, but Jogurt is literally on the Churrup sandals. I somehow never noticed that, but Jogurt from the first game is there. Uh, obviously we know what that does. The Bright Honey... Alright, so the Cheerful Bread is basically the Bread of Life. The Warrior Pride, when you promote, uh, allows you to upgrade your warrior to a different path. Um... And I think that the Bright Honey is a MP upgrade? Let's just double check. I believe that it is a boosting item. Yes, the Bright Honey increase is a permanent MP boost. So, I'm actually tempted to give it to Kazen. And I think I'm going to. Just to clear up some item space. Oh, nice! So, it's a range of 2 to 4 for your upgrade, and I got 4! So, pretty much best case scenario. But, the other item that I wanted to check... I'm so familiar with the items in Shining Force 1 that I sometimes can't remember everything in Shining Force 2. The, uh, what was it? The, um, Fairy Powder. Okay, so it... Cures poison. Okay, so it's basically like a status condition. It's not just poison, it cures sleep as well. So let's definitely buy one of those. I feel like there's a fight coming up where like you get put to sleep a lot. I'd give it to fucking Peter, but I don't even control him right now. So I guess I'll give one to May. You know what, I'll actually give one to Peter as well, just for later. Alright, I think we're... We're all stocked up and ready to rock, which is good. <clears throat> so let's continue on here in the town. Um, my dear husband never returned from the cave. The cave was somehow blocked. How do I explain this to my son? Passaran and I are pupils of Mr. Road. You know, actually, I always thought it was R-H-O-D-E, but I guess it's R-O-H-D-E? I guess it's still Road, right? Of Hassan. The ancient ruins around here are very interesting to us. We sure... We're sure that there are ruins under Ribble, but we can't find the door. I'll find it before Passaran. I think that the tree has something to do with it, which it does. You have to put something in the tree in the town here, and then you could uh, open up the passageway. A very deep well. Alright, let's go investigate the middle area. There's definitely something here. Well, we know about the tree, but... 
My dad went to the cave in the north, but I'm not worried. He's very strong. Huh. I thought it was there. I'm telling you there's something here. Am I just wrong? There we go. Hmm. And I got the bright... There's a bright honey here. I'm pretty sure I got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue on. Oh, I didn't notice this up here. We recently came from Hassan. Hassan is a port in the south. It was once a very prosperous... Excuse me, it was once very prosperous, but now it's desolate. I do apologize, guys. As I'm recording this uh, around midday on Sunday, but I'm freaking tired. But you know what? The Shining Force was calling me. It needed to be played. Our ancestors came from Ruin, a southern island, long ago. Since then, we've traveled up here. The mountains to the north block our journey. Are you going to Mount Volcano? That's Peter's hometown. It's like, I guess we're done here? Let's just actually grab another quick save. I'm pretty pumped that uh, Kazen got that 4 MP bump. That was uh, some good shit. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was fucking waiting for it. Alright, I have to reset now. I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later, guys. I knew it. There we are. Okay. I'll leave that in for the lulls. There will be no editing, uh, that out. Alright, so... Ribble... I'm guessing we probably... Go south, right? I'm trying to think about the last battle. We can't get there yet. Then there was this cave. I think that's the Cave of Darkness, right? I also wanted to point out that there is a battle in this game, and I don't know if it's this one, but I feel like it's somewhat early, where it'll keep, like, respawning, if I remember correctly. Like, if you keep, like, walking on and off the screen, it'll keep popping back up, which I guess is, like, an ever-looping, uh, grind battle. But anyways. Um... Well, shit, dude. I don't want to go to the cave yet. I think the cave is, like, probably the next battle. Let's take a look here. We got two goblins. Another vampire bat. Three goblins. A mage. Two vampire bats. So this is the new enemy here, right? Dark dwarf. Ooh, a power ring. I think we're gonna get a drop here, people. Alright. So we gotta make sure, actually, <laughs> whoever kills her has to have a free item spot. So Jaha cannot? Shit. Ooh, a lot of people can, actually. I gotta make sure that I use up my, uh, my items then. So maybe this will be like a, uh, healing seed, healing herb type of fight here. The one thing, too, that I can't remember, um... Ah, shit. I remember you get, like, a caravan later on, and I can't remember if that allows you to store items, or if you're automatically allowed to store items at headquarters in this game. I really don't recall. Sucks, like, everybody's fucking out of range here. It's, dude, this fucking archer is, like, Hanging on by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Yep. 
Well, at least he finally got hit by somebody. Dude, you can already see, like, the absolute tank that is Peter. That fucking movement, though. Dude, we were so close. That sucks. <clears throat> nice. Even nicer. Yeah, I made sure in this playthrough to be a little bit more proactive with my uh, with my hero. So I felt like in my most recent Shining Force one playthrough. I kind of took it way too easy with uh, Max slash Razor. He didn't really start leveling up until I got the uh, Sword of Light, which that's when it becomes pretty safe to start attacking. Oh damn, May's level 10? Holy. burn my items, I'll just be like, I'll double check before I attack that uh, person with depowering. That it's not somebody with a full inventory. see here. This is definitely going to be the next wave, but it's going to take a turn or two to get there. Oh man, that, uh... Ay! Yo, that is a sick staff. What the fuck? It's like an actual track. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. That's gonna kill her. Probably will, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll take a level up. I definitely want to continue uh, focusing on leveling up Slade as much as possible. And Kazen's mobility is uh, shitty in this fight. Alright, there we go. Finally got him moving. Oh shit, I forgot Chester uh, got hit. I don't want Jaha to fucking get the kill, so we're just going to use an herb here. Probably a bad idea, because I'm sure the Dark Dwarf uh, could hit pretty hard, but I don't know. Oh wait, maybe I can get the kill of May. I don't remember what her attack is. Ah, really? That sucks. Well, it'll be a perfect opportunity uh, to get a kill with Sarah. Uh, I guess I could do Belly. What's Sarah's experience at? 24. Hmm. I'm actually gonna hold Belly off. I'm gonna see if I can get Sarah the kill. There we go. 
I'm trying to do a better job of leveling up my healers, since I usually neglect them in Shining Force 1. My last playthrough, the only healer I had on my team was Chris, and she was like severely underleveled, honestly. The only reason she ended up like learning some decent stuff down the stretch was because I had to do like the last battles like three times, because the one time uh, Dark Dragon fucking one hit KO'd <laughs> Max with a uh, Bolt 4, which I didn't even remember him having. And the second time I was about to beat it, and I accidentally aggressed with the quick ring like an idiot. Alright, vampire bat. Poisoned. Sorry, Peter's coming to the rescue. Oh! Damn. Uh, I guess I will detox, right? Does this give me experience? I don't remember. Eh. Could be better. Could be worse. This would be a kill for Kazen, but uh, Peter couldn't hit it, so... Remains, huh? Maybe sneak another kill with the uh, Slater belly, or even Sarah. Let's do Slater. Oh, you know what? Let's get greedy and up fucking do Sarah, cause Slate and Belly are gonna. Oh, dude. Oh, I didn't remember that. I totally forgot. Ah, oh, I fucking forgot. And I got greedy. <laughs> A word of the wise, folks. Don't get greedy. Now we're getting bombarded by, uh... Magic spells, which is never good. And then, at the end of the day, Peter fucking gets the kill anyway. Ah, oh, man. So now I gotta heal Slade, and fucking Belly died when he was gonna easily level up again. Which sucks. Feels real bad. Alright, let's heal Slade, and then we gotta, like, move, uh, Razor out of there so we don't get blaze tooed. Hmm. Oh, we should be able to kill the vampire bat if we hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's use it. Clearing up some item space while doing, uh, you know, good deeds with the heals. Alright. I'm pretty sure that that Dark Dwarf is like the battle trigger end, so you gotta be careful there. Get a crit. Damn it. Hey, it's not a crit, but I'll take the double attack. One less magic user to worry about. Although Slade is in definite uh, might die territory at the moment. Yes, Slade might perish. Depends when his turn is. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. Nope. Not good at all. Slade's going down, people. Yep. Slade's gonna die. Fuck. We gotta kill... Oh shit, does Jahana have a... Oh, thank god. I couldn't remember. I, 
I was so wrapped up in Slade not getting killed that I couldn't remember if Jaha had a fucking <laughs> empty spot for the powering, which I'll honestly probably give to Slade. Uh, I am actually going to use an herb because the AI might target Slade a little bit since he's on low uh, HP. <laughs> She's got to be pretty close to leveling up at this point as well. Ain't no thing. And that's exactly why I used that herb. He would have been targeted. I was correct. Um... Yeah, there's no way that she can kill the, uh... Kill that thing. There we go. Yeah, Kazen's mobility is, uh... I'm definitely not a fan of these terrains, I'll say that. Well, all in all, this fight wasn't too, too bad. We'll see how hard this guy hits. Yeah, Chaha's got good defense, so... Um... Soften this guy up. Thank you, Peter. I'm so glad that Peter chose to get the experience and not to fucking try to end the fight. Perfect. Yeah, Peter, just absolute unit. Love him. What is May's experience at? Holy shit. Yeah, I figured it was 98. Oh, I don't have any more MP. Um, Alright then, move you up here. Let's get a level up! Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. 8 damage. Wait, what? The Dark Dwarf only gave 27 experience? What the fuck? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah, that's right, let's give, uh... The Power Ring... ...to Slade. And let's check this shit out. 26, up to 31. Who's my best attack right now is the question. 29. 27. 29. I think the answer is Slade, huh? Oh, it might be Peter, but... Thirty-three. Yeah. So Slade is my second best attacker now, which is pretty sick. Okay. So I notice I'm still getting audio hiss in this playthrough, but it doesn't seem to be, like, as bad as it was when I was playing Shining Force 1. So I guess that's a positive. Um, what is up here? And this is just gonna loop us back around, right? Yep. Okay, so there's a bridge. Dude, I'm worried about getting into a fucking... <laughs> worried about getting into a fight again. <clears throat> so... I'm pretty sure... 
that there's something over here. I could be wrong, though. Nothing was there. Hmm. I could be wrong. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Alright, where is the, uh... Is the Cavern of Darkness? It has to be that cave that was all the way in, uh, back there, right? Because I can't do anything here. Right? There was another bridge up top. Definitely, this game is so much more vast than the first Shining Force. It's obviously, like, fairly easy to get lost at times. Obviously not on par with, like, other JRPGs when it comes to open-endedness, but... Alright, so we can go that way. Hmm. Trying to see... Anything here? Seemed like a weird little divot. Seems like a lot of just open areas with nothing really going on, right? Let's go check over to the left real quick, uh, and then I guess we're gonna head back to that cave. I mean, I don't know. I don't see anything else. Oh, is this the Cave of Darkness? Hmm. Interesting. Huh. I'm guessing this is the Cave of Darkness. So what the fuck was the other cave, then? So, note to self to go over that one bridge and check out that cave, but I'm telling you, I feel like... Shouldn't there be, like, another town or something somewhere? Or am I literally just going into caves at this point? Because everything does kind of seem like a dead end beyond those two caves. Hmm. Also, I guess we'll find out if that battle uh, resets itself or not, right? Alright, so... This is where the battle took place. And there was a cave over here somewhere. Then there was also that other cave. What is this? I'm Passeron of Rivel. I'm studying the ancient petroglyphs. Rode told me about a family who has an ancient tomb in Parmesia. According to my studies, this house should be around here somewhere. Or maybe it's to the east. Okay. So I can't go in here yet, which is fine. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Again, I don't think that there's anywhere else to go but that cave, and they did mention that cave previously. Allegedly there's supposed to be a house to the east, but I don't know, I don't see anything, do you? <clears throat> I ain't seeing shit. You go down here and it just loops you all the way back up. So... Let's see. And there's the bottom bridge, the top bridge. The top bridge is what ultimately brings us to the cave. You can't walk across that. Nothing here. There is the mithril here. Let's see. Yeah, can't cross. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to the cave next. 
pretty sure I've exhausted all my options, so. Before we do that, let's just make sure we poke around everywhere. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hmm. The terrain seems really weird over here, though. It's almost like too empty. I don't know. But I'm not seeing anything. And I don't think anybody died in the last battle, so... Alright, on to the Cave of Darkness, then. <clears throat> You'll come to the foot of Mount Volcano through this dark cave. But I heard this cave is home to a hobgoblin. Yes, it is. Ooh, who said that? Me, the Hobgoblin. Oh shoot! Welcome to my home. Enjoy your visit because you're not leaving. Damn. Alright, let's get a lay of the land here, people. <clears throat> I think this is going to be another fight of uh, waiting for people to come to us. So there's a bottleneck, area to the left, two dark doors, and a Hunter Goblin. Another Hunter Goblin. Uh, kind of an open area over here with a bunch of bats. Yeah, this is a dangerous fight, dude. This is a dangerous fight. Let's see. Well, we don't have to worry about, uh... Whatchamacall early. Magic, at least, but... Good God, there's a lot of magic users in this fight. Oh, I didn't revive Belly! Hold up. I'm gonna retreat. I forgot about Belly. The only reason I remembered is because of the whole magic user thing. <laughs> we'll see if we can get a hit in before we aggress, but I doubt it. Nah, Peter. Peter didn't feel like moving much, which is fine. Let's go heal Belly. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, dude. Like, the only thing I could think of for Belly is to level him up, and... I mean, I guess I could've used, like, uh, whatever the bread of life is in this game. Or it raises your HP. I mean, I, I probably could've used that. But even then, like, as soon as we start getting into the, uh... The heavier duty spells, beyond, you know, Blaze 2, for example, he'll still just start fucking dying all the time. It's unfortunate. Do, do, do. But yeah, again, that uh, scene transition that we just did to move over to the east here. I don't know if it's right there, but there's a certain instance in the game where you could finish a fight, but there's like a designated event trigger block where you just get thrust into another fight again. And I don't know if it was that one and I avoided it because I went on the top, but I remember it being really annoying when I was a kid because I was like, I don't feel like fucking doing this again. I have to cast a grass and then walk a different way. But anyway, I still think the best maneuver here is to go to the left. It sucks because it seems like everybody's moving very slowly. A little bit of a cramped arena, obviously. We'll see the movements of everybody here. Not really moving. So they're moving, which is interesting. Just wanted to look around here again real quick. Treasure chest. 
Hmm, do I have to get that in the fight though? Probably not, but... Yo, Peter can't even fucking move down here. He didn't even move! What the hell? At least I don't think he did. The only good thing about this fight, even though it's gonna be kind of difficult... Oh, I love that, uh, that background terrain here for the attack animations. But what I was gonna say is, at the very least, um, it's a small arena. So even though it's cramped, there's not too much to really, like, traverse through. Damn, we didn't even get attacked. You love to see it. Oh yeah, I forgot Slade is like my uh, best attacker now besides Peter. Funny, funny, funny. Alright, she's gonna level up I think with this shot. I can't remember how good Mei is. I feel like she's supposed to be pretty decent. I mean, if you could ever get a centaur that's uh, an archer. I really like Lyle in the first Shining Forest, but you get him so late that he's kind of like meh because of that. You have to put like work into him. Um, but they always got that good movement, man, and then being able to attack from range is always a plus. We're just gonna go, um, all out in this fight. <clears throat> I'm not really concerned with who's getting what or whatever the case may be. I mean, if you had to put a gun to my head, I would love to level up, you know, Sarah, Belly, and Slade a little bit, but... Oh, one HP. Come on now. Well, guess we'll take it. Or should we save it for somebody else who hits weaker? I don't know. I'm gonna go after the Dark Dwarf, actually. Perfect. Uh, Kazen should survive, right? Alright, so let's actually attack. Hmm. We'll attack you so you don't accidentally kill Kazen. I'm sure Chester's not getting much experience. Oh, he did get 43. Alright. Oh man, we're gonna have to really, like, do work uh, up there. I will say that. All right, let's just take the kill here, fuck it. We gotta be really careful that we don't get freezed and blazed into death. Cause all, pretty much everybody up there, dude, can fucking... The only one that can't, I think, is the Hobgoblin. Well, maybe even... No, the Hobgoblin can't, but... One... Two, three, four, five, and isn't there a... Oh, is there only one uh, witch? I thought there was two. Oh, there is two, yeah. Ugh! Alright, how should I maneuver here? I guess we just gotta move up and hope that we don't get kabonged. We'll stay uh, not side by side, if at all possible. Even if it means, you know, sacrificing a turn, I guess. Uh, somebody got hit, right? I thought... Oh yeah, Kazen. but I don't... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that we're in, like, actual danger at the moment. 
And then we'll move... I mean, at the end of the day, with our vision being obscured, somebody's gonna get attacked. It's just a matter of when. And we just hope that we minimize damage, basically. Alright, where is the other bat? Or okay. I am taking it. Let's go. We're going in. We drew first blood. Oh, we're getting regular attacked. Best case scenario. You gotta love it when the AI does that, you know? May should survive, obviously, unless it's like a crit. <clears throat> and the witch should be dead already. Thank you for attacking me with your staff. I really do appreciate it. You the best. Alright. Let's move. Belly. So I think there's another bat or two flying around uh, that's probably going to attack me. I'm assuming the hobgoblin's kind of chilling over there until I really go press the issue with his cronies. Let's go grab that uh, treasure chest while we're posturing, I suppose, right? We're pretty close to it. Actually, let's get you healed. Okay. Alright, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We just gotta take care of these bats, really. They're the, uh, the thing that could potentially fuck us up pretty bad if we're not careful. So... There's a bat. I'm gonna leave you here. Ah, uh, one square away, of course. Uh, what's his inventory situation? He's got a full inventory. God damn. Um, we're actually gonna just drop this. It's fine. Okay, that was a tactical error. Wasn't expecting uh, the bat's charge, if you will. Let's just kind of go in. Perfect. I am worried about that other bat going after Slade, which he's not, but Kazen might get killed. Uh-huh. Fuck. Well, that sucked, actually. That was not good. So let's focus on one bat at a time. So the reason that's not good is it's harder to hit the bats, obviously, and you're pretty much... you are guaranteed to hit them with the magic. Uh, and I would have liked to have uh, actually utilized the freaking Blaze 2 on the uh, Hobgoblin, but it was not to be, apparently. Attack 2, Defense 2, good, good, good. Um, good for now. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, we're banking on a lot of shit here. <laughs> we're banking on... Him doing a lot of damage, good. And then somebody else getting a, a turn before. Presumably, uh, May would be good, but I guess we're gonna go Slade here. Don't miss, bud. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. In fact, I will do this because I want to kill you. Oh my god. 
Is this what's really happening right now? Am I seeing this correctly? Come on, Peter, you fuck. We're all bunched up now. Thank you. Alright, so the good news is that other bat already moved. So, we should be able to, like, heal and shit. I'm actually gonna keep Belly kinda out of the fray here. Uh, who needs to get healed? Was it Slade? Yeah. Alright, we'll take care of the other bat and then we'll, uh... Fucking go up and have a fun time with the witch. You know what? Fuck you. You can attack me from across the way with Freeze if you want, but I'll kill you in two turns. How about that? Just kidding, now I might actually die. Yeah, Peter, let's go, baby. You a real one. I mean, I think he can get that chest after the fight, but we'll just... Oh, you can't even... What? You can't loot the chest during the fight in this game? I totally forgot about that. In the first one, you can. Huh. That's odd. In fact, occasionally it was part of the strategy. You go loot the chest first, aggress, and then come back, you know what I mean? And fight later. Wow, that's kind of weird. Like I said, guys, I don't remember everything about this game. Some shit still surprises me. <laughs> but, we are now down to the Hobgoblin. So all in all, not too bad. What, Kazen died, which was unfortunate, but... Slade, uh, should be okay at this point against this dude. Ooh, May might get killed. No? I really overestimated the Hobgoblin's strength. Ah, Peter's gonna fuck. I can't wait till we can control Peter. Seriously. Not that I don't want him to level up, but I wanted to get that experience with somebody else. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab that treasure chest. A silver tank. Now, I don't remember... Let me look that up real quick. I can't remember if the silver tank is a uh, promotion item. Or if it's like... Whatchamacall? I think it's a promotion item, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. It's what I figured. So basically the promotion items, by the way, which uh, I didn't really uh, talk about much yet, is when you promote, as long as they are on your person, you have the ability to choose, like, yes or no, do you want to use it? So. If I gave the Silver Gunner to Mei when she's getting promoted, and she has it in her inventory, the priest will allow me to use it or not. Uh, and if I use it, she turns into a Silver Gunner or Brass Gunner or something like that. Otherwise, she just kind of uh, promotes and evolves naturally. Uh, but anyway, Cave of Darkness? Not too bad, not too bad. I like that fight. That's a good fight. It's gimmicky, but, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. Alright, so, we oh, that's where we're trying to go, right here. That's a Mount Volcano, or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know what's to the north. Um, I'm just gonna go here first. How did you come to Poco Village? Through the cave? Nobody has come to this village since... Oh, you defeated that Hobgoblin? Wow. Now we can use that tunnel to travel between Polka and the wilderness area. Alright, let's raise Belly. Or, excuse me, Kazen. Excuse me. I'm getting my, uh... Shining Force deaths mixed up, I guess. We're not gonna save yet, because I want to kind of look around town. Breathe deeply. Wonderful air, huh? <laughs> help, help, I can't get up. You, please turn me over. Are you a wimp? Push harder. Good, good, push. Oh, it was a fairy. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, I had to test you. 
Sorry about that, babe. I'm happy to meet you. He must like you. Oh no, I can't tell you who he is. See you later. <laughs> the fuck? Something over here? Nothing? Come on now. Oops. Clank, clank. All of our weapons are made by me. But who uses them in this peaceful country? You'd be surprised. Hey, protect milk. Nice. Let's actually start uh, giving some items to other people. Oh, we'll give this to... May. Oops. I don't want people having full inventories if they don't need it. I guess we'll give that to May. Or... Mm. Eh, we'll figure it out later. What we're gonna do with our inventory management. Mount Volcano is home to Beastmen. We were war a warlike tribe. We've almost forgotten how to fight. Alright. Got anything good here? Ooh, a longsword. Oh, and an upgrade for the, uh... Okay. Yes, sir! Alright, we gotta sell some shit here. Bloop. Little sword. What else to sell? We have like so much shit, dude, that I don't want to like get rid of, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to transfer an item here. Actually, no, I could just sell the... Sarah's... current... short rod. But I want to dump off like all my mithril and shit, man. I don't need it right now. Alright, I'd say that was worthwhile, right? There's a house up there. I also saw there was something to the right. Is there anything over here? Okay. Hearse... what the fuck? Hearse suit? Because I'm a beast man? I'm not hairy enough though, I envy those hairy guys. <laughs> Oh wait, is that- oh yeah, 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 that's uh, what's his name in this? Gerholt or something? He's like this game's Xylo essentially, but not as cool, sorry. Alright, it's like shit like this, like why do you put this here? It's definitely a troll area to get you to look for stuff and there's nothing here, right? I didn't think so. <laughs> Whoa! The fuck was that? Oh! The beast man checks the boy. Good heavens, he's badly injured. Mayor, mayor! What's all this noise? Mayor, a boy from the mountain is seriously injured. What? Oh, his eyes are seriously damaged. He must have been caught in the eruption. He needs prompt treatment. Yes, bring him into my house. Well, shit. He came down from the mountain. He's not from Polka or Bedo. Where did he come from? Oh, this is serious. I hope he survives the night. Ah, uh, stop. No, I don't want to see. My head aches. Okay. That all you got? Okay then. Uh, was that the last place I was gonna look at, I think? Have I been in all the other houses? I believe the answer is yes. I 
It appears so. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure, as you guys saw, there was a gigantic path to the top of the mountain, so I'm pretty sure there's obviously going to be a battle next, so we should probably save it. Oops. There we go again, with the save not being on top and Shining Force too. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. We got, you know, the longsword for Razor. We got two weapon upgrades for our, uh, for Sarah and Kazen. And we're doing pretty good so far. You know, only a casualty or so every battle. Um, you know, Belly's in harm's way because of the, basically the weakness, the magic. And on the ouch difficulty, people like Kazen and Sarah get targeted a lot, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, continue up on the mountainside to, I believe, uh, Bedo. All right, let's head up to the mountainside. <clears throat> Definitely a battlefield. <laughs> Who are they? They're looking for something. Uh-oh, another cloud. He's not here. Not under the cliff. There are marks of a battle here and there. Against the Birdmen of Bedo? Could be. See those volcanic rocks? Nobody but Volcanic could do that. He's never before killed Birdmen, but... Who's that? Stupid polka kids. Oh shit! This is the song that I love. I forgot that it was here too. Woo. Listen to that shit, that's so good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the song that I believe plays on the chessboard battle that I also thoroughly enjoy. Hulk and people are cowards that live in peace. They shall never return alive. Alright, let's see what we got. Looks like the Hobgoblin is now a normal staple. Um, oh, this is an interesting fight. You again, another hobgoblin. Wow, lots of hobgoblins, huh? And what are you? A death monk who knows blast and heal. Okay. And this seems to be the head honcho here. This shouldn't be too bad. I forgot that it keeps your stats in this game. Like your kills and how many times uh, you died or whatever. How did I... How did I die as Razor? I might have died as Razor when I was grinding, now that I'm remembering. Hmm. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna, like, be a little passive, because I, I don't know... You know, what these people do. We'll see what the Hobgoblin does. <sighs> if they come, like, super forward, or what the deal is. <laughs> okay. I am a little bit nervous that the... The Witch is gonna come forward. But... I also think it's... Oh, you can't land on the, uh, the Volcanic things. Interesting. Wait a second, what the fuck? How come Chester couldn't, but Jaha can? I'm wondering if that's a class thing. I'm assuming that means Mei can't go there either? Very interesting, actually. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I think we're probably gonna get attacked before we get an attack in, but... Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go, Razor. Oh, just out of range, dude. Just out of range. Here comes Kazen. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'll take this guy out. There we go. Hey! Slade, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, cool. Yo, Peter is like straight up not in a hurry. I don't know how I feel about that. I did not mean to cast heal too. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna keep you here, and I'm gonna keep you here. If I could mitigate the uh, effectiveness of magic users, that's always my goal. I gotta get fucking kiwi, uh, uh, belly, out of the fray quickly. Alright, Slade should get the kill here as well. That's good. Yeah, so far we're off to a really good start here. We'll see how these death monks uh, fare against us. <clears throat> Peter, are you uh, planning on doing anything anytime soon, buddy? Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> oh no. How weak is Belly at this point? 21 attack. Oof, oof, oof. I gotta start getting him some, uh, some layup kills. If possible. Alright, gotta hear heal Chester. We will stay. How come <clears throat> I wonder why he couldn't step on that one uh thing early on. I thought that was a bit peculiar, but Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about Belly right now. <clears throat> Although, I do realize that, um, like I said, he's very susceptible to magic attacks, so I don't really know if he's in my long-term plans, but usually he is. Uh, I guess that remains to be seen. Alright, what should we do here? I feel like it's not a good idea to press the issue. I think I'm better off waiting for them to come to us. Wow. Well, soon we get control of Peter, which will be good. Because right now he is uh, out to lunch, to say the least. Ooh, I did not want to do that, actually. Hmm. I gotta get Belly out of there, otherwise... Uh... The Death Monk can come down and use Blast or whatever. And kill him in one hit. <clears throat> um. Yeah. I'm cool with this. Because then either Chester or Kazen can come in for the final kill. Regular attack? Okay. As long as we don't miss. There we go.
<clears throat> That's fine. I'm gonna move Slade to the side. When is his turn next? Ugh, Peter, come on, dude. Fucking step up. <laughs> Seriously. Do something, you're just sitting there. One can get it done. I'm probably gonna cast Blaze too. I mean, we're more than halfway through the battle, so. Alright, alright. <clears throat> Once we kill the Hobgoblin, we're probably gonna send our troops down below. Because we always want to get as much experience as possible. Definitely have to heal Slade as well. But for now, we stand at attack. Oh shit! I was not expecting the counter. Oh, I forgot about the evil cloud, dude. Completely forgot about that. Actually, this is good because May should be able to get the kill now, so. Really? Huh. Well... Oh no, dude! Slade! I forgot! Oh, okay. Fuck me. Okay, Peter, any day that you want to, like, you know, come join us, feel free. Okay? I guess we'll heal Kazen again, I mean, shit. Yeah, that was an unfortunate circumstance there for Slade, um, obviously. I put him into the fray, and then he got freaking countered, and then he got hit from across the way, you know, just a bunch of, uh, somewhat unforeseeable, uh, circumstances, I suppose. expecting a little bit more, like 10 or 11 at the very least. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, thank goodness that the AI decided to attack Jaha for some reason. Don't know why, but I will take it. Razor's too beastly, bro. Alright, let's go take care of this witch. Any day, Peter. <laughs> He's gonna get a uh, participation trophy for this fucking fight. Alright, well, this is okay. Because he's gonna survive, and now the witch is, like, uh, pretty clearly in our sights, so. A hit from just about anybody will, uh, should kill her. Razor it is. Very consistent leveling, uh, I've noticed in this game. Very rarely, like, all over the place, like, uh, Shining Force 1 could be. Alright. Time to work our way up a little bit. We'll heal Kazen yet again, because we will need, uh, his Blaze 2 prowess shortly.
Okay. I fucking love this track, dude. It's such a good song. Epic as hell. positioning actually because if I put Chester here he could be hit by both of them hmm okay good a physical attack well we've isolated the monk now so that's good just a matter how quickly like the evil cloud and shit comes down you know what I mean we could pelt him with uh, razor Chester or Kazen or May May actually should get the kill here, right? What? One damage? Come on, man. And unfortunately, Belly's turn came up a little bit too late. Which sucks. Um, well, let's do... You just do Blaze too. Or Blaze 1, excuse me. Alright, so we have the Cloud and the Death Archer. Let's we'll see how strong this dude is. Eh, pretty strong. Nothing too crazy, though. I might not even kill the Evil Cloud if the, uh, the Death Archer is the boss here. Unless the Evil Cloud fucking gets over in time. Nope. It's not looking likely. Oh, the dodge, though. That hurts. Alright, Blaze 2 will probably kill him. Yeah, I'm starting to think Belly's just gonna lag behind, unfortunately. Oh, damn, Chester's gonna get the kill, huh? Okay. Well, if he hits, I guess. He missed last time. Oh, one damage. It's ripe for belly. It really is. Do I get greedy and try to get a belly kill here? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I do. Oh, Chester might die. Alright, good. Didn't get the double attack, so that's good. Well, now I can get some free experience on the evil cloud. Oh, it's here. Alright, here we go. Belly for the win. Hey! Actually, that was a good level. Uh, attack and defense up by two. Ah, you have the Jewel of Evil around your neck. It's you, Razor. We've been waiting for you. Razor, did you hear that? He said he'd been waiting for you. Why do the devils want you? Who are you? The dough is only for birdmen. Don't be so uppity. Oh, you're... Sir Peter! Sorry, Sir Peter! Welcome back. Volcanon is waiting. That's strange. I just realized, why are you flying guard? Did something happen? Well, the devils invaded recently. Devils? Yes, the devil army. Strong greater devils broke Volcanon's sacred barrier. But don't worry, Volcanon defeated all the devils. The devils we fought must have been part of that army. You met some other devils? Stop, stop. We already defeated them. That's great, but we'll go and make sure, just in case. We're going to Polka Village to patrol. Peter, please see King Bedeau. Razor, let's go. I'll introduce you to King Bedeau. Is there anything, uh... 
Anything hidden over here? Okay. Mighty Vulcanon, he easily defeated the Greater Devil. They know that they can't defeat our god. What was their true purpose? Ah, uh, the audio hisses back. Wonderful. Ay -ay -ay. Oops. Yes, they were strong, but monsters like the Kraken and Taros are much bigger. It was dark inside. <coughs> I'm not afraid of devils, as long as I drink a root beer first. <coughs> you like that uh, immersion right there? Creed is the last greater devil to survive the war, but he retired from the army and now lives alone in Devil's Tale. The devils were almost annihilated before. Why did they attack Bado? Oh, this is an interesting town. Ooh, he's a terrible... Ouch, the greater devil was terribly strong, incredibly strong, but the other devils were strong as well. Yeah, I remember all this stuff, okay. Got the priest and some shops. Stairs upward, what does this read? It reads, don't drink and fly, yes. Very, very true. Okay, so I guess if you go outside, you can get to that guy, which we should revive Slade. Not yet, though. Let's buy some stuff first. <clears throat> What's up, boy? We guarantee all items to be in good condition. Alright. Uh, I... Ooh, a steel lance. Okay. And the middle axe is an upgrade, too, right? Fucking full inventory, dude. Hold up. Uh, let's sell... Chester... Yes. Alright. And I think I already have the longsword, right? I do. Do I have the middle axe, though? I can't remember. I do not. Alright, so I need to sell... Let's buy the middle axe. Already got that. Uh... Wait, do I have a knife? Iron arrow for sure, right? Nice. Oh, I don't. Damn, Slate is a fucking wrecking crew now, bro. Alright, let's sell... the... dagger. And the wooden arrow. Cool. Ooh. Let's sell the uh, herbs then, I guess, at this point. I think I'm gonna sell the chirrup sandals. I don't really need them. Let's clear out some item space. Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's buy... a couple of these. Maybe one more. I think before we progress, we'll uh, we'll go revive Slade and save. <clears throat> All right, 
this here. So I guess, uh, completely random that I'm selling some games on eBay right now, like doubles and stuff. I guess USPS raised their shipping rates for fucking for Christmas. Which sucks because, you know, any kind of raised shipping rates, even if it's like 30 cents or something, kind of cuts into your bottom line. And how else am I going to fuel my addiction for retro gaming unless I'm able to flip stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. The Devils? I thought they were only old legend. I never let my hatchling go out. Dad, no, come back. Have you seen my dad? Mom won't tell me anything about him. My spouse was killed in the war. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I am sorry to hear that. We have a lot of weapons, but I don't want to use any of them. Hey, quick ring, cool. We need a lot of hot water to treat these injured men. I've been standing here all day. I'm bored, I want to go out. How wonderful it would it be to fly on such a beautiful day? <clears throat> Alright, let's um... Who needs the quick ring? Who do I need to go faster? Um... Hmm... Maybe it'd be good for May right now, actually. Because she has that added extra element of the ranged attack pretty much all the time. And it'd be good to be able to get her to, like, you know, kind of chip in at the beginning of a fight. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I wanted to go back downstairs, because didn't I forget to, uh... Go out here? Right? Not that one. This one? Or does it just loop inside? Oh, it's literally all it does. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Alright, so we talked to everybody in here, basically other than maybe like a chick or something. Or whatever the fuck, baby bird. Whatever you want to call him. Alright, so there's a place over there. Oh, is that all it is? These uh, constant loops, though. I think there's something, there's like a, there is a reason for it, um, beyond just aesthetics, I just can't remember what it is at the moment. <clears throat> Neil before King Bedeau. Just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, the greater devil was very strong, but God Volcanon swept away all the devils. What about the greater devil? He fled. Can't you track him? We must capture him before he regains his strength. Did they come from Grand's Island? I think so. Maybe he died, but beware of another attack. Watch carefully. Alright, so they're on guard right now. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about this dude. Forgot all about this dude. Peter, Peter! Luke! Oh yeah, Luke, that's right. How have you... It's funny how they kind of, like, um, recycle the names. Granted, like, the direct translation of Luke from Shining Force 1, I think, is Lug, or Lug. But it's still known as Luke in the English version. Uh, and then the Archer Centaur in this game is May, M-A-Y. But the second Centaur that you get in Shining Force 1 is May, M-A-E, who's the daughter of, uh, Varios, right? I don't know, I just thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Peter, my friend, how was your journey? Let me introduce my friend. This is Razor, he's from Grand's and... I know, he's a pupil of Astral of Grand Seal. How'd you know that? Sir Astral told me. What? Did you go to Grand Seal? As Volcanon's messenger. And I heard that somebody unsealed Xeon. Uh, that's the first time you actually hear Xeon. Grand's people caused a big, big problem. Xeon might destroy the world. Sorry to interrupt, but is he that strong? 
Zeon is the king of the devils. Peter, you'd better go see Volcanon. It may calm him down to see Peter. Oh, is he angry? <laughs> Maybe later. Never mind later, he's been waiting for you. Oh yeah? Okay, I'm going. Razor, follow me. Peter, are you taking Razor with you? Of course, why not? He thinks the people of Grand Seal are... King Bido, I think Razor has to see Volcanon. You should talk to him. Hmm, you're right. Peter, go ahead. Okay, anyway, let's go. If God Volcanon doesn't calm down, you should talk to him. Hmm, you're right, Peter, go ahead. Okay, whatever. Anything special out here? Everybody's just on guard now, probably. Oh, what's over here? Wait. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. So many doors. Oh, this is another great track. And you know what? I fucking love the Shining Force games, dude. I've been really tempted to make like a... Uh, like a bigger video that I don't normally do on my channel. Just because I fucking love the game so much. And I still haven't even played the third. I'm pretty much just talking about the first two. I mean, I enjoyed the Sega CD version, but I haven't, you know, I only played it like once and I only finished half of it. But the first two fucking Shining Force games, man. Hmm. Chef's Kiss. This is a sacred area. Volcano Shrine is here. Devils? They can't enter the shrine. Anything? Oh, shit. We go behind? We can. Is there anything here, though? I don't think so. Mm. The shrine was built on top of the mountain to watch over everything. Do you know the legend of the phoenix? A phoenix is the legendary bird who can't be killed. It is life itself. When his first life is nearly over, he bursts into holy fire to finish it. The fire creates another life for the phoenix on the ground. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, you know what I'm saying? God Volcanon, I'm back. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Welcome back, Peter. You look well. Yes, I am. The trip was very interesting. That's good. What made it interesting? Uh, I met a lot of people that live on the ground. They help each other. I made some friends. Wonderful. It must have been a good experience for you. I brought a friend. This is Razor. He's from Grand Seal. Oh shit, he's pissed. Grand Seal? The people of Grand's Island caused a serious, deadly problem for the world. Volcanon? They awakened Zeon, the legendary devil. I've been protecting all the ground dwelling people. I can't forgive them for this. Volcanon, please calm down. Razor is not the person who did it. <clears throat> Everybody who lives on the ground is responsible. They have to solve this by themselves. What should Razor do? My protection ceases now. He must face the devils on his own. But... Even the greater devils are as strong as you. If all the humans are annihilated, that's okay. It's their destiny. Yo, he's pissed. I want them to show me courage. They must reseal the devil again. And please give some advice to Razor. Razor, believe in the power of the jewel. It belongs to both the light and the darkness. It shows its true power when the light and darkness are as one. You may go now. I don't want to see anybody until Zeon is defeated. Volcanon! Razor, we'll defeat the devil by ourselves. I didn't know he was such a cold-hearted god. Okay, I'll help you. I'll go with you to reseal the devil. Alright, thank god. Now we can actually control Peter, who's a fucking animal. Instead of him dicking around like he did in the last fight, where he did, like, nothing. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> we'll, uh, go touch base back in the throne room, I guess. God Volcanon has forsaken the people of Earth. Are you going to kill Zeon as he demanded? You're a man of honor. 
Why don't you go see Creed? He is an ex greater devil. He may give you some information. You must travel along the river to get to Creed's mansion. Maybe Polka has a raft for you. Tell the mayor to prepare a raft. Yes, sir. Peter, please help Razor. Razor, good luck. We can't calm down Volcanon. Without his protection, the people that live on the ground will perish. Only Tristan and Bado will survive. I had a dream last night that I flew. Watch, I could fly. This is why there's all these fucking things. That's right. The baby bird keeps freaking falling. Hmm, strange. That didn't work. Stay there, I know I could fly. Oh shit. See, I told you. I could fly. Short, sort of. Hmm. Goddess Betula lives on the north side of Tristan through the mountains. The people living in Tristan are kind, but weak. I wonder if they're alright. Something happened in North Parmesia. I saw a strange cloud. So I think talking to that baby bird gives us a, uh, a character later in the game. Razor, good luck. Um... Neil, but just before- oh, same thing. <clears throat> Is he still out here? I just want to make sure I exhausted his dialogue. It looks like I have, so... Um... Hmm. We need a lot of hot water. Yeah. Alright, so I guess, I don't know. Looks like everything's already been done in here, so, um... I think I'll probably save again, and then I'll head out. Talk to that person up there? How do I get up there? Hold on. Hold your horses. I feel like I didn't talk to that person yet. Should it be like this ledge or something? Right here? Shh! My hatchling is sleeping. Quiet. Okay. So we need to head towards Polka. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's something down here, though, with the bird, right? Don't I catch the bird or something? But he's... Okay. Is this it? Oh, I catch this one! Oh, shit. I thought it was the other dude. Ha ha ha. Is it the same bird? Ha ha ha. Oh, my screech! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Screech is okay. I can't remember how good Luke and Screech are. I know Peter is like OP as fuck. But it's always good to have flying fucking people in your team because they just have such a good range. I think on my next playthrough is Shining Force 1. Unless it's a mod of some sort. I think I want to actually try to level up Amon and Balbury. We'll see though. Um, okay, so... Back to Polka, right? The Doe soldiers are cowards. Oh shit. Be quiet. Oh, damn! My comrades! You're our captive. Don't force me to kill you. No more funny business. You can't resist us. Now, give me that injured boy. Don't listen to him. 
I'll help you fight against the devils and guard Oddler. You. Oh, Razor, Peter. Luke, why are you here? I came here to get a raft for you. The people of Polkla are being controlled by these devils. They deceived me. Prince Luke, I'm sorry. Polkins will not fight. Please let me join you. Hey, we got Gerholt. Good shit. Great. Don't forget me. Oh shit, Luke just got fucked up. You still dare to resist us? For that you shall die. Alright, it's fucking battle time. Okay, oh shit, a zombie. Alright, what do we got here? Hobgoblin, a zombie. Ooh, they got pretty uh, beefy attack. Hobgoblin, Death Archer, another zombie, another zombie. Four zombies? Five zombies? Oops, did not mean to do that. Zombie, another, uh, was it Evil Cloud? Evil Cloud. Man, there's a lot of enemies here, huh? Master Mage knows Blaze 2 and the Black Monk. So I'm assuming one of these two is probably the boss. Anyways, let's get started. We're gonna go down the stairs, obviously. I can't believe that I didn't remember that, uh, they just blast this fucking music all the time in this game. Uh, this is definitely gonna be a bit of a tougher fight. I know I feel like I keep saying that a lot, but I sincerely believe it this time. Terrain's a little bit weird, obviously fighting in the town. Lots of, uh, ooh, shit, that was already a bad move on my part. I didn't realize that the Hobgoblin had that kind of, a uh, path. And now I can attack from ranged. What are we working with? Ooh, 37? Yo, he's a fucking animal, dude. Literally. Okay. So yeah, the Hobgoblin coming up and hitting May like that so quickly was kind of shitty. We're gonna hope that the zombie doesn't have that kind of range. Because we already have to heal May. Ugh, he can't hit Slade. Fuck me, dude. And Slade is poisoned. Oh my goodness. Huh. I'm not liking the way this battle started, if we're being completely honest with each other. I'm not liking it whatsoever. In fact, I don't like it so much that I might... Freaking, uh... I might restart, depending on how turn two goes. I just did not expect the Hobgoblin to be able to come up like that. <clears throat> we'll see. We still got, uh, you know, a good turn up ahead, so... Get the kill here. Peter should be able to kill the, uh, the zombie. Maybe even Chester, who knows? He's got a new weapon. Nope. Oh. Hey, not bad. I definitely know what'll kill him now. I'm sure Blaze freaking one will probably do like close to 10 damage on him. Undead, right? Seven? Eh, mm -hmm. just enough. All right, all right. Not too bad, but not a great start either. So let's see. We can go left. And these guys are down here. Hmm. Just gotta be careful. We have an archer. <sighs> I just gotta plot out my moves a little bit here. <clears throat> This is clearly a very dangerous battle if you make a wrong step. I'm thinking about going down and taking out the cloud and the, uh, what was it, a zombie in a cloud, right? Yeah. 
Ah, I fucking forgot I'm poisoned. God damn it. Oh, boy. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll use a healing item on May. I don't think I have an antidote on me, do I? I mean, I got the healing drop, right? We'll just use it. Whatever. It sucks, I was just pumping up uh, Peter so much and hasn't even attacked yet. I think I'm gonna... No, I gotta heal. I was gonna say, I wanted to detox, but I have to heal. Bit of a sloggy fight so far. Mostly because this fucking dude flew over the bushes like an asshole. Because now they're gonna get a, a round of attacks off before I can, that's for sure, especially since Kazen can't even get close. At least we're hitting, right? And as long as Slade doesn't miss, uh, that cloud will be dead, so that's good. <clears throat> and then we'll push on to the left here, <clears throat> past Luke's fucking carcass. Don't miss! Oh my god, of course you missed. Son of a bitch. And now he's gonna get attacked again, and I gotta heal again. The cycle repeats. Don't poison me, please. That hit a lot. God damn. Yeah, we're starting to feel the effects of, um... <clears throat> the tougher battle here, for sure. Gonna have to be a little bit more, uh... Decisive with my attacks. Again, missing the evil cloud did not help, obviously. But I only have one healer, you know what I mean? So... Okay. Well, let's heal ourselves, and then I should have enough to detox, and then we're just gonna have to rip into our uh, our healing items. I'm kind of regretting selling all my healing herbs now because I definitely could have used them in this fight, you know. All right, I'm gonna fall back a little bit here because I know that they're on the move. We're gonna use Blaze too. Good. Got a crit. We needed that. We need a, a chance to fucking breathe here. Alright, does anybody have an antidote still? I don't think so. I feel like I sold it or I used it already, but either way. <clears throat> shit out of luck, right? Fairy powder, though, right? Doesn't fairy powder hear it? Hold up, let's see. I think it does. If not, then I wasted it. There we go. Oh man, fucking Chester needs to get healed too. He doesn't have a healing item. Gearhalt's got nothing either. Alright, I gotta heal Chester, and then we're gonna move forward. Zombies are never easy, dude. They hit like fucking trucks. Okay. Ready to go. We just gotta be fucking careful here. 
cannot be so reckless. So I think I'm gonna park you here, because you can't be hit from there unless the cloud comes up, which I don't think it will. Zombies there, put you in front of Kazen. Uh, put you here. I don't want to get you killed, dude. <clears throat> Just out of range again. Hmm. I want to put Jaha and Gerhalt in front of uh, Kazen and Razor, if I can. I mean, I guess Chester's not bad either. It's fine. I want to see if they move up again. Sort of, but not really. They're being pretty tactical too, actually. Kind of wish they'd just straight up bum rush me. <laughs> Because look, like, I'm still out of range, you know? Hmm. Fuck, dude, I still can't hit with Peter. You know, I say we wait. <clears throat> we wait and attack. Yeah. Let them come to us. That's what I'm gonna do. We just have to withstand, like, a turn. And then we can unload on them and potentially kill all three. So as long as somebody doesn't get targeted consistently... Okay. So Gerholt should be okay. Nice. Perfect. He was definitely the uh, the biggest worry here. So let's put Chester here. Um, this is defense 21, 23. Yeah, his defense is pretty good. I'm actually thinking about, should I be aggressive or should I fall back? I'm gonna fall back. <clears throat> yeah, Gerhalt's sick. He's basically, like I said, <clears throat> the Xylo of Shining Force 2. Uh, but in ways, if I remember correctly, he could be better. Because Xylo sometimes has, like, tricky uh, level trajectories. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Let's see, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I guess it doesn't really matter where I go. Put you here. Good, good, good. I think Peter might be able to kill him. And unlike Shining Force uh, 1, where fucking zombies apparently are like the, the shiftiest enemies in the world somehow. All I'm thinking about is like the Shade Abbey fight in the one, uh, I think in chapter two. Just, <laughs> dude, the zombies dodge everything. It's fucking messed up. Um, don't think we're gonna be able to kill the Hobgoblin before he gets in a, a turn, unfortunately. But who knows? You never know. I spoke too soon. Alright, let's take a look at our next plan of attack. They're gone. Okay, so we're not going here. <laughs> it's probably best to go here. I mean, we could go that way. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go down this flight of stairs. 
But not yet. Okay, they're falling back. Which is kind of what I expected. Gotta keep Chester sort of... His defense is starting to lag behind. He's starting to remind, remind me a little bit of fucking Ken. From Shiny Force 1 with the shitty defense. You know, unfortunately, we're gonna get bottlenecked. It's just uh, the way it is. So we'll have to just deal with it as it comes. Not putting those guys in the front. Ah, shit. It's kind of hoping Gearhawk could uh, lead the charge there, but. They are being very patient. Uh, I don't know what to do. I feel like putting Chester down is like literally like a death sentence at this point. I'm just gonna move him down one. I don't know what to do here, dude. This is actually really tough. It's really tough. I need to, like, sneak Kazen in and get, like, a... A solid Blaze 2 somewhere, you know? His defense is still kind of shit. I still think maybe I... F wait. Alright. I mean, like, it's not the best strat, but... Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Hmm. Am I gonna be able to sneak Kazen here? That's where we need to sneak him. Um, with that being said, let's attack the zombie for now. And we will... Yeah, Kazen could do work if he can get down there, dude. He could do work right now. We need it. Like, bad. <laughs> Alright, he'll be able to get there, right? I think so. Shit. Oh, I don't have enough. Son of a bitch. Chester might die in this fight, unfortunately. We'll see. I don't want to, like, you know, bury him too quickly, of course, but... Yeah, I gotta go right next to him. Mm. Well, let's hope for a quick follow-up, uh, Chester or somebody attack to kill the Hopgoblin. Alright, Death Archer's gone. Zombie should be dead, right? Weak to fire. Oh, no, really? Damn it. Yeah, I was expecting a better attack there. Shit. Um... And I can't attack from there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Really wanted to kill the zombie. I mean, they're both gonna get killed in one hit, but that's kinda... meh at this point. Also, if I put Razor here, this is kinda dangerous. Right? Because I can get attacked, like, three times. Uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope Peter could, like, move up and just kind of block the way. Chester. I'm gonna take the kill here, just because Chester's, like, about to die. We have to withstand this onslaught from the archers and shit. That's like really scaring me. What does this guy know again? Does he just know Blast? Blast. Alright, so it's down to these six people. The archers are what's really concerning me at this point. I'm trying to block one off. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Should survive it. Ooh, that hit a lot harder than I was thinking. And now Slade's dead. Fuck. 
Yo, Slade keeps dying, man. It's because his defense kind of fucking blows until he gets promoted. He did his job, though. He killed somebody and he ate two attacks, and now these three turns are over. Jaha's poison, which sucks, but... Alright, um, let's focus on taking out you. Ooh, I do not want to move you over there, actually. You're actually not in a good spot, Belly. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna have to move you out of here. Is the fucking... I don't think he's the... I want to take this guy out because he knows spells. And we'll focus on the other two later. Fucking poison damage. God damn it. Alright, well, I guess we can heal Chester. It's better than nothing. We're gonna win the battle. It's just a matter of how many people die. That's, that's the problem here. We are 100% going to win the battle, so that's not even a question. Damn, dude, I can't even attack. Fuck. That sucks. Oh, I walked right- oh, thank goodness. Is he going to survive? Oh, yeah. Wow, he could have used a spell and he didn't. I don't know why he didn't, but I'm glad that he didn't. <laughs> and we'll just leave it at that. Ooh, attacking Peter. Okay, sure, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on, dude. I'm getting greedy, I wanna get that- the kill on the zombie with fucking what's his face? Kiwi, if- or not Kiwi. Belly, excuse me. I'm literally gonna fuck that up like a hundred times in this playthrough. Ooh, punching Sarah? Damn, dude. Trying to get experience here, even though, you know, some people are gonna die and it's gonna cost me probably a lot of gold. Can you hit two somehow? Yes. That's what we wanted. Alright, the evil cloud's done, so then we're down to the final two people. I want to kill the archer first, because I'm pretty sure the mage is the, the quote-unquote final enemy of this battle. Um, but I also don't want to, like, you know, unnecessarily put myself in harm's way, I guess. Chester, I'm okay with him dying, if need be. Alright. Oh, he'll, actually, that's, again, best case scenario. The master mage chooses to fucking melee me twice. I don't know why. I'm not going to question it, I guess. Ooh, I could level up Belly. Or Gerhalt, who's probably better. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hey, nice. And Peter could level up, actually. So, Peter for the win? Question mark? What's he at? 14? Yeah. Peter for the win. All in all, not too bad. Sucks that Slade died. It was a bit of a rough fight. We gotta replenish some of our healing items, but... Luke! Are you okay? Luke! <clears throat> Squawk! They knocked me senseless! Where are the devils? Razor, did you defeat them? Nobody in Bado could fight like that. Thank you. 
He's a great fighter. Volcano doesn't know how good he is. He'll learn. Let's go see the mayor and get a raft. Razor decides to take Luke the Birdman with him, so I don't think Luke's actually part of the party yet. Which is okay. Um, with that being said, let's buy some fucking healing items, right? Give you that. Belly's got that, uh, Slade. Hazen. Razor. Buy another one here for Razor. A little healing sea to save some money. Alright. Actually, I want to get another fairy, uh... Whatchamacallit. Fairy powder. Good enough for now, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to dump off, dude. Let's use the Protect Milk on Slade. I, I want to save the bread for after promotion. Um, I think that's all I got right now. Oh yeah, let's get a healing item for Geralt. Yeah, you know, we'll give him fairy powder too. Okay. Let's go raise uh, Slade from the dead before we go talk to the uh, the mayor. Get our raft. And I believe that allows us to go, uh, you know, raft in those little canals and shit that we saw earlier. Um, not yet. I want to go get my raft first before I save. Alright, let's talk to the mayor, who is over here. Please, take that boy with you. Who are you? Excuse me, but I'm blind. Wait, aren't you the mayor? This, don't kill me. Please take him. Eee! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't possess me. What's he talking about? I don't know, what a loon. Come on, mayor, we're alive. What? The mayor examines Luke carefully. You're warm, you're alive. I really regret all of this. Suddenly the devils appeared. We had no power to resist them. They promised me they would do nothing if we gave Adler to them. And you sent me in Adler's place? I'm sorry, please don't tell King Bedeau. Alright, I won't. If you prepare a raft for Razor. Oh, thank you, a raft, okay. Hey, Ripster. Yes? Prepare a raft for Prince Luke. But it's the last one we have. I don't care. You can make another if necessary, can't you? Yes, sir. A raft will be waiting for you on the river. Why don't you take a look at it right now? He wants to get rid of us. You're right. Anyway, now we have a raft. Let's go! Alright. Well, let's go save. So, well... Just a minute. Just kidding. If it's possible, please take this boy with you. You lazy human. You don't want to take care of him. I, uh... Razor, will you take him with us? Uh, sure. Are you serious? Razor, you're too nice. I can't remember if taking him with us or not taking him with us, like... If it's one of those fake things where you have to say something, or if it actually causes, like, a, a difference later on, but... Oh, thank you. Adler, Razor will take you. You could trust him. Thank you very much. Watch out! Be careful! Yes, I will. I'm Adler. I was nearly dead when I came here. Actually, I don't remember. I don't know the reason why the devils are after me. I'm afraid I'll cause you a lot of trouble. Razor decides to take Adler with him. 
Alright, so now let's save and then go, uh... Hit up the, I wouldn't say the high seas, the low waters, how about that? On our new raft. I do remember that, uh, you can kind of get lost in this section if I remember correctly. And there's the raft. Now let's go to Devil's Tail to see Creed. <clears throat> it sounds like Luke is going with us. I am, I want to fight with Razor. This might be exciting. Okay, cool, so we did actually get him. I feel like he's not great. I'll have to uh, brush up on my projected uh, stats and all that kind of shit. I didn't know you were such an adventurer. All right, wow, let's go. All right, so let me see. What are we working with here, Luke? <clears throat> Level 14. 26, 19. Hmm. So yeah, he's, he's pretty weak. Um, fuck, Jaha is still poisoned. I gotta get rid of that poison. So he's got good mobility. Uh, his defense is like, okay. But his attack is meh. It's only slightly better than Belly's, which means he's probably hitting enemies on average like five or something like that. Did I say Luke was poisoned? I meant Jaha. If I said Luke, it's because I was thinking about Shining Force 1. Anyway. Also, what is he working with down here? Middle Sword. Well, let's go buy him a freaking longsword. Unacceptable, bro. There we go. 30 is not too bad. And let's also give him a healing item since he has good range. Alright, alright. <clears throat> alright, we're gonna go south. Ah, oh, okay, I see. I see. I went there. Do I want to cut... East? I think I do? Oops. Where does this take me? Okay, so that's blocked off. Okay, and I can't go there. Got it. I think I want to get down further. So either I gotta go back, or I start wandering around now? Yeah, I think this is where I wanted to go. And this actually might be the fight that I was thinking of that constantly respawns because nobody talked to me. You know what I'm saying? This might indeed be it. So anyways, let's take a look. Uh, a lot of the same crew from the last few fights, uh, but now we have golems who are pretty beastly. Hmm. Lots of them, huh? Shit. All right then. Definitely going to be a, a wait-and-see type of battle. Um, lots of tough enemies here, man. Lots of tough enemies. I think I'm going to keep Razor here so he doesn't get fucking kabonged.
shit. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting one. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Yo, it's actually better that he did that, because his fucking physical attack is pretty nasty, actually. Yeah, that sword upgrade made a huge difference, in my opinion. Ah, oh, fuck. Still can't do shit. Ah, uh, man, this is a tough fight. You're so bunched up at the beginning. Yeah, this sucks. Not good. Maybe I'd be killed right away, too. The zombie might just come up and fuck my shit. Yeah, we might be uh, retreating, dude. This is rough. Hmm. I think I'm gonna punch the zombie. Um... Gotta get a heal off. May and Slade are in the danger zone currently. And that'll probably do it. Nope, not yet. Best case scenario, unless I get poisoned, which I didn't. Yeah, this fight is not easy, dude. Not easy whatsoever. Um, who do I take out? Alright, who's got like weaker... 18. They're both 18. I think I... Try to take you out if I can. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Need uh, Kazen's turn to come up and then one other person to kill uh, the monk or whatever the fuck is in front of me. I'm not really like... Yeah, I'd rather do this. Blaze 2 kind of fucking sucks in this game, doesn't it? I mean, compared to the first game... I don't even think it's like... Anywhere close to being... Comparable. Oh my god. Fuck off. That's some horse shit, dude. Horse shit. That sucked. Um... Sure? Hey, nice. Actually good. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that move. Big brain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the kill here with Gearhalt. We're weathering the storm, I think. I think we'll be okay. This shouldn't do too much, one or two at the most. 
Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Um, what do I do here? I actually think I keep you here because I don't want to get attacked by the golem. Slade's gonna have to get healed again. But it could be heal one, which is fine. And May still needs to get healed too before we uh, really push forward here. Um, I'm okay with this. That's fine. Belly, though. Um, I guess we'll have you attack. And we'll do this. Think. 18, 24, 30. It's not gonna kill him, but it should soften him up to the point where anybody could pretty much kill him, or at the very least, uh, he heals himself, and we continue to get, uh, you know, more experience. Ooh, I don't. Yeah, I gotta do this. I don't want to get attacked by the golem. Although I just realized now the body's gone, so the golem can. Attack me, but oh well. Hmm. See how this goes. Probably not well. Yeah, figured as much. Yeah, as much as I want to attack there, I'm gonna put you here and heal myself. And this is why you buy the healing items. So the one thing that I will say, which is very good about this game uh, compared to the first, is you could make uh, healers beastly, because I think you could turn them into like monks or something. Like, fuck off, dude. Where they're like, I think it's one of those alternate upgrade paths with the items. Um, they're just like beastly attackers on top of healing, which is great. Yo, Belly's defense is sick. Good. I'd rather you attack Jaha. I'm sure, it's gonna be the zombie's turn. Yeah. Ooh, Peter's about to get hammered, dude. This isn't good. Don't double attack me. Oh, Peter's poisoned. Fuck me. Peter's dead, I think. It's gonna be sketchy. Oh, of course. Of course. Of oh, fucking course. Can Peter get his turn? First, please. I beg of you. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna. I think the game's gonna fuck me. Oh, he attacks Belly.
All right, Peter. Any day now, please. Are you kidding? Man, that's fucked. How did he get skipped? What the fuck was that? Seriously. That was some fucking bullshit. Now I'm pissed. Oh, and now Kazen's poison. Jesus fucking Christ. This fight's going terribly. Oh, and now I can't even attack. Give me a fucking break. <sighs> I'm pissed off. God. I don't know if I could beat this without Peter. Honestly. That's a bad loss. Very bad loss. Um... Can I somehow kill this dude? Good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> yeah, the fight's still looking pretty sketchy. Especially after this attack. Watch me get poisoned. Yep. Oh, and, yeah, just another... Uh, I, I got double poisoned and double attack. Fuck you, game. Seriously. That's some bullshit. Now I gotta fucking detox twice here. First, we need to heal. And now I'm out of MP, so there's that too. Physical attack, baby. Eat it. Alright, unfortunately he's poisoned. I don't remember who... I think fucking... Didn't Peter have one of the... Things? He has a fairy powder. I think Peter had the other fairy powder. Ugh. Ah, she's got one. Okay. Sarah's fairy powder on uh, Kazen. He will be much needed to be successful in this fight. Is that the rest of the board? These uh six guys. Did I see somebody all the way to the right? Did I see somebody all the way over here? No, I didn't. It was just the cave. Okay. Okay. Gotta be very uh, strategic here as we continue on. All right, so we got the blast man that and that. Hmm. Do we basically sacrifice Luke? Is the question. I say the answer is yes. We got to get on the board here distract some people 
right? Not great, not great. Oh, the heal. Fuck me. That sucks. The only positive is, is we didn't get blasted there. And... That guy can't attack. Oh god, it'd be so nice if Kazen could reach, but he won't be able to get up there. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> and Gerhalt won't be able to fucking move either. <sighs> what to do, what to do. I gotta get the uh, the rest of my crew up there, dude. That's basically what this boils down to. Um, guess I'll attack you. Uh, I was hoping for the double attack. It was just not to be. All right, well he's healing himself. Uh, we'll see if Slade gets attacked twice or not here. Luke does. Okay. We just gotta move people up as quickly as possible. Pretty much. Oh, really, Luke? Come on, man. And he's poisoned, so he's about to die. Fucking shit, dude. That's really unfortunate. Dude, my guys are so close, but they're not gonna get there in time, I don't think. Yeah, Luke's dead. He's gonna die of poison. He doesn't have a, a healing item, so at least he'll go out swinging, I guess. <laughs> There's always that. I'll have him maybe kill the monk. Maybe. <laughs> Goes out with a whimper. Misses and dies. How about that? That's sad. Ooh, Kazen's gonna get fucking killed now. Damn it. <sighs> if Kazen dies, this fight gets real fucking sketchy, dude. Yeah. God, the zombie's gonna attack him. Fuck. I gotta block him. No. Ah, oh, he's dead. Damn it. Well, that really fucking blows. Now things got really hard because of the, uh, not being able to blaze the, uh, fucking golems. You know? I don't have Peter, I don't have Kazen. I'm uh, like, all my fucking really good guys are gone. We're just gonna have to go balls to the wall right now. you out, I guess. Still can't get up with Gerhalt. Fucking ridiculous. Alright, let's kill him. There we go. Okay. Well, I think we'll, we'll survive, but it's not gonna be easy without Kazen, really. That's what this boils down to.
Tempting, but no, thank you. Ah, oh, we wait. Hey, let's go. All right, now we just gotta gang up and circle the fucking golems. And that's all she wrote. Can Jaha survive? Oh, he got heavy attacked, and that's that's a good sign, I guess. Offensive. Hmm. Take you. Good, good, good. Slade is gonna get targeted. Oh no, Jaha is. Jaha will be just fine. All right, cool. Well, it wasn't easy, but we did do it. This was definitely, like, by far the hardest fight of the game. Holy moly. Uh, I guess I'll just... Nah, I'm not gonna waste a spot for you. Actually, Razor should be able to get the kill here, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. Let's go check out these, uh... This spot right here. Who is it? Petro? Well, who are you? Petro, is he back? Petro, the sky orb is our treasure. Give it back. Say something, Petro. Fuck is Petro? Oh, you're not Petro. Who are you? He spent all of his spare time studying the sky orb. It is quite old. He deduced that our ancestors could fly. The last known location of the Nazca ship was Granz. I get... I'm gonna start calling it Granz. I've been calling it Granz, but I think that's very uh, harsh. American. I'm gonna go Granz. Ancient stone? Yes, my family had it for a long time, but it was stolen. His brother, my grandson, took the stone, the sky orb, when he left. I think he went to Granz Island to operate an ancient vehicle. I've lost my purpose to live. I came here looking for an ancient treasure and found the sky orb. Also, I discovered how to use the ancient tunnels. But most of them are useless, except for the one to Granz. To Granz? Can we get to Granz Island through it? Yes. Do you want to go there? Really? You go to Granz with me. Let's go. I don't want to fucking go, dude. All I want is the Sky Orb. Just help me get that, and then he could leave. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay, so in Shining Force 1, the Steel Sword can't be used until I'm, uh, whatchamacall. Oh, I could use it. Nice. Hmm, should I actually give that to, uh, what's his face? Luke? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think that was the better idea, for sure. He spent all his spare time studying the Sky Orb. Yeah, 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 we read that already. Okay. So I think we head back towards Ribble. I'm pretty sure. 
you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm going to... Well, I can always egress, right? I don't want to stumble myself into a battle that I can't win. <laughs> but, uh... Am I on the... Okay. Okay, okay. So we have to go to a shrine south of Ribble. Oh, is that... Is that one shrine open now? I guess it probably would be, right? This one? Was this... This was a shrine, right? I think. Well, before we do anything... Oh, shit! I did not mean to advance. <laughs> oh, the raft stopped. Did the water stop flowing? What's happening? Wow, what's that? Oh, sh shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I do something bad? I think I did. Doesn't he break my fucking raft? I was supposed to go to that shrine, dude. Ugh, a monster appeared from the river. Must be the monster that they mentioned in Polka. Watch out. Oh, fuck me, dude. Yep. Where does this take me? Oh, what? It took me back here? Okay, good. I was not expecting that. Uh, where does my raft go, though? I want to make sure that my raft is, like, easy to get to before I save. Because <laughs> if it's not, and I kind of soft-locked myself or something, then... I guess I have to do a lot of extra fucking battles. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Alright, so let's save, and then let's go check out that shrine first before we try to take on the Kraken. Let's save it. Good shit. Man, that fight was tough in that, like, little weird desert area. But, uh, alright, let's check out that shrine. Okay, so we gotta get to that... I think, anyway, right? I think we gotta get to that cave. And now that I've aggressed, I've lost my sense of direction. <laughs> um, that's the whatchamacallit cave, right? I think that was the Cavern of Darkness there, so the one I'm thinking of is- should be over here? Nope. Just kidding. But yeah, we definitely don't want to do the Kraken fight yet. So it should be here. Yep. This was closed before. Right. It's my job. Bro, Shambo! Okay, you go first. This is the ancient hall that leads to the ancient tunnel. Mm-hmm. There are more monsters here. Razor, take them out. Oh, yes. Another great track. Okay, so now we got gargoyles. Woo! This game's starting to ramp up the difficulty, people. It certainly is. This looks like this is probably the boss here. Arrow launcher. Huh. Alright, so I'm assuming the gargoyles could fly. Oh, yikes.
Yo, pretty cool aesthetic with the background here, I will say. I am, uh... <clears throat> so, let me put it this way. I'm not concerned about this fight, per se. But, there will be casualties. I guess that's my concern. Gotta put a row of good defenders up, uh, because more likely than not the golem's coming down and I don't want him to punch Kazen. Last fight we lost Kazen, Slade, uh, Peter. It was not a good time. Not a good time. Dude, my strategy of uh, going from the opposite side didn't work. Of the pillar. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Alright, I gotta heal May, unfortunately, but... Ugh, oh, really? That sucks. Fuck. I gotta take this guy out so I can heal May. I should be able to, but it's just going to be annoying, because I have to use a bunch of good attackers on him. Just how it's got to be. The, uh, the tutorial's over, right? Alright, bring me over here. Is that golem going to move down, or what? <clears throat> I want him to come towards me. Well, again, probably a really good thing that I gave him that better sword, because he's still very weak, but I'm telling you, man, the flying people, they're they are worth it. Alright, so we got a gargoyle who can walk over shit. Hmm. Who else is around here? It's like, I want to be aggressive, but I don't even know if Jaha could fucking get up there. You know what I mean? Just out of range, of course. And he's going after Chester. Of course, I got heavy attacked as well. Perfect. All right. Well, we have some pretty clear uh, paths to kill people now, so I guess that's a positive, right? Um, I think I'm gonna block you in, right? Good, good, good. And again, unfortunately, I think Kazen is in no man's land right now, which sucks. Alright, so May needs to be healed, Chester needs to be healed, Jaha needs to be healed. Yeah, step your shit up, Sarah. Hey, there you go. Ooh, she learned Blast! Oh, I forgot that she knows, like, actual spells. That's fucking cool. I forgot about that. Oh, this is really, really risky. I don't think this was a good idea. We gotta hope that Luke gets his turn before- Alright, perfect. Don't miss! Hey. So I put Kazen in harm's way there, like, pretty badly, so that was a little bit sketchy. Oh, shit. So about that. <laughs> well, that sucks. Now we're back to how we were last fight, where, like, we ran out of fucking heals pretty early on. Ah, that ouch difficulty, though, you know what I'm saying? At 
least we're consistently leveling up. That's like the positive here. Right? Okay. Now let's regroup and use the people that have healing items, you know, heal everybody appropriately. And let the enemies come to us, as always. Or I can go up and press the issue, I don't think I'm gonna. So, does Jaha... He does have a healing drop. I hate to use all this, because it's fucking expensive. I might have to, uh... I don't know why I'm buying healing drops, dude. I should probably buy more healing seeds. Seems like the better, uh... Financial thing to do. Um, we'll leave you here. Kazen can come up. Let me think. Incoming Lily, as she bangs into my microphone. Lily, you're a little bit too big. Razor was a lot smaller on the old lap, you know what I mean? Alright. Um... I'm playing very passively right now, because I'm trying to be careful, basically, is what this boils down to. <laughs> Alright, does Chest Chester have a heal? He should, right? He doesn't. Great. Still have to heal Chester. Oh, come on. Literally, the one person that I thought was safe. <laughs> Ended up getting fucking hit. You know what I mean? Give me a break. Alright, Lily. You gotta go down, baby. Give me a break, dude. Double attack? Oh my god, here we go again. Oh, thank you. Alright, well... We gotta go in, we gotta take care of this mage. <clears throat> Attack went up by two, that's actually very helpful. Alright boys, let's go. Come on Peter, dodge it. Shit. Actually just gonna attack over here. Belly's still like not doing any damage, <laughs> so I don't think it's a good idea, you know what I mean? I gotta get people over here that are actually doing damage. Oh my god, dude, Blaze 2 sucks in this game. Seriously. Wow. It's fucking butt cheeks. though. Not even exaggerating. Oh, Gerhalt needs to uh, have his turn or get healed, unfortunately. And of course, Chester doesn't have any heals. What is May's attack? 33. Chester's 36, so I should be able to kill the gargoyle. 
Because it may hit like 10 or 11, so... Yo. Oh, so sketchy. 18 defense. 40 attack, though. Let's do- hold on. Let's do some math here. 23 defense in... 36 attack did 11. 3 less. Oh, this is so bad. I think he'll do enough damage. Alright, good. I have to heal him, like, immediately, though. What's the lay of the land over here? Alright, we got those guys. So I do have to go to the left now. Guess I'll block you, Gerholt. Uh, I also think I'm gonna be a bit passive. Until it's the golem's turn. At least. Alright, they're falling back. Peter needs to heal himself. Man, losing Sarah so early was shit. Especially when she just learned Blast, too. This is okay. Could be worse. Fine. Ooh, Belly got damaged by two? What the fuck? Uh, alright, I guess I'm falling back again. Hmm. Nice. And we'll put Razor over here, so... Whoever can come over and finish him off. May, it looks like. Okay. Alright. So, who needs to get healed still? Chester. To a lesser extent, Razor, I guess. Gerald has a healing drop. Belly has a healing drop. Alright, a lot of people have healing drops, so that's good at least. Okay, I guess we'll put you here. I wish he would move. You know what I mean? I still don't like him where he's fucking positioned. I want him to move down. Please. <laughs> Golem, move. Fucking asshole. Like, I, I, uh, whatever. Fuck it. See, now, I would have been, he would have been dead. Because Slade will definitely hit him more than eight. And fucking Peter gets attacked. I was waiting for the Golem to move, dude. Fucking pissing me off. I gotta remind myself to go back to headquarters to see if I could dump any items off, because there's plenty of stuff that I just don't need. So, Peter took an unnecessary uh, 7 damage, but... Oh well. You live and you learn.
Gerhold, huh? Okay. Well, Gerhold survived, which is good, but again, I don't have any heals left, so. Gargoyle's going down, no question. Whew. That was actually uh, pretty critical that I didn't get fucking countered. Alright, now we gotta work our way up the stairs. Unfortunately, Gerhalt is injured, so I think Kazen's probably gonna have to heal him. What about Slade? Does he have any? No. Man, it's getting tricky up there, I will say that. That's not looking like a lot of fun. Hmm. Five people left, one of which is a tank, one of which uh, attacks pretty hard from range, two of which have magic spells, and another uh, good ranged sort of tank, I guess. Um, Alright. Yeah, that's a death wish if I move Peter up there. Okay. So, we're probably going to have some casualties, as I have mentioned. Just a matter of how many. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That was a good level. Hmm. Thirty-five attack. His, his attack went up by two, so... Like, do I attack him and guarantee the kill? Next turn? I guess I do. It's officially getting sketchy with no fucking healing items left. I think I might have one somewhere. Good. I'm actually glad he attacked Chester instead of Slade. Oh, going after Peter. What a dick. Oh, this is actually like so far best case scenario. Yeah, we'll be alright. We just gotta, uh, move the troops. Oh no! Come on! Are you kidding with that? That's whack. And of course, fucking Peter. Basically is stuck. Will that even kill the gargoyle? So here's my conundrum is May could attack there. Blaze 2 has been so poopy. Of course not. Well, we might be able to uh, save Chester's life with this move. So. Let me think. Take you out, I guess. We're 
Rip Chester. Well, I kind of knew going into this fight that we would have some uh, casualties. Ah, oh, fucking I gets healed. Oh well. The positive is that everybody's pretty much within attack range now, so... Once the, uh... Archer goes... We'll be fine. Wow, Archer on Archer Crime. Pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Don't you double attack. Alright, let's go. We're going in. Nice. Another good level. Take him out, Jaw. See, the one thing, though, about these uh, difficult fights, man, is uh, we're leveling up consistently, you know? Boom. Let's go, Geralt. We take the kill with uh, with Razy. I feel bad, man. I like Belly, but I didn't realize how much work Belly requires. Like, in order to make him decent, I probably would have had to have used, like, the power potions and probably given him the power ring. And is it worth it? Nah, not really, so. Anybody close to a level? Luke is. Eh, let's just get it with a razor. If we can, of course. Yep. Exactly 14. Whew. Tough fight, man. It was lucky for me that I met you. Thank you. Follow me to the ancient tunnel. Why is this door closed? That's strange. Oh well, let's go in. What? Let me try again. Petro, my grandson, locked the door. Sorry guys, we can't go to Grand's Island this way. There I go, going back, calling it Grand's- Grand's. Well... Let's loot. There's a couple, uh, chests in here. There's one. Wooden panel. I know we take that back to Ribble, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing that uh, sticks into the tree. That's right. And we got a power water. Cool. Is that it for the chest in here? I think so. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oops. Let's use the power water. Who should we use it on? Um. You know, I'm not going to use the power water. I'm not going to use it yet. Was this Polka or Ribble? Yeah, this isn't the right place. Okay. It's the other town. But while we're here, certainly revive.
and we'll save. Uh, I gotta go stock up on some heals, I guess, while I'm here as well. Oh, I guess we could do it in Ribble, right? I just gotta remember how to get the Ribble. Because this is, this is Polka and it leads to Mount Volcano or whatever. Then you go down here. Spits you out here. This is Ribble, right? Yeah. Yep. The fuck? Okay. Uh... Oh, do I have to give it to somebody? Cause don't I put the wooden panel there? Huh. Maybe I use it... from farther away? What the hell, dude? Oh, okay, so if you press C, it instantly engages in an action, but if you press A, you could bring up your dialogue. There we go. Oops. Can't go that way. The Achilles sword. And I think the Achilles sword lets us beat... There's like a big giant, I can't remember if his name is Taros or something, but... Ooh, let's go. Look at that. What a bump. What a bump. Hmm. It's little things like this, like as a kid. I'd sit there and wonder, what's beyond this? You know what I mean? Kind of like with the the truck and Pokemon, by the SSAN, stuff like that. But anyways, uh, let's go buy some healing items. Let's sell the longsword. Oops. Wait, do you both sell weapons? I don't remember. There we go. So I think the healing drops are a little overkill, so we'll buy some healing seeds. Peter, actually. I mean, it sucks they're wasting all the money, but it's pretty important, you know? I two for Gerhold as well. And Luke definitely needs two. And I could sell his other sword, which apparently I forgot to sell earlier. Not bad, we uh, replenished two and a half healing seed purchases, so. Um, I wanted to check out headquarters. Do we have headquarters in this game? We do, right? You know, it's funny, I was playing so much, you know, Shining Force 1 recently, and my wife was playing Shining Force 1, that the two games are kind of blurring together in my head. Do I have an HQ yet? I might not, right? That might be introduced with the caravan, now that I'm thinking about it. Which sucks, because it's like... You know, I got all these fucking pieces of mithril and shit that I can't even use. Alright, whatever. 
Okay, let's go fucking kill that Kraken now that we uh, accidentally stumbled onto last time. Oops. I think we go. Was it? It was this way, right? Yep. All right. Uh, I don't really remember much about this fight other than. I think you kill the head at some point. Yeah, you do. Huh. I guess we're just gonna wait, All right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait. Because I don't know if these things have ranged attacks or what the deal is, but... Oh my god, do they not move? Okay. Like, I'm not trying to fucking push the issue here. I want you guys to come forward so I can attack you. Okay. Where's Peter? Oh, of course they're all the way up there. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna wait again. All right, first blood. Unfortunately, I just put May in harm's way, which sucks. I probably shouldn't have done that. Hopefully she doesn't get kabonged. I don't know how strong these Kraken arms are, but the good news is, is now... Oof, Kraken legs, excuse me. The good news is now... It is ripe for the picking. Because I don't want uh, Kazen might get fucking killed if I do this. I'm gonna keep him up here then. It's just for the better. You got this, Luke. There you go. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that, like, none of these fucking things are moving. It's kind of frustrating, actually. So they are definitely <clears throat> in a reactionary state, just like we are, so, I mean, I get it. But none of them have MP, so, I mean, they got that going for me, right?
Anybody want to come fucking fight? <laughs> Please? Peter should be able to get in there. I hope. Oh, wasn't expecting that turn of events. Thank goodness. <clears throat> Alright, two cracking legs down at least. Better than nothing. Yo, Belly's defense is starting to lag now, man. Yep, rest in peace, Belly. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna bother with Belly. Once I uh, get, you know, extra party members or whatever, I am 100%. Um, you know, not using him. Oops. He's too much work. I mean, when he gets promoted, he's pretty sick, but like, again, his HP stays so low that it's it's a detriment, honestly. Peter's not close enough. And Slade's gonna get hit now. Kinda sucks. <clears throat> I thought Peter would be able to get up there. approaching level 20 which I think in this game is the uh, the level that you are able to be promoted at oh get the kill here Luke huh okay all right finally make it some progress all right so what do we got we got uh, a leg and an arm and the head Another leg. Four legs, two arms, and a head remaining. Okay. Come closer to the dock, everybody, please. Heavy attack, though. So, I'll say this about this fight. It's a very, very cool idea. But, it's a bit rough because, you know, unless you got a ton of ranged attacks, 
even then, uh, you know, if you got flyers or whatever, you could send them out, but then you're making them very vulnerable. So it is a very much a wait and react sort of fight. And it takes a while, obviously, by nature. But slowly but surely, we're chipping away. I think we got three cracking legs left. Two arms and a head. The uh, arms and the head obviously are the strongest. But... Okay. Whoa! What is this? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, that changes things. And now we're about to get attacked again. Ooh, May's probably gonna die. Yep. Did not know that uh, the arm had a ranged attack. Feels bad. Okay. Um, let's see, 38. I mean, he's a pretty good attacker, I guess. Oh, I put myself in danger to heal you, Peter. I do. But you're more important. And now Sarah only has two MP anyway, so... It's fine. Yo, Blaze 2 fucking sucks. It really does. We're in a little bit of trouble right now, I think. TBH. A little bit of trouble. Especially when we get counterattacked out of nowhere. But me putting Razor there and not getting the kill with Blaze 2 is actually really bad. Really bad. Yeah, we are like... <laughs> this is not good. While well, Sarah's going down, which is okay because she's useless at this point. She doesn't have any MP. Uh... I guess, you know what? As much as I want to take care of the arm, I want to kill the leg so uh, Razor doesn't get hit. Because the arm just went. It just went. That counterattack pissed me off. Of course we get heavy attacked, right? So why not? Oh. Uh, probably in my best interest to fall back and heal here. We'll use the drop. We're still okay. Um, let me think. Yeah, that's fine. We'll use this, and then Luke can kill this arm. Because Blaze 2 is fucking doo doo. I'm trying to think who to put in front of the, uh, 
4325. So not you. That's for sure. You can go here, though. You can go right here and punch this dude right in the face. Or his arm, whatever. Okay, um... Leave you here. Poor Chester. Is Chester going down? I don't think so. Yeah. Still alright. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that was a dumb move. Real dumb. Yo, the range though. Damn. All right, tough fights are tough, huh? What the fuck? Man, I don't even know what to do here. This is a tough fight. Take care of the arm. Like, do I go in right now? You know what I mean? Does he heal himself in between turns? I, I have lots of questions. Alright, let's heal Chester. We just gotta focus on one thing at a time, I guess. I don't know. Slade's gonna get killed. I gotta get him out of there. Alright, Chester gets the kill. Not an easy fight, people. Not an easy fight. The only good thing that we have going on our side right now is that the Kraken head has very little HP, but the fact that he could target from this far away sucks. Sucks. I'm not even gonna bother attacking the, uh, the leg. I don't think it's worth it at this point. The only way it could be worth it is weaker, uh, weaker fighters, basically, that I don't want attacking the head can attack the leg, I suppose. I think I want, like, Slade or Gerholt punching Kazen and Peter. I mean, in a perfect world, honestly, it's Razor, but... So dangerous. I don't know if Peter could reach, but if Peter can reach, it's a possible that we can kill the head without Razor getting killed. Oh shit, we learned Diesel. Oh, it's attacking Jaha? Okay, well, actually, that's best case scenario now. I don't think he's gonna regain his health, right? So... Um... Hmm. Crit? Really? 
All right, now now's the time to make the decision. You know what? I'm gonna get greedy and kill the leg and then just bank on the fact that people aren't gonna die and somebody else can take the uh, experience on the Kraken head. Is it gonna be Jaha? <laughs> He's not gonna be able to kill him. Um... Oh. That just means that Kazen or Peter are gonna get the kill here. Again, cool fight, a little bit frustrating. But, oh, okay. Okay, let's just, you know, skip everybody's turn. Make me spend a lot of money to revive fucking Jaha. It's no big deal. Fuck you, game. And now I level up to level 20 on your ass with my Achilles sword. How you like that? Huh? Damn, dude. Is it, this must be Hassan, right? Well, oh, what the fuck? What's over here? Oh, hey, Mithril. Wow. You know, I'm not gonna talk to anybody. There's like nobody here. This town's weird as fuck. I'm just gonna get the lay of the land. Oh, there we go, there's somebody. Lay of the land, uh, revive everybody, save, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up, because I actually have to start working. Hmm. Wait, who the fuck was that? You look like you... I can't tell if you're a character or if you're an NPC. We'll find out, right? Oops. There's gotta be something out here. Wait, can I not? Okay, here we go. Oh, is that the priest? What the fuck's he doing outside? Okay. What is up with that water? Looks like cement. Hey, more Mithril. Yo, I fucking run out of inventory. <laughs> I need to be able to dump my stuff soon, dude. How on earth did you come to Hassan? By raft? Wow, you killed the Kraken? I did. Are you not on duty right now? Because I kind of need you. You definitely look like a fucking priest, so... What's up? Oh, there's two of you? Alright, cool. Well... We, uh, had he heavy casualties in that last fight. Ugh. Sarah, Jaha, May, Luke. Is that it? Oh, Belly too, yeah. Oh, we got it done. I think our next, uh... I don't think our next fight, because I'm sure there's going to be a fight in between, but I think our next place to go is that Taros Shrine, where we could presumably uh, be able to kill uh, Taros because we have the sword. I can't remember, though, it, it, can he only be attacked by the hero? Because if so, I'm going to have to do a lot of buffing in that fight. But either way, it looks like we're in Hassan now, so let's uh, ask around here and see what's up. Alright, time to explore around Hassan now. No, this is not a uh, character, it's an NPC. Hassan is a port town, but we've had no trading recently. Razor investigated the area, Monument of the Landing at Parmesia. Ooh, a weapon shop. Hello. I already stocked up on heels, so that's fine. <clears throat> and I already looted the surrounding stuff, but we do have a bunch of other houses to check here. Dr. Rode lives in the house over there. He is eccentric. He hates talking, but a historical topic might interest him. What are you trying to say? 
Alright, what do we got here? Steel sword, which I already gave to Luke. Steel lance. Uh, pretty sure the power axe is an upgrade, right? Yes, it is. With Thieves' Dagger. How about that? Nice, dude. Power Stick. Oh, yes, you gotta love the, uh, the power- well, it's the Power Stick, but in the first game it's the Power Staff. They make your, uh... Ah, oh, shit. Gotta sell, but they make your uh, your mages somewhat competent for at least a little while. Sell that. Sell that. Is this an upgrade for May? I think it might be. Indeed it is! Cool, cool, cool. Sell that. You know, I keep forgetting to look. Uh, when to promote Shining Force 2. I can't remember the recommended level to promote. I think 20 is the new 10 in this game, so I think like probably 25 to 30. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, and sh okay, so I forgot Shining Force 2, I guess the stats don't roll back. In Shining Force 1, your character gets weaker. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... Probably promote around like 25 to 30, or if I feel like I need to. But, um, yeah, interesting to note, I thought that your stats rolled back in this, but they don't, so. Very, very interesting. I am actually gonna buy a couple more things here. <clears throat> Chester. We'll buy healing drop for Jaha. Alright, let's go look at the uh, other places here, as, like the bar and shit. Well, looks like it's a little empty here, huh? Ooh, running pimento. That is the, uh... Whatchamacall, right? <sighs> Probably it makes your um, your range better. Hmm. I think I might hold on to that for now until I uh, really figure out who I want to use that on. So let's give that to somebody else who just has more item space. Sure. Um. Oh, there he is. I am road. I'm really busy now. Time is dear to me. Please don't bother me. I smell something old. That sword must be really old. Oh my, it's the Achilles sword. So if you don't have the sword, he doesn't talk to you. Okay. You're an adventurer, right? Don't you need a vehicle? Huh? You can get the ancient caravan with that sword. You wouldn't listen to us just a short time ago. I was busy and... Let me join you. I'm the only one who could drive it. You're gonna get the caravan, aren't you? Sure. Great, good lad. Let's go! Okay, so I need the caravan. Don't know where the fuck it is. I'm guessing... I think you get that from beating Taros. But I don't really remember. Damn cobwebs and shit everywhere. Who's in here? Where are you from? Razor came from Gron's Island. Then we could be related. 
What do you mean? Our ancestors came to Parmesia to chase after a soldier called Max. Oh, shoot. They lost his trail at the shore and then split into two groups. One group went back to Granz by the way of Devil's Tail. Hmm, what happened to Max? He wasn't found at Parmesia, so maybe he went to Granz. I'm not really sure. I think I'll take a nap now. Bye. The fuck? Dude just like lore drops and then he's like, I'm done. I'm sleeping. See ya. <laughs> what the fuck? Super weird. I talked to that dude already. Alright, well. <clears throat> I guess we'll continue on to the west. We shall see. Oh, immediately into a battle. This might be another one of those battles that I was talking about that you just get thrust into over and over. Oh, great. It's one of these ones again. Wonderful. I'm fucking thrilled. It's not like it's, uh... Oh yeah, up here you can go with the caravan on these rocks. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. <clears throat> Soul Sower. Yeah, enemies are getting tougher and tougher, man. I'm definitely starting to feel that I haven't really grinded at all. At this point. Really. <laughs> Starting to feel it. I like the uh, the aesthetic of this fight, you know, like kind of like the Oasis thing going on, but... If it's anything like the other one, it's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be a little bit long. That's what she said. But, uh, I guess we'll see. Clever girl over there, not fucking really going. Just out of my range, assholes. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking people here. This is not gonna be easy. kind of committed. We gotta go in. Hopefully Sarah doesn't die. You know? Oh, uh, we're still one away. Fuck. And my moving one extra block up here screwed me as to not being able to attack that guy. Which also sucks. I think we're about to get bamboozled, people. If Slade gets killed super early, I'm totally uh, resetting this fight. The movement is just terrible out here, man. It's one of the few instances of uh, a bad movement fight so far in the game, is the desert ones. I don't know if it's because we're so bunched up or what the deal is, but uh, it's just been not very good. Yeah, Slade's gonna die, isn't he? <clears throat> Yo, that dude was coming up with a vengeance. Yeah, the shitty part is, is Slade's still gonna get punched by the fucking golem. There's just a whole lot going on right now, man. Hopefully our weapon upgrades are legit. There we go. Ooh, punching Peter. Okay. Yeah, I seem, they seem to target Peter a lot. Is it because he's a flying? Force member? I don't really understand it, but... Well, 
Well, I guess we'll attack. Hmm. Take you out so you can't cast any spells. This should kill him. Hopefully she doesn't get targeted by anybody else because she's on the verge of getting KO'd as well. And of course I'm not in range to attack. Wonderful. And Blaze 2 sucks ass, so this is <laughs> barely going to do anything. I gotta do what I can, right? Oh, come on. That sucks. That sucks. We could have killed this dude, too. And now he's gonna bang into one of us again. Yeah, he would have been dead for sure. Fucking hell, dude. Ooh, Chester is about to get hit twice. Ooh, I could have been attacked there, but the AI did not do it for some reason. <clears throat> Poor Chester, dude. Poor Chester. Alright, let's take this dude out, right? Oh, I didn't realize- Oh yeah, that was a different gargoyle. The one that just came up and attacked Chester. I was like, what the fuck? Alright, I guess we're healing Chester again, right? <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I gotta heal Slade, man. I kinda forgot. Kinda forgot. Well, if May can get her turn, she'll... Uh, I'm so hesitant to put him up here to, to heal fucking Slade. But also, like, I should, shouldn't I? Chester for the kill. It's his revenge. We're getting picked on the entire beginning of the fight. Alright, are they really pressing the issue over here, or are these guys pressing the issue? Because I feel like... that it's fucking these guys pressing the issue up here. I'm gonna preemptively use this, in case I get, like, attacked, like, three times. Which is entirely possible. No, well, nothing. Hmm. Ooh. Did I just get some good positioning for the first time? Can you believe this? Are we seeing things? I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, because I am, you know... A lot of guys can't fucking move out here, so... The only bright side about all these hard fights is Sarah is like guaranteed to get fucking 50 experience like every single fight. 
You know what I mean? 40 to 50. Let's go, Slade. Let's go, Slade. Yo, Razor is like getting fucked in this fight, dude. He's like just out of range all the time of everything. <clears throat> there we go. Good level, good level. Leave him alone. Now he's gonna get punched by the golem. I guess I'll just go here. Another beastly upgrade for Peter. My man. <sighs> Fucking slay, dude. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Alright, things are going pretty well, especially a heavy attack. Luckily, only did six. Um, I'm hesitant to put Belly into the fray because of the whole magic thing, but also, like, I don't know, man. He's definitely the weak link. I don't feel like, you know, if I was offline, I would consider, you know, maybe giving him the power ring and then grinding with him to get his levels up, but, like, just as it currently stands, uh, he's just the weak link, man. I don't know what to say. Cool. Um... Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna position myself here. Now the golem. Damn, only one experience. Rough crowd. Yeah, I should really start attacking the razor more. He's so strong, but it's always like the... I'm definitely afraid to fucking do anything, you know what I mean? I also do want to try to level up Luke a little bit, so... This is fine. Although the golems are yielding like... Oh, that's right, because he's level 18. Yeah, yeah. So he's not as low level as some other people. I forgot. I forgot. Alright, let's see what the soul sower does. Pretty strong. <laughs> Pretty strong. Um, I'm going to attack you. Oh, give me a fucking break. Yo, physically attack me all day, Zaddy. Let's go. Don't use your magic. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Only blast, huh? I <sighs> can't attack. Man, I gotta get Blaze level 3, dude. Blaze 2 is just not very good in this game. Blaze 2 is way better in the first game. Like, not even a question. There you go, that's good. Good 
do this. Boop. Now we just gotta worry about the soul sower. Luke might get killed. However, if I pull Luke back and heal, right? What is it, 20? Hmm. There's another soul sower there. We're gonna pull him back and heal. I'm gonna put him right here. We have two soul sowers left. I think the one that was furthest above me is the, uh, the event trigger. Yeah, Belly's done, dude. As soon as I get to my max capacity teammates, he's gone. It's just not, not happening. Wasn't meant to be. Not this time. Don't get me wrong, Belly slash Kiwi, I love you. I usually always grind you up whenever I played these games when I was a kid, but... Not in the mood. I deal with it. Yo, can Sarah come in and beat this- beat this ass? <laughs> Not even close. Oh, uh, that was kind of stupid. Alright, luckily... Razor will have no problem. Oh, I spoke too soon. There we go. There we go. Ooh, attack up by two. You love to see it. Alright, Slade. Just waiting for the Soul Sower to make his move. Spreading out the troops here. Yo, he's gonna run away, isn't he? I'm not letting you run away anymore. We're coming at you. Coming hard. <clears throat> oh, Slade almost got the fucking- Oh, and I get countered! <laughs> that was nuts. Nuts. <clears throat> Shit, dude. He's gonna get another turn. Survive it, buddy. There we go. Do I get greedy and give somebody else the kill? I feel like I do. Jaha, it's all yours, buddy. So yeah, I would definitely say that fight's uh, not nearly as bad as the other one that was on the desert. I don't think anybody died, right? Oh yeah, Belly died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Alright, so that's the Terra Shrine. I want to see if I can go back and uh, not trigger the battle. Because like I said, I'm fairly certain that somewhere in this game there's shit like that where you can keep spawning a random battle and it seems to be it's like one of those ones, but I guess we'll see. big ballers now, we're just gonna buy healing drops. Alright, let's heal Belly and save and then head over to the Terra Shrine. Where was the church? Was it up here? No, not here. Up here, right? Yes. 
So yeah, only uh, the <clears throat> force member with the Achilles sword can hurt Taros, which sucks. I don't even know if magic uh, can hurt him. I don't think so. So that's definitely going to be uh, the first fight where we uh, try to buff We'll buff Razor with various things. And the fight itself is fairly similar to what we just experienced. It's gonna be uh, a bunch of the same old shit. Let's go down here. Okay. Pretty sick. This is like the first like actual boss, really. Stop. Who is that big guy? Don't you know? Ooh, look at that shit. That's Taros, the guardian of the ancient shrine. There's the caravan behind him. Again, stop right there or I'll attack you. What should we do? The caravan is there behind him. We must have it. Time's up. Now we battle. Alright. So it looks like we're one member away from a full force, so... I'm assuming Road joins soon, right? I'm pretty sure he's a playable character. Alright, uh, status quo, what about to the left? Ooh, we got a soul fucking sower just to the left, huh? Alright, certainly not gonna be easy, um... Ooh, look at that. That's nice, that parallax. Where do we want to go, huh? I think we do the usual, just kind of wait and bait. You know? I don't really like the idea of fucking moving over there, but... Cracked every bone in my body. The fuck? Okay. So there's a pretty big siege up there that we're gonna be heading into. <clears throat> Uh, Sarah <clears throat> kind of floating in the middle of everybody if possible All right A little concerned because I think the soul sour is probably gonna get the attack off before we can potentially kill him with Peter or Slade 51 what do we got? 51. Okay, Slade should be able to kill him then. Nice. Well, that worked. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Kays in here. Go keep you here. Start coming up. Um. Oh, wait. There's a fucking dude over here. I didn't even see him. Hmm. Then in that case, I will attack you from here. Shit. Nice. <clears throat> 
I would like to get a spear back soon. Ah, oh, shit. Is May gonna die? Very close. Oh, May's dead. Fuck, I forgot that the gargoyles can go over that shit. Woo, she dodged! Let's go! her with a spell, unfortunately. <clears throat> Yo, I love that Geralt just fucking punches people in the face. It's so funny. <laughs> What a beast, that double attack, though. I'm, like, really risking it here, not healing May. I don't know what I'm doing. Can she be targeted, like, through everybody? I don't think so. Oh, though the other gargoyle can. Ooh, nice! Alright. Let's see. Take a look. Two people over there. Gargoyle over there. I might just ignore them, to be honest with you. And just work my way up to the left. I think that's the, the plan. I mean, if they come towards me, I'll kill them, obviously, but if they're just gonna, like, dick around and walk, like, two squares at a time, then... I don't really... Dude, I swear on my life, I fucking positioned Peter. I thought so far out of the fray. I didn't think there was a chance in hell that I'd be getting hit there. Ridiculous. Anyway. I thought no chance. I thought I was even maybe like two squares fucking... You know what I mean? Damn, Slade's so sick now he's almost one-shotting fucking gargoyles. Who would've thunk? May for the win. Level 17 probably. Oh, nice. Pretty good level. <clears throat> yeah, unless those guys bum rush the stairs on the other side when I go up on the platform, I'm probably not even gonna kill them, honestly. No point. They're barely moving. Alright, um... That's fine. them to have their turn and then I'll I'll go in. Oh, again I flubbed up. I purposely put it there so you didn't get a fucking attacked. Oh, are you kidding? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. What a jerk. Okay, so they are kind of approaching, which is like fine, I guess. Maybe I'll keep a couple guys back. Um, can I hit him from over here? No. Well, 
we'll be fine though. It's another slow and steady. You know, just take take care of people as they come, and we'll worry about the uh, you know the, the big crew a little later. Um, sure. I was correct. Only one experience, but uh, it is what it is. I just wanted to get rid of him, and uh, we need to pull back. Should be able to get a combo of Chester, Peter, and May. I guess Kazen as well, sure. He hasn't even attacked yet in this, this fight. As long as Peter gets in there, the arrow launcher will be dead. And then I guess I'll start focusing on these buttholes over here. Fuck it! Maybe get May the kill. How about it? This has been a, uh, no pun intended, a shining example for May in this fucking fight. Um, yeah, I guess we'll send Peter up. <clears throat> That's fine. I just don't want Belly to get fucking hit by the magic, basically. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Need to heal Luke pretty badly. Possibly even again, depending on how these next few turns go. Where I'm trying to, like, eliminate other people. Let's just use the healing seed, I guess. Alright, Jaha will be able to kill the golem. Physical attack. That's exactly what we wanted. Because it does jack shit, you moron. Alright. Probably only Blaze 2 or Blast or something. Who cares? Weak ass spell in Shining Force 2, I tell ya. Actually, we'll just take the guaranteed kill first. Yeah, the golems aren't giving me any experience anymore. We're too tough. Too tough for them. Alright. Bam. Potentially a one-hit kill? That's right. Another one experience. <laughs> uh, it's definitely something I have to keep in mind, I guess. Um, that I don't go too overboard with, like... Stealing experience, so to speak. <clears throat> well, Belly died, unless Jaha gets a turn, uh... Before. Sucks, but is what it is. <clears throat> hey, Jaha did get his turn first. Okay. The only positive is is that uh, Taros can't move, from what I remember. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna save, uh... Oh, do I even... 
Oh, I don't. Shit. I gotta heal one that I could use on uh, Razor still, but... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the Soul Sower, because he's ultimately the only one that could actually really do any damage. And I can kill him with Mei or Kazin or somebody like that. Kazin can come in and potentially kill both. Let's see. Or not, probably. So I'm gonna do this, position here, right? Kill the Black Monk, weaken the Soul Sower, come in with Mei, kill the Soul Sower. Take care of the golem and then start buffing Razor. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <clears throat> Give me Blaze 3 though. Seriously. Not fucking around anymore. Ooh! Attacking Luke though. Okay. Jerk off. And... Oh! I didn't... That was a Joe Rogan moment. I didn't know that Taros had magic, dude! That's not good! Oh, poor Luke. Son of a bitch. Alright, well the Cell Sower is gonna be dead. Good. I wanted him to move out of there so we could just kill him off to the side. And then I gotta really plot my my actions here. Dude, like nobody's like, May is like the only one that's probably gonna get any experience for this kill. So I'm just gonna stay. Drop you back for now. Maybe Chester? Nah, I still think May's May's the, uh... The one... Because I think she'll still get at least like 15 experience for this kill, I could be wrong. Yeah, 31. Perfect. Alright, so now we can only attack him with the uh, Achilles sword, so we don't want people to get too fucking, um... close to him, obviously. But let's assemble the force around him. Buff accordingly. There you saw two fucking things in a row, which is ridiculous, but it happens. Alright. Keep Slade here. Move Razor here. I might keep Kazen here. I can't attack with May. Can't attack with Chester. Can't attack with Peter. Who has the uh, speed ring? I don't remember. Let's take a look. Not you. She, oh, she doesn't have boost. Kazen has boost, right? No, nobody has, I thought somebody learned boost. Guess I'm wrong. Okay, so he's got the power ring. Who's got the speed ring? Chester? Anybody? Am I, am I confusing fucking shi my Shining Force 1 playthrough with 2 now? I might be, huh? Oh, wait, did I give it to Luke? I might have. Oop. Alright. Alright. Uh... Let's boost. Crazy. Dude, a fucking crack appeared in the ring already? Shut up. <laughs> Seriously. Shut up. Yo, can I muddle him? I don't know. Let's just try it. I don't think I can muddle him, but... He's probably largely unaffected by everything. Has no effect. Okay. I thought so. 
All right. <sighs> oh, she has the speed ring. Oh. Quick ring. Oh, it doesn't work? Is it, oh, is it like, um... So in Shining Force 1, I never, like, used it before. It actually works as aggress, and I actually left the last battle by accident before. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was going to be like a boost, but I guess not. Okay. It is what it is, as they say. We'll just keep people around with healing items. You know? As long as he doesn't fucking... Ooh, he double dipped, dude. He double dipped, but I survived. Oh, dude, if he did that to me, fight would have probably been over. That's crazy. Come on. All right, I got a heal razor, so. Even if May dies, you know? So, as long as he doesn't double attack me... Which you never know. Okay, he attacked May, so... we, Yeah, I think we're good. Should be good. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. He's targeting May, so... Thank you, May, for your service. You did great in this fight. You leveled up, like, twice, I think. Should be Razor's turn again shortly. I hope. You know how the games like to be. There we go. I'm gonna assume he can't dodge. I mean, he's fucking ginormous. <laughs> and we leveled up for our troubles. And we learned Bolt. I forgot you learned Bolt, dude. Razor, you're much stronger than I thought. It's so small. I'll just try to get inside. <laughs> oh, he's gone. I hope he comes back. Did Road lie to us? Oh, he's back. It's like a gigantic hermit crab. I never lie. The ancients were... How should I say this? Great. No wonder the caravan is so small. It carries miniaturized people and items. I could drive this excellent vehicle. May I go with you as a driver? Road the historian tags along with the force. You're kidding, right? Well, at least we could bring a lot of soldiers with us. But soldiers in the caravan cannot enter battle because they've been miniaturized. We'll just have to see. Hm. I don't like this guy. I wonder what adventures we'll find in this caravan. Dude loves it. A hey, healing water. That's, uh, let me see real quick. Oops. I think the healing water is a total heal. I believe. But now we got the caravan, so that's sick. Uh, all right, we can go in. Ah, uh, here we go. And now you can deposit items. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take it out, take a look, drop and deposit. Perfect, now we can dump all of our fucking Mithril's. You'll love to see it. Oh, look at all the inventory. It's beautiful. Keep the bread for later as well, in the warrior pride. And 
the silver tank. Gonna keep the running pimento as well uh, until we figure out like who's gonna be in dire need of that later. All right, awesome. Item purge. Uh, purge, is that for items? I can't recall if the purge is for items or if like you get too many people and you kick them out. It's been so long since I've played that I honestly don't remember. But uh, we're gonna head back here to Hassan. Talk here. Are you the boy who killed the legendary Kraken? I got to Hassan thanks to you. I didn't know this was a, excuse me, I did not know this was such a dull town. What's that? It's the caravan, an ancient vehicle found in the shrine. I love interesting things like that. Wow, you found it? I want to go with you to see some more interesting things. Rick the Knight has joined the force, so he is currently the final force member. I could have sworn that Road was a playable character, but maybe he's literally not, and he's just, uh, like, what's-his-face from the first game. I always forget the guy's name from the first game, the guy at headquarters. He has, like, a beard, and he looks really goofy. Anyway. Adventure, yo-ho, let's go! Wait, what? The fuck? Yo, where did this guy come from, though? Honestly. Oh, man. The broadsword, though. Oh, are these only... Oh, shit. Alright, so these are only items, I think, that you could use when you're uh, promoted. Right? Actually, Jaha could use this, so... Please tell me the power spear could be used. Alright, nice. Give this to Rick. Yo, is Rick already better than Chester? The Robin arrow. That is another have to be. Flail? I don't think anybody could use that. I think that's a. Uh, solely a. Is that the monk weapon? Same for the leather glove. Hmm. Well, I hope this dude stays here. Actually, I gotta sell some stuff. I hope he stays. Yo, like, real talk, when is fucking money ever a problem in this game? <laughs> I can think of, like, one instance in Shining Force 1 where money was, like, s I don't even know if it was a problem, but I had to sell a few things, maybe, but... Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna buy some more healing drops. Do another one to Luke. We're gonna give some to our newfound uh, mithril dumpers, if you will. <clears throat> and then we'll buy another fairy powder as well. Give that to Belly, and I guess since Belly is gonna be on the team, we'll buy him another healing drop. But he is definitely going to be first to go. Cool. That was A lot of that was really unexpected, to be honest with you. So let's now revive and save. And... Hmm. It's uh, time to start driving along in the caravan on the dried river, I'm pretty sure, so... Ooh, you know what? I think, yeah, we're allowed... Okay, so when I resume, I'm going to be in a secret village. That's right, I forgot. After you get the caravan, you could access a secret village that's pretty easily missed. Um, and it's really cool. It has one of the best soundtracks in the game. Very similar to a Zelda song. But pretty uh, pretty happy with where we are so far. I'm going to do, do a little bit of research as far as... Uh, end game force members when I get off here. I'm about to take a little break in real life, but uh Yeah, when we continue on we're gonna be hopping in the caravan and fucking going to a secret village. 
Alright, so I actually saw dissenting opinions regarding- Ooh, almost spilled my coffee everywhere, jeez. Regarding promotion. So... You got your Shining Force purists that are like, you know, the promotion level's 20 in this game. They're like, you should wait till level 40 to promote, but I mean, like, I'm not gonna be grinding like that <laughs> at all. Some people say level 30. And then I read uh, Prevailing Wisdom that a lot of people just promote at level 20, you know? So, really what this boils down to is who am I going to use my promotion items on? Um, and apparently a lot of characters don't go down in this game after they get promoted like they do in the first. But for example, if I use that, um, that item that promotes the Centaur into the Pegasus Knight, apparently the defense goes down by 10, at least with Chester. So anyways, let's take a look. Uh, I think Razor's good to go. Yeah, Sarah's got a way to go still, goddamn. So the, they recommended that uh, you save your healers for like well after 20 if you can. But we'll see. Uh, Jaha, Slade, Peter. I'll just promote them right away, fuck it. Should I use... You know what? Let me look real quick. I don't know if I should use the, uh... The Warrior Pride... On Jaha or not. <clears throat> That's like a big... Point of confusion for me. Because I don't know if Jaha is going to be my... You know, my end game, uh, he might be. Alright, let me see. Who else is a warrior? I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm not gonna. I already know, obviously, all the characters in this game because I've beaten it before like three times. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is he technically. Oh, he already is. Okay. There's only like... I'm pretty sure there's only like one other freaking warrior. Right? Well... Yeah, maybe I'll hold off for a little bit. It's tough, it's tough to say. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll let it slide for a little bit, how about that? Alright, so let's do Razor. Watch Razor become an absolute Chad now, by the way. Look at that. What a stud. Alright, so I'm gonna hold off on Jaha, but I will promote Slade. Slade's a ninja now, baby, and this is why you freaking. This is why you do the grinding for him, because he looks sick, and he actually learns some magic. The magic isn't great, but... Is there one more person? Peter, right? <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just go for it. Peter the Phoenix, baby. And we're gonna hold off a little bit on Jaha. save it and let's head out <clears throat> we're gonna hop in the caravan I apologize if you hear me munching on ice but I'm having an iced coffee this morning cuz I'm fucking tired I was up late last night watching the Niners Monday Night Football game against the Rams when you get older man these primetime games no fun all right uh, let me see let me see I think, actually, don't we want to go over here? Was there a, uh... Indeed there was!
Ah, uh, yes, another great track, the dwarf song. We came from Grons to look for Mithril. Dry stone, baby. All right. Recent earthquakes have buried the tunnel. My friend is sick now and we can't dig the tunnel out without him. Who's your friend? Hmm. Ah, oh, there he is. Poor guy. One of us went to look for the fairy. I hope he's alright. Cold. I'm so cold. Oops. Didn't mean to make you suffer, buddy. L listen to this song. How sick. Alright. Alright, so here is a secret. You see that patch of gra- uh, no, I was gonna say grass. The patch of the trees that's a little bit off. We have the... The secret elven town. So there is like a bunch of different paths to go in here, I think. Another great track. Very similar to a Zelda track, but... Alright, anyway. Razor investigated the area, nothing was there. Okay. How do you get... There's like chests kind of in the woods. That's to leave, probably. Okay, there's one. I was sick of Vigor, Vigor Ball. That's, um... A promotion item that, oddly enough, Sarah could use. But we're a long ways away from doing that, unfortunately. Hey, more Mithril, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's investigate the houses now. So there's actually a battle um, that you could fight here where there's constantly respawning enemies. So basically it's like the perfect grind spot. But the boss of the battle, I don't think we could actually beat right now. I think we're too underleveled. <clears throat> We'd have to see, but... Elric is out. He went to find the fairy to help a sick dwarf. The forest to the west is very dangerous. Okay. They say a fairy lives around here. Do you know her? Fairy? She has not returned from Creed's mansion. Welcome. Travelers often stop by here to rest. You may stay here as long as you like. Ooh, fairy powder. Cool. Oops. I'll never turn some fairy powder down. Oops. Let's also... Well, actually, we'll hold on to the dry stone. That's the, uh, the vigor ball. To Creed Mansion? Only the fairy knows how to get there. But maybe Elric knows because he's a friend of the fairy. Secret book. Okay. I don't remember what the secret book does. I don't remember if it's a promotion item, I don't know if it unlocks the secret battle at the end of the game, I don't know if it's a thing to get into, uh... Creed's Mansion? I can't recall. Oops. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna save just yet. <clears throat> Is 
Did I get... I just want to make sure that I didn't miss any uh, treasure here. I didn't mean to leave. Right, I wasn't sure if I uh, was going to get that fight or not. I know that there's a battle in the trees. I just can't remember where. I think we're good, but let me just peek around a little bit more to make sure that I didn't miss a treasure chest. There's that one. And there was that one. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's go save and then try to find the secret battle. I can't remember if I missed something else somewhere. I may have, but it is what it is. So the secret battle here has the bubbling ooze. Oh my god, I did it again, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's make attention. And that's why you people watch my playthroughs, right? To see all my uh, fucking misclicks. Alright. And here we are. Let's look for the secret fight. Yo, the audio hiss is getting fucking terrible in here. Listen to that. I don't know what to say. All right, where is the secret square? That's the leave. Yeah, whatever's going on with my analog, it does not freaking like the Elven Town, apparently. It almost sounds like wind, though, right? So, I got that going for me. Um. Where is the square? I mean, if I don't find it right now, it's not the end of the world, because we can't beat the fight anyway, but... Would be nice to get to it. There we are. Welcome to the Fairywood special stage. How quickly can you defeat all the hidden monsters? Now, set a new record. Sure. Alright, what do we got here? Where are the monsters? Maybe this isn't the fight that I'm thinking of. Oh, it is. Okay, bubbling ooze. God. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so, um, huh. alright, so a lot to talk about real quick. Uh, first, I had to cut my footage, uh, because I had to deal with something in real life. I was actually in the middle of Battle 19, uh, just outside of the Elven Town, so I had to stop that. I was mashing through to aggress as I was on the phone, and I got killed. Kazen got killed, so I had to revive him. Uh, also, I realized that Slade no longer could use the dagger since he's now a ninja and not a thief. So I actually have to go back to, uh, what was it, Polka or whatever? Or, actually, was it Hassan? Yeah, it was Hassan. Oh, shit. Can I not? Yo, am I, like, 
forced into this battle now? Shit. Uh, so bad news. Slade is unusable in this battle because I don't have a fucking weapon for him. <laughs> oh no. Can I? Hold up. I just want to see, can I get out of the town if I leave a different way? Or am I thrust into this battle immediately? Because it's going to be pretty shitty not being able to use Slade. But I feel like there's only three exits. There's the one to the left, which would probably for sure make me go out to the fight. The one on the bottom, which obviously did. Isn't there one at the top? Can I escape? Please? Nope. Well, looks like I'm fucked, guys. And I'm pretty sure I sold my extra swords, right? Yep. We are... <sighs> screwed, I guess. Um... Yeah. Okay. Rocking that 35 attack power, it's no big deal. Alright, so Slade, you're not gonna see his full power in this one until we, uh... Get out of here, I guess. But yeah, anyway. I noticed that. Also, actually, a big thing, guys. I think I finally fixed the uh, the audio hiss that was going on on the analog throughout the playthrough of Shining Force and Shining Force 2. Um, there was one setting that I tweaked, and I kind of listened to it for like five minutes, and the hiss went away. So I do want to sincerely apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, something to do with the CD audio that shouldn't have been selected, I guess. I don't know. But either way, it looks like it's uh, rectified now. And it wasn't too bad. I mean, most of the time when the hiss was going on, there's usually like a lot of music and a lot of commotion. Uh, it was really, really, really obvious in the elven town, though. But I'm just glad that I finally got it fixed. So again, my apologies, but going forward, all the uh, Sega Genesis game gear and Master System footage should be fine audio-wise, so that's good news. I'm almost tempted to give, uh... the sword that, um, Luke has to Slade. But we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel like my squad's a little bit underleveled. I don't know. Just the hunch that I'm getting. Either that or the fights are just kind of ramping up a little bit. Hard to tell. Um, should I press the issue with Kazen? Probably not. We're attacking with our bare hands here, people. <laughs> it's actually still decent damage on a few of the enemies, but... Yeah, not a, not a great look. Sarah's gonna get attacked by that archer. Yep. <laughs> Don't you double attack me. Thank you. I gotta remember to kill the high priest with that ball uh, with a person that has an item slot. Which I think most people do at this point, but...
Uh, guess we'll heal ourselves. So, I did a little bit of reading, and Luke isn't very good <laughs> from everything that I saw. Um, but he is infinitely better. I could not remember, so the baby bird that we saved back in Bedou, Screech. Oh shit. This is gonna hurt. I couldn't remember if, uh, if he was really good or really bad, and, uh, yeah, Screech is really, really fucking bad, so, I got my answer. Soul Sower could probably get to me, so I'll go here. The Dark Madame. Yo, should we try this soul? That shit never works, man. I actually got it to work uh, in Shining Force 1. I think hands out. Got it to work on somebody. Yo, we're straight up going in right now with the, uh, the, with the bare hands. <laughs> Not working as well on the newer enemies, huh? Uh, should probably go here. Just in case we miss. Alright, now I got a decision to make with Chester. Do I turn him into a Pegasus Knight or or not? Since May's a Ranger, I think she'd be the Silver Tank. I keep forgetting about the fucking gargoyle up there. I'm not gonna worry about him. I'm so glad that I got rid of that audio hiss, man. I'm like a, uh, a quality junkie. So the fact that it was present during my Shining Force playthrough and throughout this one until now did really bother me. So I'm just very freaking glad that I was able to fix it. Going in on the Soul Sower! Is it Soul Sower or Sour? Oh, that reminds me. So the birds from Shining Force 1 that you get from Shade Abbey, I had like a Mandela effect for years, guys. So there's a Moan, and I kept calling the other one Balbury. And, and I guess like you could sort of stretch it to where it would be that, but it's spelled B-A-L-B-A-R-O-Y. So it's like Balbaroy. And I kept saying Balbury, like almost as if there was no O. And I've been saying this my whole freaking life, dude. I was like, I, I'm not kidding, I just noticed it yesterday. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, there's some, some deep ass Mandela effect right there. So I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to try to make it a, a point going forward to refer to uh, Balbaroy as Balbaroy instead of Balbury. Damn, ganging up on Chester? I'm gonna slap you with my hands. So 
So I noticed that uh, even after promotion, that's another big difference between Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2 is... Like, right after you promote, you know, uh, Peter should be getting 49 experience for that kill, but he's not. You know, he got like 20-something or whatever, 30. Something to note. Alright, I gotta heal up after I kill this gargoyle. Nice. Yo, Luke is just cleaning up lately. I think I'm gonna fall back a little bit. Make sure Chester, Slade, all of them are healed up. I mean, if I don't have to get anybody killed, then I won't. I'm still dying that I completely fucking forgot about... Uh... The fact that Slade can't use the, the daggers and shit anymore. <laughs> so he's just walking around fucking slapping shit. Looks like they're falling back for the most part. Are there any more enemies to the south? Just an orc? Make a move, people. Hmm. I don't know. And of course, I don't attack. Damn, he's one step away from me. <laughs> Just how it is, huh? Let's try taking him out, though, at least. We could have Peter and May, and... Oh, yeah, he's got some good, uh, fucking defense, dude. It's gonna be tough. Probably should heal, I guess. Shit, she might die. Nope. Okay. I underestimated her power, okay? What do you want? Um, am I committing over here to you guys? I might be. Take that.
Damn it. Why not? Poor belly. There we go. Definitely gotta work on leveling uh, Sarah up more. <clears throat> So if we don't get good uh, RNG as far as our order of attack, May is definitely gonna die, but it is what it is kind of thing. Yo, should I try to soul? I'm going for it, let's go. It's gonna work, I'm calling it. Son of a bitch. Rip May. Saw it coming, but I kind of thought maybe, maybe somebody would get an attack before, but wasn't in the cards. So I'm already thinking Rick is better than Chester. <laughs> I can't quite remember if he is or not long term, but uh... Kazen should survive this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm already thinking Rick is the the better option for the uh, the Pegasus Knight, at least over Chester, of course. <clears throat> So I gotta take out that High Priest, so I can get that, uh, I don't even know what that thing does, I can't quite remember. The, uh, Shining Ball, but... Oh shit! I passed up on a, uh, attack turn to hit the Orc, that was my bad. Oh my god, I gotta use Blast from directly next to you? That's no good. Hmm. Well, you know what? She's basically, like, gonna die anyway, so it is what it is. Or not that she's gonna die, but she's essentially useless at this point beyond that. and miss that one hurts a little bit actually uh, definitely got a little bit too careless with the, that whole placement not gonna lie definitely got a little bit careless there level up gear halt. He's lagging behind a little bit. I gotta get him some more levels because he's so good. Ooh. That's a hefty freeze too right there. Oh, it's only blast? Oh, it was the, uh, the Dark Madame that knew the, uh, Freeze 2 spell. That's right. Blast me. Alright, well now this guy's out in the open, which is good, because we want to kill him to get the, uh, his item drop. I 
fucking gargoyle. Um... Let's blast his ass. Come on, Belly. Come on, buddy. Would be nice if I had Kazen right now. But I don't. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god. Of course, so now he's gonna die with a blast or some bullshit. Ah, <sighs> sucks. <clears throat> this fight would be a lot easier if uh, Slade had a fucking weapon. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he just had a weapon. Instead, we're slapping people with our hands. And the High Priest chose to heal himself, which I guess is not great, but it's okay. Um, we just need to take him out, dude. The Soul Sower just went, and the Priest just went. He should be able to survive an attack from the Orc, I would hope. Is his inventory good? Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot Luke was still alive. <laughs> Oh, he dodged! Let's go, Luke! Let's go! Um... I feel like it's kind of a waste... ...to do anything with Belly, honestly. Yeah, Rick's got full items, so... The Shining Ball. I think that might be the thing that, uh, like, Kazen, for example, would hold when he gets promoted. I don't quite remember, though. So Luke's still alive. I can get Luke a kill, but he will die. But I say we get him the kill and level up. hit into the soul sower because I think the orc is the technically the boss of the fight let's go razor that should level you up right nice 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 everybody oh Luke dodge it buddy fuck everybody against the orc Slade Ay, 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 ay. Oops, 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 oops. HP remaining, huh? 31. I feel like, uh... I try to get the kill with Peter. 
As long as he doesn't get critted. Maybe I'll heal him, just in case the orc decides to get tricky here and get a turn somehow before Peter. I think that only happens with bosses, but still. Alright, Peter. It's on a platter. Hell yeah, 2-2. Two, two. We love that. We love that. Alright, so we're supposed to continue uh, to the left, but I think I would like to actually head back to get to revive my comrades, of course, and get slayed a sword, <laughs> right? So let's do that. Can you use the broadsword? He can. Ooh, 57. Let's go. Ooh, it's an upgrade over the Achilles sword. I didn't even realize that. Okay. So let's, uh, sell. Actually, do we want to sell the Achilles sword? I feel like it's, like, cool. I want to keep it. I don't know. It's stupid. I don't think you really use it again, obviously, but I'm like weird sometimes and I like to keep the uh, the cool items. I think if you sell it, it becomes available in the deals category. So let's... Uh, oh God, I didn't mean to do that. Let's give... Oops. Dry stone to somebody. Sure. Keep the razor. Oops. Nope. 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 Did anybody else recently get promoted? I don't think so. They could use any of that shit. And is there anybody? Chester, Jaha. I gotta think about them, though, before I promote them. Oh, Luke and Rick. Uh, mm, I gotta think about Rick. I will promote Luke, though. Let's go revive everybody and promote Luke. And then we'll buy Luke a broadsword and sell the steel sword, and then we're gonna go to the caravan and dump some stuff off, and then we're gonna sell... or, excuse me, save. Uh, cause I gotta start working. But then we're gonna continue on to the Harpy Pool. Which hopefully the... The battle that we just did doesn't respawn. But, who knows. Uh, let's promote... Luke. I love the, uh, the promote jingle. So astute. That's it for now. All right, let's go buy the broadsword, dump a few things off in the caravan, and save. Caravan time. Pause it. Start at the top. We'll deposit the Achilles sword. Uh, secret book for now. Be thrill. I guess we could always deposit the balls and shit until we know exactly what we're gonna do with them. Alright, let's go get a couple more healing items, I guess, since I did use a few.
Good enough for me. All right, awesome. So I'd say we're in good shape. I'm gonna do a little bit more research into who I should be using the special promotion items on. Oops. Again, Shining Force 2 fucking with me not having the save on the top, man. Keep getting me. A little bit of a herky-jerky recording session here this very morning, but you know what? At the end of the day, I fixed the audio hiss on the goddamn Mega SG, so I'm happy now. And let's uh, continue to the west towards the Harpy Pool. Okay. <clears throat> boop, 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 boop. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I decided that I wanted... To, I, I know what I want to do. So... <sighs> let's pop into the caravan. So now that I'm thinking about it... We're going to take the Warrior Pride, and we are going to use it on Jaha, and I'm actually going to go back and do that now. I think you could use swords or something after that, which is pretty cool. Um, Silver Tank, I'm still unsure. The Secret Book, I'm going to give to Kazen? Question mark? The Vigor Ball... I'm gonna give to, um... Sarah, most likely. And, um... I think, ultimately, I'll probably end up using my Silver Tank on May. But I'm not sure. And I still have no idea what the Shining Ball does. I think that actually might be a, uh... There's a few, yeah, battle items. Okay. Causes up to 20 HP damage with a special attack. Okay, I see. Alright, so let's... Is anybody, like... Oh, my god, I didn't want to go back in. What is Kazen at? Sarah's way far away. Kazen's almost at 20. Uh... Chester's at 20, so I gotta make a decision on the Pegasus Wing as well. Am I still carrying that? Oops. I thought I had the Pegasus Wing already, did I not? I guess I'll take this this out. Warrior Pride. I might just give that to Luke, actually. And then I'll take out the Secret Book and just give it to Kazen because he'll be able to uh, promote soon. We'll leave that in there, because Sarah's not anywhere close. I'm gonna leave the silver tank in there, because I'm still not quite sure if that's what I really want to do. And I just want to double check, because I could have sworn that I had the Pegasus Wing, but I guess I don't. I hope I didn't drop it or something. Alright, Pegasus Wing. Huh. Perhaps I did not get that yet. I'm hoping that's the case. I can't even remember. So let's go promote. We're gonna promote. Uh, let's see, let's see. Promote Jaha. Uh, yes. Alright, so now he's becoming a Baron. I gotta basically make my choice between uh, Chester and uh, Rick, right? That's his name. <clears throat> the 
between who's going to use the Pegasus Wing whenever I find it. So apparently, Jaha could use swords now. Well, let's see. Okay, so he can use swords. Well, it's a one upgrade, it's still better than nothing, right? And then we'll sell... Battle Axe. Okay, cool. Man, let's save and then head on. And hopefully after the next battle we'll be able to promote, uh, excuse me, promote uh, Kazen. I gotta do some work on Sarah. Mm, I gotta start maybe stealing some kill. Well, it's tough because she's such a good healer for me that it's tough to use the MP, right, on, um... stuff like Blast, but also at the same time, like, you know. Alright. Anything hidden around here? Wait, is this... Was this the site of that one battle? Oh shit, I did not go the right way. Oh, my bad. Total brain fart, guys. This was the Taros battle. Um, I need to hop back in my caravan. Because I forgot that I backtracked to go uh, buy weapons and promote and all that kind of shit. So. Uh -oh. There. And then we cut across. There's the Elven Village. We already beat this fight. Shouldn't have to do it again. Alright. Where are we? It's looking like a pool. Wait! What's wrong, Oddler? Razor, Peter, can you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear anything. Somebody's crying for help from over here. It's coming from this direction. Look, over there. Help me! An elven boy? He's stuck in the pond. He must be very tired. Let me pull him out. Do, 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 do. Did you come to help me? Oh, thank you. I might have been eaten by monsters if you hadn't come. My dinner is escaping. Who said that? Oh, shit! That pond catches my food. Hey, elf boy, good trap, huh? Those who get stuck in the pond are mine. It's my rule. Then all the missing people were eaten by you? They were in my pond. And this elf is my dinner for tonight. Got it? Did you guys bring the ketchup? <laughs> no. Oh, well. All right, one of those damn there ambush attacks. Okay. Dark Madame, uh, High Priest, Harpy, Orc, Orc. Arrow Launcher, Harpy, High Priest, Dark Madame, Harpy. What is it? Four Harpies? One, two, three. Oh, shit. We got two Harpies behind us? Oh, boy. Well, that's no good. Can't even attack, huh? Actually, I could attack you. What's his attack now after the, uh... 47, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad, huh? Let's go for it. Really? Really? 
So the Harpies know magic. What do they know? Is it like Muddle or something? Dispel. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Harpy didn't move. Okay. Ooh, I'm surprised didn't go at Kazen, man. Oh! Yo, the Harpies are... strong. Okay. Yikes. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Sarah, I need it to be your turn soon, please. Or do I attack? I guess I take my chances. Probably best to take you out. I mean, you don't need, like, yeah, blast, right? Ain't no thing. It is cool, though, that they, uh... Let priests know, you know, that type of shit. All right, Luke, stay with me, buddy. <clears throat> um, you know what? I say we just fucking go for it. I hope that we don't miss, right? Oh my god, one. Oh, one, huh? Oh, Belly's dead. You know, I chose not to level him up, and it is what it is at this point, guys. Well, with that being said, um, let's just do a normal blaze here. Alright, cool. I can promote Kazen after the fight. Alright, so I gotta watch out for that Harpy that's up above. We might be able to kill it with a combo of Chester, May, and Gerholt, hopefully. Eh, maybe not, though. Let's get a crit. Or a double. Ooh, I didn't remember about that other harpy. I thought that one came down already. Well, shit. Hey, we finally got a sword. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna take care of this harpy. Oh my god, of course. So much for that, huh? Would have been dead, but now it's not. Oh, I know I left myself vulnerable there, it's okay. Alright, don't miss, Jaha. Thank you. The, uh, the Baron artwork's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I just realized that my OBS is, like, not visible. Now oh, I healed himself. Alright, what do we want to do? Um... Five... Probably... Yeah. Heal you again. <clears throat> I 
Attacking Jaha, huh? Well, I'm gonna keep, like, most of my troops up there, because they'll be able to take out the Harpy, most likely. Oh, shit. Not good, actually. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. That's some bullshit. That is some bull fucking shit right there. Not happy about that. Not happy about that one at all. And of course we're not in range for our spells. That was pretty much a, a total fail. Naturally. And Razor is actually in some imminent danger at the moment. Due to the Harpy. So, yeah. Take the Harpy's attention away from Razor. Best strat? <clears throat> Probably is. Alright. Yeah, Razor's in trouble if that Harpy flies around. Tell you what. And of course he heals himself, which was expected, I guess. Okay, we need to move the crew downward. See, now I think I need to make a business decision here. I don't think the Harpy can get through, actually, so I'm going to attack the Orc. I really don't think that the, uh, the computer is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to fly all the way around with two guys basically directly in front. Just can't see that happening. Son of a bitch. Did not expect that, actually. Okay, we're in danger, people. We are in grave danger. And the harpy flew around. Unreal. We are in grave Danger, people. Well, Razor or somebody nearby has to get a turn off before the orc, otherwise the battle is over. Did I give him any healing items? I gave him a healing drop. Perfect. Yeah, Razor's about to get pelted, dude. Of course, we get heavy attacked. On top of it all. Still have another Harpy to contend with. Ay ay ay. Oh, and it's healing the Harpy. Wonderful. <clears throat> Wonderful. This is dreadful, actually. Poor positioning on my part. It's all my fault, but... Now I'm, like... Really torn. You know what I mean? Like, do I wedge myself literally in between the fucking Harpy to heal Razor? You know? Like, I, I don't know... If that's a good idea, but... Also, at the same time, like... I guess it is. Because if Razor dies, the battle's over, so. 
sort of simple in a way. With that being said, um... Do I, like, fully retreat at this point? I think I kind of have to. And then we have to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe here with everybody. Peter's gotta get in the fray. Sarah's definitely dead, there's not a chance, yeah. There goes my heels. Yeah, so low-key, the, uh, the High Priest kind of fucked me a lot in this fight with some really uh, critically timed heals. Which sucks. I'm trying to take your ass out, buddy. No more heals for you. <clears throat> Honestly, how bad is Blaze in this game? God damn, dude, it sucks. The fact that Harpy's still alive is, like, sad. Just on many fronts. Uh, I mean, like, I guess... I, I don't know. I guess I probably should kill the Harpy. But also position out of the way of, like, a million magic spells. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. <sighs> particularly happy with what's going on at the moment. I'm just gonna say that. This this bottleneck here was brutal. I might actually lose this fight. And the reason that I might lose this fight is ultimately because there's one more harpy floating around. So, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Try to take you out. Although you can't even cast a spell anymore. So actually I shouldn't have attacked you. Oh well. And I knew it. I knew the fucking harpy was gonna attack Hazen, dude. We survived, so that's good. Um I think we gotta focus our attacks on the Harpy. Fuck. This is no good. What? Oh my god. She had just, I, oh, literally just enough MP for freeze. I'm fucked. I'm gonna lose this fight. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this fight. Big time. Of course, missing the harpy does not help every fucking time. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Um... Peter's gonna die. I can't get to Peter. Um... Yeah, we're in big, big trouble. Razor missing that hit on the Harpy is probably what's gonna swing the entire fight. Peter's dead. We're done. Oh no... Yeah... This is falling apart real quick, huh? I think the Harpy is actually the boss, though, so... If we can somehow kill the Harpy... 
Oh, we missed twice, dude. We missed fucking twice. Low key, Harpy Pool. Tough fight. Really tough fight, man. I'm just gonna try to end the fight. I don't care about the experience anymore. We gotta end this as quickly as possible. I think this ends it. No. Oh, I thought it was the end, dude. Well. <sighs> I guess we just kind of peck away now. I don't know. God, dude, I'm getting boned. Are you kidding with that shit, dude? The double attack on Gerholt. The game knows that I'm like struggling and it's just throwing some shit fucking RNG in now. I'm pissed. Watch the priest come over and heal one of the orcs too, probably. No, blast, so May's dead. This was a tough fucking fight, dude. This one pushed me to my limits. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on taking out the priest actually. I'm gonna heal myself. Rick's probably gonna die, but this way healing Gerholt pretty much uh, solidifies the victory for me, so. Wow, we, we got... This is a fucking hard fight. I don't even know what else to say. It was just a tough fight. Just a tough one. But we got it done, so, you know. Could be worse, right? Actually... Uh, I'll take the orc out, I guess. Nice. Three defense, that's good. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. Well, I could evolve Gerhal now, which is good. I can't evolve. What am I playing Pokemon? I could promote him. I'm Elric, an archer. I had no idea how dangerous this pond was. You saved my life. Thank you. You should thank Oddler. He heard you cry for help and brought us here. Oh well, it was nothing. An elf always returns a favor. Please, let me help you. Razor, looks like we found another friend. Oh, thank you. Elric the Archer has joined the force. Well, Elric's gonna replace Kiwi, or uh, Belly at this point, because Belly is just so far behind. Even though I think Elric sucks. <laughs> now let's go see Mr. Creed. There is a special item here, right? I think. There we go. All right. Wow, that was uh, taxing to say the least. Uh, wait, is this the passage to Creed? This, no, it can't be, right? No, it's not. It is not, it is not. Uh, 
Uh, wait, where is Creed? Next step is to see Creed, but I truthfully don't know where it is. Did I miss like a uh, a caravan? Like hmm. Maybe there was something back at the Harpy Pool that I missed? I don't think so, though. Well, I do need to go back to town anyway to do some uh, revivals and promotions. But, I'm a little bit... Where's the Elven Town? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Wasn't down there. Is it back in that cave or something? Let's see. I don't remember if I went north maybe on the caravan trail. It's possible. Oh my god, out of the way. Oh my god, get the fuck. Alright, let's revive a million people since everybody fucking died. <clears throat> I guess I could also start using some of my uh, potions and shit that I had saved up. Damn, Harpy Pool though, for sure. Toughest battle so far. Toughest two battles were, up until this point, the Harpy Pool and uh, the that one like desert oasis battle, the one where we were going from west to east. Do you remember that one? I think that's where we met that... After that we met that one dude that allowed us to go... Either he allowed us to get the Achilles Sword or something, or he brought us to Taros, one or the other. But it was, it was the first uh, Desert Oasis battle. That one was a pretty decent difficulty spike for sure. Alright, so let's just make sure that... Alright, he's got the secret book. Do we promote... Oh, May's not even level 20 yet, so I can't. <laughs> That's funny. I should probably give the Shining Ball to... Uh... Watch my call. Oh, Elric's already level 21, huh? Uh, in that case, we'll promote Kazen. Shit, so he loses all of his spells? Did I want to do this? <laughs> How do I level him up? That might have been a bad fucking mistake. I don't know. Oh no, he... Okay, he knows... Yeah, 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 that's right. He knows, like, summons and shit now, right? We're gonna hold off on Elric and May, as well as, uh, Rick and, um, Chester... I swear on my life, dude, that I... I'm not gonna save yet, because I want to get my uh, team together. I swear to God I got the fucking... The Pegasus Knight, I could have sworn that I got it. Ha have I been there yet, though? Hold on. Hold your horses, everybody. Let me check something here on the old interwebs. Um... Oh no, I I don't think I've been there. Hmm. 
I don't think I've been there yet, so no, I don't think I have it. With that being said, let's, um... Pass away Belly's items to somebody else. And then we'll also pass this fairy powder to uh, I guess May. And then I wanted to pass Luke's shining ball to Sarah. And then we're going to join Elric. And we're going to relieve the services of Belly. Thank you so much, Belly. But uh, since I didn't grind much in this particular playthrough, you were sacrificed to the caravan gods. Thank you for your service. Alright, let's pop out. And let's use our potions that we had left over. Power water. Hmm, who do we want to continue to get beastly? Let me think. Oh, I need to uh, promote Gerhald as well. Forgot about that. Um... Like, do I just keep beasting Razor up? I probably do. Let's do it. Boosted by four. Nice. Healing water? Oh, I thought that I had more, dude. I guess I only had the healing water? And I'm assuming that's just, uh... Again, I don't have the instructions on me right now. They're over on the shelf instead of a plastic case. I don't feel like fucking looking. Uh, oh, restores full HP. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha! Alright. In that case, let's go back and promote Gearhalt. I have two decisions left uh, for promotions. Who am I going to use the Pegasus Wing on when I get it? And... Who am I going to use the... Uh, <sighs> silver Tank or whatever. And I think you get another... Um, what is it? The Sorcerer Ball or whatever? That we're going to use on Sarah to promote her later. I think you get another one at some point. Is Gerholt barehanded or can he use gloves? That's what I thought, barehanded. Yeah, I thought Kazen could do that shit now. Alright, let's sell his old power staff then. Power stick, excuse me, it's Shining Force 2, right? Okay. So where the fuck is Creed's? Oh my god, it, it I was right. I think if you take a wrong step, you have to keep doing this battle over again. I ain't doing that shit. I mean, it's good for grinding, but... Yeah, it's that one block. That's funny. I remember now. <clears throat> Okay, so, over to the left was the Harpy Pool, and it didn't look like there was anything else there. I've already been in the cave, right? So let's go north. Dead end. And what is over here? We need to get to Creed's. What is this? Where are we? There's a village to the east of here, but everybody jumps into a house when I try to talk to them. 
Have I been here? Oh, wait, is this... Is this the town with the fucking... Wait, where am I? I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to come here yet. Oh, wait a minute. I've been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember the name of the town, but... Oh, that's... Isn't that new... That's new Grand Seal, right? I think so. Man, where is Creed's, though? Your boy's a little lost at the moment. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. That's for friggin' sure. Hmm. Nah, dude. I am not on the right path. Where is Creed's? What's that one item that I got again? The dry stone. I think I used the dry stone to cross the river thing at some point, right? This dude's sick. They haven't found the fairy. Hmm. I don't know. Might have to consult the interwebs, people. Getting a little lost. Secret Elven Village. Everybody's saying to go to Creed's. And this is where I was headed last time. So I'm either missing something earlier? Or... Creed's is over here and I'm just not seeing it. I mean, this was a battlefield, right? Yeah. Huh. Did I miss something? Maybe this battle was optional, just for Elric. Oh! Here we go! <laughs> All I had to do is apparently step on the thing again. Fairy said move this rock in this manner and... Got it! Thanks, Fairy! Razor, come on! Alright, alright. Hmm. I see a wall down there. Is there a secret passage somewhere? There was definitely like a room. Hmm. Y'all saw it. I know you did. It's over here. Look. See? It's so oh, wait. There it is. There's the entrance way. Right there, so you probably just go right here. Yep. Oh boy, what do we got? Medical herb. Jeez. Boring. Brave apple? I think the brave apple is a uh, upgrade item, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look. Yeah, the Brave Apple. Oh, anybody goes up one level, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Which reminds me, did I have the Bread of Life still in my caravan? I think I did.
Indeed I did. Um, do I want to use the apple yet? Or should I say- I should probably save that for like closer to the end game. When it's harder to level up. I'm sure there's gonna be a battle right here, but first I wanted to drive. Bread of life. Cheerful bread, what- I keep having Shining Force 1 on the mind, man. Uh, who needs more HP? I guess it doesn't matter, just give it here. And then let's deposit the apple. Okay, and then we'll use the bread on Razor. I mean, it's always good to beef your main character, because at the end of the day, if, you know, if you fucking die, then you die. Wait. Huh. Aha! I heard about the other secret chest. What is it? Oh, more Mithril, okay. Okay. I guess I'll deposit that as well. <clears throat> I knew there was another secret chest, I just didn't know exactly where it was. That one is like truly like kinda hidden. Let's deposit the Mithril. Oops. Oh I forgot, yeah. If you uh you could have him look, Road will look at your items for you and tell you what they are. Which is actually helpful. Uh let me throw. Alright. Sniff sniff. I smell more invaders from the east. This is the territory of Mr. Creed. Go away. Oh we have to see him. Please let us pass. No, leave now. Oh, uh, never mind. Get him, boys. Alright, so... Another shitty fight. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So these guys are fucking monstrous. 54. Ugh. Down there. I just... You know, we'll just go... I guess... Slow, right? Ooh, a protector ring, though. That'll be helpful. Alright, so where do we want to go? I think we just kind of move out a little bit. See what they do. Come on down. Alright, probably gonna be engaging in battle this turn. God, I wanna go up. <laughs> But I also don't want to get fucking killed, you know what I'm saying? I forgot I know Bolt, though. But how many MP does that take? Eight? So I do have enough to cast Aggress, still. Alright, let me see. Um... We're taking a gamble here, people. We're taking a gamble. Man, Bolt is so much fucking better than Blaze. Not like it normally isn't or anything like that, but, like, it really is. I gotta get Peter up there to kill a skeleton as quickly as possible. Uh... Hope 
hopefully. If not, battle might be over. Because the skeleton hits super hard and I'm getting hit by the fucking orc. And, oh, May is going down. Wow, May, I'm actually surprised that May survived that. I'm not gonna lie. I am surprised. Yeah, I gotta start leveling up fucking Gerhalt, dude. He's like lagging behind right now. What's up with you, Peter? 71. We'll get rid of the skeleton then. Hey, you got a broadsword. How about that? Slade. Well, we got a bunch of people that are within one hit of dying, so I mean, that's a positive, right? Um, where are we? Not close, that's where we are. Anybody need to be healed? No? Okay. Gerhalt to kill, for sure. Oh man, I got greedy. Ooh, May survived. Luck. It was in the cards, I don't know what else to say. Um, alright, well. Let's try out your new magic. Is this the dude with the ponytail, Dale? Yeah, I remember you, buddy. I remember you. That is much better than Blaze, so... <laughs> Much better than fucking Blaze. Alright, cool. So May could be uh, promoted now. Well, that's good. I have to heal her, like... Immediately. <clears throat> All right. Should be able to kill him, right? No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I'm not gonna kill with you, dude. Hmm. Why not? Yeah, so apparently when Chester, yeah, when Chester gets promoted to a, uh, a Pegasus Knight, apparently his defense goes down by 10, but his HP, like, scales like crazy or something afterwards, plus you get the, you know, the added movement of, ah, uh, May, Sarah didn't get her turn, I'm sorry. Sarah did not get her turn in time, unfortunately. It sucks. Now she gets it. A <laughs> fucking course. A uh, fucking course. <clears throat> it's 
still want to get Gerhalt that kill on the orc. Pretty determined to do so. Okay. Let's probably approach the top first. Blast to me, bro. How am I gonna survive the blast to? Alright, let's heal Chester again. Alright, let's dig into you. Ah, oh, almost got a one shot. Probably better I didn't, honestly. Alright, we got the Harpy over there. I'm trying to move away from you. Make you come up to me. If I can. Should be able to get the kill here. Give me a good bump. Attack by two. You like to see it. Keep going. Just regular attack, huh? Ooh, we got heavy attack, though. That sucks. Alright, so the Harpy is like the last... Harpy and the Skeleton, I guess, are the last, uh... You know, real scary... Scary things. Alright, let's attack you. She does not have the thing, so not concerned. Harpy's still not even in range. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take my chances and give somebody else a chance to get the experience that needs it more. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no thanks. Bits is not going to get much experience, probably, so... Rather give it to somebody like Geralt. Even though 28's not a lot, either. Oh, man. Alright, so now we got to deal with the Harpy. Attacking Jaha. Okay. I'll have Jaha and Rick hit the Harpy, then. Are you out of range? You are. And you're out of range over here as well. That sucks. Then I'll put you here. Slade should be able to level up now, I'm assuming, at this point. Yeah. Good, good, good. I knew it, dude. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It's okay. Peter could use experience at this point. Peter is still really good, but he's like... He needs to level up more. His attack's not quite on par with what I want it to be at the moment, so... Heal Razor. If fucking Sarah doesn't die, she legitimately gets like 40 to 50 uh, M experience points per fight no matter what. So... Alright, so we gotta be... Again, mindful that we don't have full inventory when we kill the 
the Dark Madame. Which will be soon. Uh, I should probably heal Slade. I should probably grind to get Sarah leveled up, honestly. I might do that. I'll let you guys know, though, of course, if I do end up doing that, but she needs to get leveled up. Somehow. She's just lagging behind at the moment. Not where I want her to be, so... Alright, the Dark Madame made her move. Now it is time. It's time! Look at this battle of sorcery here. Okay, so actually I can't get the kill of Peter. Peter's like the one character that I can't get the kill with. <laughs> so I'm gonna attack the Dark Priest. Or High Priest, excuse me. Peter's gonna get hit pretty hard, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. Alright, so he... Can have it. Um... Sure. Oh, okay. At the end of the day, I'm probably gonna have Chester uh, take the Pegasus Wing. I am always, like, impartial to people who are in your party early in the game, because I just feel like that they're more lore implicated. Like, Chester was part of the original crew, you know what I mean? In Shining Force 1, other than Ken, I usually try to keep everybody at the end of the game, but... Okay, so... Razor can't do it either. Damn. Alright. Keep you to the side, then. Looks like it's gonna be... Kazen. Getting that ring. Then I gotta figure out, you know, long term, who do I want to keep on my party that has shit defense. So. You can't get the protect ring in the first game, which annoys the shit out of me. It's only equipped to the enemies. I, I, I hate that, dude. I hate it. Alright, I'm sure this isn't going to do much damage. Eight. As long as he doesn't get stunning attacked or double, he'll survive. Good. feeling he'd heal himself. That's okay. At least he didn't heal the skeleton. Uh, do we pull Peter out? I think the answer is yes, we do. And we just pull him out completely. We'll attack with Jaha. Um, hmm. Back with Luke, and then somebody can kill the skeleton. Almost anybody can kill the skeleton now, so. Will he survive? Yes. And that somebody is gonna be Slade. Which I'm fine with, because he's lagging behind a little bit too. Him and Geralt, I gotta level up more. Taking them for granted. So that was the boss. All right, and here's Creed's mansion. <laughs> Hurry, let's go into Creed's mansion. Oddler, can you see? No, why? You're moving around as if you could see. Am I? Maybe my other senses have sharpened since I lost my sight. Oh, I see. 
Razor, let's go see Creed. Um, is there a save in here? <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think so. Well, I'm, you could always aggress from battle, right? Because I know it's coming up. So here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to... Aggress. Did anybody die? Yeah, a couple people died, I think, in that fight. Main. Gotta make a business decision soon in regards to, uh... Possibly promoting May. Um... Let's go... Dump some stuff. We have a broadsword that we don't need. Give the... Well, maybe we'll buy, like, a couple healing items. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Give them you. I think I'll give another one to... The one here. Give another one to Gearhalt. And we're actually gonna sell... Like, the... The seeds and the herbs. We don't need that shit anymore. There we go. That's good for now. Alright, let's check our crew here to see who's got the worst defense. 32, 14, 26, 35, uh, 23, 29, 33, 21, 31, 25. Hmm. I'm thinking either Luke or May. But May's got the quicker in. Hmm. Here's what I'm thinking, actually. Let's give the quick ring to... Who would need the quick ring? I kind of want to give it to Luke, actually. Then we're going to give the attack ring to May and see if that'll keep her alive a little bit longer here. And I might end up promoting her, but I'm gonna think on that for a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna equip Luke with that. Perfect. All right, let's go save, and uh, we'll think on promoting of May, and we'll head to uh, Creed's mansion next. Should be a fun time. One of the toughest battles in the entire game if you choose to fight it all is coming up. It is a tough battle. Might be grinding on it to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, so quick little recap here. Um, I did a little bit of grinding offline, but nothing crazy. I pretty much grinded that one battle uh, <clears throat> that's to the west of the town that I'm in currently, which I believe is Hassan, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, it's that reoccurring battle. Uh, most of the people were getting no experience, but the main gist of my grind was to get Sarah leveled up. Um, and I got her up to level 17, so that's pretty cool. She learned Blast 2, which is also cool. Uh, I think Chester gained a level, Kazen gained a level... And maybe somebody else. I, I think I grinded the battle three times? Something like that. Nothing too crazy. I just really wanted to catch Sarah up with the crew. Um, we're still waiting on the Pegasus wing. Um, and also, uh, I guess I can't use the... Uh, whatchamacall. I can't use the silver tank thing on, uh, on May. Because she's a ranger, I guess. I think it's only useful on archers. 
And yeah, I don't really know because I don't really think I'm going to be using archers going forward. I'm not really too keen on them in the uh, in the Shining series, to be honest with you. Outside of like Hans, maybe at the beginning of Shining Force 1. Um, and, and I mean that sincerely, the beginning of Shining Force 1. <laughs> Beyond the beginning, I don't even really bother with them anymore. Uh, so anyways, yeah, on the fence about promoting them, I guess I could promote May, which I will do. And there we go. And then we're gonna head off to uh, Creed's Mansion, where one of the toughest fights in the entire game is present. Um, Ooh, I'm a little bit scared about it, to be honest with you. I think typically when I beat it, um, I am either a lot more leveled than I am currently. <laughs> um, or I just bum rush the king. It's actually not the queen. There's three queens on the board. It's a chessboard battle. It's very interesting, actually. But look at these. Here, I'm going to read the attack numbers to you. So, the fucking pawns do 53 attack damage. The lowest attack on the entire board is the queen who does 46, but she has 26 MP, and so did the bishops and the king, which means that they also, clearly they have some kind of magic spells, I don't remember what. Long story short, guys, it is a tough ass battle, and um, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna give it like a sincere try to try to clear it, but I doubt that it's gonna happen. Uh, unless I'm like super duper careful. Oh my bad, I gotta get up in the, the caravan. And if I'm having trouble clearing the board, which I most likely will, uh, we'll try to do a bum rush to the king. But we'll see what happens. Uh, over here, right? And would it be a late night recording session if one of my cats wasn't taking gi a gigantic fucking shit behind me? That's exactly what Lily's doing right now, so I hope it doesn't fucking smell. Because uh, I tell you what, guys, there's nothing I hate more than having to cut footage. It's just like extra work for me down the line with editing. But anyways. Yeah, run away, Lily. <laughs> you do nasty shits. All right. Wait, what? All right, I had to have... Man. Yo, this is whack as fuck, actually, because now it's going to send me all the way back, dude. Right? Yeah, great. I hope I don't have to fight that fucking fight again, man. I mean, yeah, is it... Oh, my goodness. I'm stepping in all the wrong blocks, dude. Stepping on all the wrong blocks. I'll be honest with you, that's actually one of my least favorite features about Shining Force 2. I did like in Shining Force 1 that there were no reoccurring battles. Because in my opinion in these games, man, when they're dead, they're dead. Enemies should not just continue to appear. I don't even think it makes sense lore-wise, so... Uh, what was my false step? Was it down over here? Because clearly it's like one square. I'm pretty sure the game does not make me fucking fight the whole fucking fight again. At least I would freaking hope not. Oh, I hope I don't take the wrong step, guys, because it's like another minute back. <sighs> the whole reason I egressed was I couldn't remember. I'm sure there is a priest, but like where? Alright, did I go down or straight across? I don't remember. Alright, good. I guess I went down before. <clears throat> Here we are. You may go now. I need to talk to Fairy. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Dum dee dum dum. Oh, time to check the collections. Servant Goliath unlocks the door. Excuse me. Yo! Yes? We've come to see Mr. Creed. My master? Do you have an appointment? A what? No, not yet, but... I'm sorry, but he's busy right now. Please come back later. You can't see Mr. Creed now? No kidding. Razor, Peter, let's force our way into the room. Oddler, you're getting bold. But it is a good idea. <laughs> let's go. How do you do that? You impolite kids, you can't go in. Mr. Creed is too busy, go away. Razor, on our left, that door might lead to Mr. Creed. Let's ditch this guy and go through that door. Razor, let's do it. I don't want to fail now. Okay, okay, we give up. Whoops, I just dropped the controller. We'll see Mr. Creed later. Yeah, maybe later. No, don't go in there, that door is... What stupid kids. Whoever passes through this magic door becomes small. That is, anybody who is not protected by Mr. Creed. Goliath picks up Razor. Now you're part of the collection! <laughs> so now we're tiny and we're on a, a desk with a chessboard. What happened? A strange feeling swept over me when I entered that door. Then it felt like I was lifted upward. It's very difficult to explain what's happened to us. Anyway, we're very small now. Small? How small? Let's see. Now we're on a desk, and it's very large, like a village. Exactly. Goliath! Hey, what did you do to us? I told you not to go in there. You didn't listen to my warning. You guys look so cute. <laughs> Bye, little kitties. Razor, cheer up. Let's look around this desktop kingdom. I agree, we can meet Creed later. Oh shit, are you from the outside? Why'd you come here? Ah, uh, mistake I see. I suggest you see King Pompey, he's a good man. So, there's four different people I think here that you could choose from to join your party later. It's uh, her, her name's like Kara or Karen or something. And this is, this isn't Jaro, right? This is like, what the fuck is his name? L something, I can't remember. I was there during the disaster. I was looking for the legendary sword. I hate it here. Anyway, spoiler alert. We're gonna, uh, be taking her along. Oh, there's the caravan. The chess army is very strong. It'll be good training for you. Is that the way to the chessboard? Ooh, yes it is. So, you are not able to see Creed. Somewhere in the floor world, there's a tunnel that leads to Creed. Okay, I'll let you go if you win a game against my army. You may go to the chessboard now. I'm sure King Pompey will help you. Well, you got a pretty fucked up army there, bro. Alright, let's continue to look around. The kingdom was made by Creed. There's no concept of time here. We never get old, we never die. What is the meaning of life? Creed is a fine gentleman. His magic saved us a long time ago during a natural disaster. Devils cannot use their magic to affect human lives. Supposedly it's one of their rules. Halt! I can't let you pass without the king's permission. Okay, so I gotta beat the chess crew and get the king's permission. So I guess the other two uh, people that you could choose from are not present here? If memory serves correctly, I think there's another, um... Like the same class, the warrior, like, kind of like a, a dwarf gnome sort of dude. And then... Tyron the wizard or something? I can't remember exactly, but I know these two are, are part of the people you could choose. And then I can't remember, you might be able to switch them later or gain all of them if you come back. There's some kind of catch. But anyways, 
Um, should I? Me thrill. I guess I should take this out. Because most people are evolved with them. I keep saying evolved like it's fucking Pokemon, dude. <laughs> uh, Brave Apple. Should I use that now? It's like the further along that you wait to use is the better. Because the higher levels you are, obviously the higher it is to level- or the harder it is to level up because, you know, the experience gained goes down considerably. You know, the more and more you fight enemies. So it's ideal to use it towards the end game, but also it's kind of tempting to get a free level right now, you know? Uh, what to do, what to do. <clears throat> I might use that to get to level 20 for Sarah and then promote her with the, uh, the Vigor Ball. But, I don't think that's in the cards right now. So we'll use the, uh, the running Pimento. Who has the worst movement on my team at the moment? Move of six, five, seven, six, five, seven, seven, six, Geralt's is bad, huh? It might be Geralt. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna give it to Geralt. Unless... Um... Hmm... I mean, Geralt's definitely gonna be a, a force member for the entire game for me. I don't want to use it unless somebody's promoted, which he is. But also, we're still like... I think there's still like 10 to 15 more people that we're gonna get, so I don't know if I should use this right now. I am gonna dump it back. Alright. Good enough. Yeah, when I was doing my grind, two people actually got paralyzed, so I had to make sure. I hadn't seen that yet. It was probably because since I was trying to level Sarah up, I was skipping a lot of attacks. And the, uh, the Soul Sower or Soul Sour paralyzed uh, two people. Alright. Uh, let's try to do this. <laughs> uh, do I just walk on this way? Chess Army of Desktop Kingdom is a well-balanced force. If it is King Pompey's wish, we'll accept your challenge. Did I go over here? There we go. Are you ready? Now, start the battle. Do your best. So yeah. This is a tough fucking fight, guys. <laughs> There's three queens that know magic, the king knows magic, and the bishops know magic, so... What do they all have here? Power spears? Oh my god, dude. So the whole freeze two, freeze two, heal, okay, so the bishops have heal three and blast two. So the front row has all axes, king knows blaze two. So I mean like yeah, the spells suck, but honestly it's the fucking attack dude, like 55 fucking attack. Like this is my strongest attacker, right? Pretty much all of them are in the same ballpark. <laughs> anyway, at least we got the sixth song here. I think maybe I'll play it safe. See how it goes. Maybe they'll rush forward and I can kind of take advantage of that? I don't know. The part that sucks is a lot of them have ranged attack capabilities, whether it be magic, the bow and arrow users, or the, um, the spears.
I really want them to come towards me, because I feel like going too far forward is like a death wish at this point. And I really do want to, like, wipe the board if I can, because it's a lot of experience. But honestly, guys, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to try my best this fight. Because at the very least, I should be able to retain a decent amount of experience unless Razor gets targeted right away. And then we could just kind of bum rush the king if possible. I just remember having a lot of trouble with this on my last playthrough, like, what was it, like six or seven years ago? And I definitely did grind a little bit more in that playthrough, so... Curious. When do you guys start coming forward? Alright, they're inching. <clears throat> Put Peter there. Try to sneak Sarah in just behind. It's just fucked up, dude. Like, the pawns literally have 53 attack power. You know what I mean? They're basically the equivalent of those skeletons from the last fight, but they have more hit points. And probably a little more power, if I remember correctly. I think they hit, like, 51? You got these friggin' chess pieces just dicking around. I don't want to get Luke killed, because he's definitely susceptible to, like, a crit hit insta-kill. But I also want to get these fucking pieces to start moving forward. Like, come on now. Make a move. Man, they are pretty determined to not move, huh? The king and the queens are just shuffling around. A little frustrating. I just want the pawns to come forward. Because if I move Peter up here, he's dead. Straight up. Like, it's not even close. I'm just gonna keep inching. I'm trying to get, get the, uh, the feel for this battle, dude. <clears throat> Just a little bit more forward, I will come attack you. I just need you to separate yourself from your crew. Currently, I'm not too thrilled on the positioning, so. What is your defense? 31? 32. Oh, so your defense is actually pretty sick. Damn. Oof. And apparently Chester's fucking defense goes down by 10 when he gets promoted? How is Rick not better than him? Honestly. Unless his stat growth just gets uh, bonkers when he becomes a Pegasus Knight. Could be possible, I suppose. <clears throat> about attacking there, but I still didn't. I feel like the pawn... Alright, they're, they're definitely moving forward, forward. Oh, I wish the pawn had gone, dude. Alright, let's see. Arrow, battle axe. Um... I guess I'll go after the pawn. <clears throat> oh, we got a crit, so that's good. 
Oh no, dude. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's getting healed? That is a far-reaching heal spell. Fuck me. Well, this is gonna make things very fucking difficult. If Luke dies, I'm just gonna aggress. Alright. Well, I should be able to fucking... Destroy that guy now, at least. Oof, this fight, though. <laughs> this fucking fight, man. What? Uh, sh shit, dude. I might fucking kill this guy right away. The king just walked himself right up into my shit, dude. I'm just gonna go at him. I don't know if we'll be able to kill him right away, but we'll try. Um, who should we heal? Probably Gerholt. King does have 55 freaking HP and pretty good defense, though. But it's very tempting to see if we could somehow just kill him right away, basically. Um, I would want... Ideally, like... Jaha, Gerhalt. Probably Slade <coughs> attacking him, and then... Well, Bits has the strongest attack, though, but he also has lightning. Um... Alright, we're just going for it, fuck it. We might be able to do it. If the king doesn't get like a bullshit fuck- Ah, uh, that- that hurts actually. We lose Slade right away. Damn it. That probably prevents us from killing the king. Probably prevents us from killing the king, but you never know. Never know. I realize that this is a great fight for fucking experience, but I just can't see myself really doing it, honestly. Um, I could put... Uh, I could attack with May Elric. <clears throat> and then one of... And then I get to do Bolt. And then either Gerhold or Jaha. I'm just going all in, fuck it, let's go. Dao should hit it at least 10, right? At least. Perfect, 16. We got this, people. We got this shit. Watch this. Bolt for the win. Bolt for the win, let's go, baby. Let's get out of here. That should be it, right? Yep. <laughs> Oh, uh, alright, so yeah, did I puss out there a little bit? Absolutely, but you know what? If I need to grind later, I'll do it in a different battle. Checkmate, this is for you. What do we got? A cotton balloon is inside. With it, you could leave the desktop kingdom safely. Good luck. Cotton balloon. Okay. Get off of here. Let's talk to everybody again. Bravo, I'd give you an army if you'd stay here. <clears throat> Let's revive our people. So yeah, um, like I said, if you actually kill everybody on the board, that fight's tough as fuck, especially if you don't really grind beforehand like I haven't been. But the king just put himself in a bad spot, and I took advantage of it. <laughs> but you could- could you imagine though? Like look how many- like it took like what, like six attacks or something? And two of them being magic spells in order to kill the king? If I was, like, one person short or something, my whole party would have been obliterated. 
completely. Okay, so is there any new dialogue, or do I just fucking use the balloon and leave? There's somebody over here, right, that had something to say? Oh, is this guy- oh, he used the balloon over here, yeah. Floor world is very dangerous, take care. Cotton balloon. <laughs> it's funny. Cotton balloon pots. Oh shit. We left Desktop Kingdom long ago. Randolph is a brave leader. We trust him. Man, this is really, like, spaced out. There's a hole in the wall there. I think that leads to the next fight. <clears throat> ah, here we are. These are the other two people. You wanna see Creed? Are you serious? A hole in the wall leads to Creed, but don't use it. We came down here to escape, but the devils live in the tunnel. They're too ferocious. I'm gonna stay in the floor world. So my first playthrough, I definitely took one of those two, because I thought they looked the coolest. I probably went with him. Mostly because, uh... Oh, what's this? Ugh! It's too heavy, I can't lift it. I give up. Oh, it's a ring, huh? Hmm. Nothing was there. Okay. Well, something tells me we'll probably be able to get that ring later on. Um, let's try going into this door. Okay, a caravan and the priest. So, not a whole lot, I guess. But in case we get wiped out, <clears throat> we'll save so we don't have to fly down again with the cotton balloon, right? On to the next battle. I'm still laughing about how quickly I beat the last one, just because the king fucking was aggressive as hell. <laughs> uh, that looks like that goes down. Just checking to see if there's hidden stuff. Goes up. It's a battlefield. <laughs> smells like a ditch. Is this the smell of the devils that they were talking about? Hee <laughs> hee. What huge rats? Welcome. It's dinner time. Alright, what do we got here? Willard. I know he's the boss. Um, Alright, so we got bubbling oozes. Which are also pretty fucking powerful. And the rats, which are pretty fucking powerful. But the thing that I have going for me here is they are a lot more spread out than the chessboard. And how strong is Willard? 62 attack and 50 HP. God damn, dude. Well, I don't have to worry about magic spells, at least. So that's a plus. Alright, let's take a look again real quick. These guys are definitely going to be the first people that uh, attack us, unless those rats march forward. I wanted to get them out and about, but they're also like <laughs> two of the worst people to have directly in front. I want to let them come to me. Come to Butthead. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
I think I will take this. That bubbling ooze might be able to hit me from behind, but this guy just went, so... He ain't doing much. Crap. Um... Oh shit, I didn't buy May her promoted weapon. Ah. Damn it. Is she gonna do enough damage? Nope. I forgot to buy her her promoted, uh... Archery. That sucks. If I had that, the bubbling ooze would have died. Okay, we'll keep you here. So the rat might get a turn before the ooze. Uh, the rat could potentially kill Luke. But... I also want to take care of the ooze, so... You know, this seems like a pretty good fight to grind, to be honest with you. But, we're trying to stick true to not really grinding. It's a, a goal of mine, so. Alright, Rick. Fuck. Alright, it's definitely gonna be the rat's turn. Yep. Going after Luke. Might be dead, bro. Nope. Okay. Um. Chester, Chester. I will attack you then. I'm not, like, trying to level Chester up at this point. I want to get the fucking thingamajig. The, uh, the Pegasus wing. So I can figure out who I'm going to use it on first, and then promote the other one. <sighs> Slade. Hmm. So, I might try to get that kill with... May or Sarah, actually. We'll move you forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Peter's like, yo. I could use another level. Um... Is it greedy of me? No. It's not greedy. It's smart until the ooze goes first and then it's just stupid. Got fucking Jaha now too. Can't do anything. Come on. Yeah, son of a bitch. It was stupid. <laughs> hey, we missed. Nice. Thirty-four. Can she do two damage? I don't know. Probably not, right? I'll just kid it with May. It's fine. And when I get out of Creed's mansion, unless I get thrust somewhere else, I gotta remember to go back to buy the the upgradable uh, archer thing. I also should just promote Elric too, just for the sake of it. Um... I guess nothing. Alright, Willard's protected by two rats. You got these guys up here and these guys down here. I'm gonna try to stay close to here to see if I can kind of bait them out. Oh shit, he needs to get healed. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so the rat is on the move. Fine as well. Put Rick up here. Try to get some stronger defense people in the front. Razor could stay directly behind. Chester doesn't necessarily have strong defense, so I don't know. I'll put him here. And Slade can go right here. He doesn't have strong defense either, really, but go here. Elric can go here. 
Okay, and then Jaha can go in front of Chester. And Peter, too bad he can't literally fly through the walls. <clears throat> I still feel like it's probably not a good move for me to put Peter right there, so I'll put him here. And we will heal two on Luke. And next turn we shall be attacking. Because likely we will be getting attacked, so... Oh. Oh, it's tempting, guys, but I'm gonna hold off. It is tempting to land a Dao. How do you want to pronounce it? Dao, Dao. Let's go. You love to see it. One square short, you buffoon. And now you just get pelted to your doom. Fuck. Oh, thank goodness I didn't get double attacked. <laughs> All right, we'll take Razor here. Nice. And... Um... Well, yeah, we'll attack this guy. And both of these rats are in super critical territory at this point. We will punch with Geralt, sure. Oh, sorry. We're not punching anymore. We're clawing, I forgot. We've, uh, evolved beyond that shit, alright? Oh, nice. The ooze couldn't get to us either. What a perfect turn of events. And I will put you here and attack this guy. Nice. Do we... Shall we? Hmm... And here's where I'm gonna get greedy. I think I want to cast, uh... Blast 2 on him, if I can. And I'll just put you here. And you here. And then you can go here. And then I'm probably gonna try to, uh... Get Kazen up there. Alright, don't fail me now, Blast 2, okay? I grinded for a whole, like, 30 minutes for this shit. There we go. Six on the button. You love to see it. She should be at level 18, and then we just gotta level up once more. And then we'll use the apple. Sure. Don't give the ooze a fucking turn before me. Please. So the only shitty part, if I do this, is Kazen might die. In fact, he probably will die, because the other ooze, there's no way it gets hit 20, unless there's like a crit. Not a chance. And it's going to leave a path for that one to come down and attack Kazen. Uh, fingers crossed that we can stick anybody up there. Alright, perfect. Razor should kill this thing, no problem. Nice, that's a good uh, level up there. Like that one. Okay, so now onto these scrubs. Is there only two oozes left? Didn't we kill the? Uh, we killed the rat already, so it's fine. Slade, I'll keep you here. Put Gearhold here. You could stay there. Let them move up once more, and now we will attack them. Um... Sure.
Oh, nice, dude. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You'll love that. For sure. Peter should get the kill now. Nice. Ooh, HP by 3, 2, 2, 2. 3, 2, 2, 2. What a fucking level up we have there. Alright, now let's heal Kazen. And we are rocking and rolling in this fight, guys. That's for sure. <clears throat> She's gotta be less than 10 experience, right? Yeah, 9. Oh, we're so close. And it's taking every last ounce of me not to go up here and cast Bolt, but I know that's not the right move. <laughs> I know that's not the right move, so I won't do it. Okay, looks like the rats are officially on the move. <sighs> Fucking Slade can't get there. Neither can Gerhalt. The bubbling ooze. Oh, no, no, there we go. Rick's at least gonna get a hit in the bubbling ooze before it attacks us, so. But it's probably gonna be his turn shortly. Right now, attacks Peter. I mean, I get it. Peter is, you know, the MVP, basically, but. I don't know if that's the right move, computer. Sure. Why not? Why not? Alright, time to turn our attention to the real rat finks up here. I want them to uh, come into my territory. Do another heal too on Kazen. Level up to 18. Willard's probably gonna chill the whole time. Put Luke there. Razor can go there. I'm just gonna wait at this point. You come down and you attack me when you're ready. Alright. So unfortunately, Willard's the boss. And Jaha's gonna die, right? Yeah. Well, no. Jaha actually can't die. I still want to try to kill the rats for experience, especially since we, uh, cheesed our way through the chest fight. Slade's gonna get attacked. We'll survive, unless it's a double. Good. Alright, um... Hmm, let me think. I will actually attack you. Attack you. Nice. Ooh, another great level up. Let's fucking go, baby. Okay. Alright, the rats are all within, like, realistically a good attack from somebody. You know. Whatchamacall? Um, do I puss out and pull you back, though, is the question, Jaha. You know what I mean? Or do I just... You know what? Fuck it. Jaha's gonna die, but he's going down with pride. This isn't a permadeath run, okay? Uh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This rat has... Yeah, dude, fuck it. Jaha's going down. I'm sacrificing Jaha, and it's totally fine. Totally fine. We're gonna kill this dude. It should do at least five damage. Nice, it did eight for that.
Alright, I'll attack Willard. And hopefully Kazem gets a turn and Dao can... Oh, we... Ooh! Okay. By the way, I know that Luke sucks. And I just don't care. I've, like, made it a point for him to be on my team. And Jaha went down as expected, but... Again, his service is greatly appreciated. This should be devastating to the opponents at the moment. Oh, the rat's still alive! The rat's still alive! But we learned Apollo, baby. Alright. Um, just to cut down on enemy attack. And we can certainly chip into you, Willard. Um, Slade. Yeah, you know what? Ugh, God, I'm so torn. I feel like getting the kill with Sarah. But eight is a little sketchy, so I'm gonna try to just get the kill here with Slade. There we go. Not too bad, we sacrificed Jaha, we knew that was coming. Ooh, he learned his first ninja spell. Katan, or Katan. Katan, I don't know. Okay, so we can go up there. Oh, there's a whole lot going on over here, huh? The fuck? <laughs> It almost looks like this place is like a, uh, like a hangout at some point for the miniatures, I'm guessing. And then it was overrun by the rats and the ooze. <laughs> it's Creed! Yo, like, honestly, how sick is that sprite work? It looks like something from fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. What was that guy's name? I can't remember that fucking guy's name. Anyway, Goliath, Goliath, Goliath! I'm here, I'm coming. Coming hard. Yes, Mr. Creed? My collection is rather noisy today. Oh, uh, yes, um... What? No, I... I added to your collection today. You did what? I'm sorry, I tried to stop them, but they jumped through the magic door. You didn't lock the door, did you? I told you to always lock that door. Anyway, I want to see them. Right away, sir. What? Ah. I heard something. Are you Mr. Creed? Oh, someone from my collection is talking. You must be one of the people Goliath was talking about. We came to see you. Please return us to our original size. You came to see me? Hmm. Why? Make us bigger. My neck hurts from looking up at you. Oh, sorry. I always thought it was funny, like, Creed is so intimidating looking when he's so nice. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Wow, we're back to normal. I can't believe we were so small. Now, why did you want to see me? Oh yes, we want to know about Zeon. Zeon? <clears throat> you said Zeon? The king of the devils who was sealed away in Ark Valley? Did something happen to Zeon? Has he revived? Razor nods. No way. You're kidding. I can't believe it. Noisy fairy, be quiet. Is what you say true? Razor nods again. So, Zeon will appear again. He will destroy everything. Sir, the new additions to your collection are missing. I know. How? It doesn't matter how, now go away. <sighs> wow, I can't believe this is happening. You know, Grand's Island is covered by a dark cloud. At the same time, North Parmesia has had no rain. South Parmesia is okay, but that's because of Volcanon. I fear for Matula. 
Volcanon and Matula are invulnerable to everything, except Zeon. Indeed, Zeon is extremely powerful. Zeon? Oh gosh. Goliath, what are you still doing here? I have no time to scold you now. The evil spirit may know something. You guys, follow him, follow him. Anything really to explore? Today's magic. Basic rules of possession. Gods versus devils. Study of runes. Call of evil. Vampires. Huh? Demon kings. Newt cooking. <clears throat> Magical changes. Evil contact. Oh boy. Alright, I think... Yeah, we can't leave, so we do have to follow. Oh. That intro music, though. Yo, this is cool as fuck. Look at this. This is under his mansion. <laughs> Ye... <laughs> Yas, Queen! Talora! Sonora! Hear my voice! Evil spirit, come! Oh shit, I forgot about that face, dude. It's almost like that uh, smiling face in Coney Island, New York. Hey, evil spirit is appearing! Ah... Uh, Creed, what do you want? Zeon. Zeon, the king of the devils? Yes. He was unsealed. What is he doing now? What is he gonna do? I need to know anything about him. Anything. I've got something. Hmm. What is he doing now? He's channeling his mind into the nature of all things. Shh. Be silent. He's got something. What did you find? The barrier around Gron's Island is too strong. I can't see anything. Please try again. If I touch something of his, maybe I can contact his mind better. Razor, you have the Jewel of Evil, right? Is this true, Razor? That's one of the magic jewels used to seal Xeon. Give it to me. We can't remove it. I can. Let me see it. Woo! What's that light? There are two. The other one is, uh, they called it the Jewel of Light. What? Razor, how do you have both legendary jewels? I can't remove them. The chain is made of mithril. Show them to him. They might help him. Razor displays the jewels to the evil spirit. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I think I could do it now. Let me try again. Hmm. Ark Valley was opened and Xeon was revived. Go on. Zeon's devils are coming to Parmesia from the sky. Hmm. Where are they heading? North Parmesia. Something has happened to Matula. I can't see Zeon. What do you mean? He is still in Ark Valley. He has revived, but he has not recovered his full strength yet. But he has already created a lot of mischief on the ground. Is he that powerful? He is. His power... His power what? His power... Oh, shit. I'm Zeon, the king of the devils. What's this? Who's contacting me? Do you want to die? Go. I see a jewel, the jewel of evil. He's seeing us through the eyes of the evil spirit. Impossible. You're Razor. I see you. Listen, Razor. Bring that jewel to Ark Valley. Why should we? I'll return Ellis to you in exchange for the jewel. Come to Ark Valley. Goo! Oh shit, evil spirit. Got fucked up. No, evil spirit exploded. That's Zeon's power. If he revives fully, his power will be unimaginably strong. Creed, how reliable was he? I mean, evil spirit. Very. Why does Zeon want the jewel? No more questions. Without evil spirit... Creed? Creed! Hey, don't leave me here. Wait for me. Shit, man. Creed is, uh, shook right now. He shooketh. 
Poor guy. His boy evil spirit went down. Maybe the Jewel of Evil has a secret. Storytellers and Tristan might know something. Tristan is in North Parmesia. Hmm. Oh, is a dwarf sick? Really? Okay, I think I could help him. Bring me to him. Razor decides to take the fairy with him. Okay, so cool. I'm sure we can't go back to the cave without a fucking fight, though. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Um, can we... Oh, the fucking whole thing, you can't even, uh... Oh, there we go. It's locked! Come on now, I wanna go back in there. I wanted to get that ring that was on the floor. Please? Well, it looks like I gotta choose here. My master would like to help you, Razor. Please choose one. So... We'll talk to everybody, but we already know who we're choosing. I'm Eric, a knight. I was looking for a magic sword. I would do anything for Mr. Creed. Please choose me. No. What a pity. Then I wish happiness to all of you. <laughs> I'm not only a dwarf, I'm Randolph. And known as the strongest warrior of my people. <laughs> okay, I have a comfortable life here. I'm Tyron, a mage. I studied magic in Pompeii. I'll miss my friends, but if I could be of help, I'll go with you. My magic could have been a great help to you. And here we go. Karna. A priest. I think I'm rather young for my profession. I don't want to stay in this awful place forever. Choose me. So, from what I understand, Karna is, like, fucking awesome. Um, I still want to use my uh, Vigor Ball, though, on Sarah. Because I guess you get one later, too. Might be hidden, but we'll get it. But this is great, because now... Got that ring, baby. So is the running ring... I'm guessing the running ring is either speed or movement, if it's movement, it, which I think it is, because it looks like the movement ring from the first game. That'd be good. Um, the question would be, who do I give it to? I'm thinking Geralt. Yeah. So, we will... Yep, movement seven. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, wait, there's like a garden or something out here? Ah, low-level shit. <laughs> I'll end up selling a medical herb, okay. Ooh, treasure chest over there. Do, 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 do. Gotta be a way to get to that. Let's see. My master would like to help you re- oh, okay. Yeah, I already know that. Oddler? I understand you. Understand what? Oddler will remain here. Won't you, Oddler? Oddler, is this true? I don't know why, but I would like to stay. No, I must stay here. I must stay here. He's weak. He'd better stay. Say farewell. It was great traveling with you, Razor. Thank you. Please be careful. Razor, you'll learn the reason why he has to stay here soon enough. Don't think about it now. Go to the north. Can I... How do I get over there? Aha, there we go. Let's go, baby. Ooh, healing rain. I think that heals literally everybody in the party. You love to see that shit. Alright, so... 
Let's give that to Karna, I guess. And... I guess we'll give the antidote to Karna. And let's give her some kind of heal. For now. I guess I'll give her one of Razor's healing drops. Alright, cool. And what does she know, by the way? Uh, heal, blast, and boost. Okay. Oh, she, oh heal level three! Come on, now. Let's go, baby. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like we are going to be... Heading back to the Dwarven Mind. And then, back to New Grand Seal. Which I believe was the area that I fucked off to by accident earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I gotta put her on my team. So... We will have Karna join. And who's staying back? Uh... Elric... Probably Elric, right? Yeah... Elric will be staying back. And then Elric... will be giving up his... Uh, healing drops to people in the party. There. And then the other one will replace the healing herb, medical herb, whatever. Okay. Good, good, good. Shit. Oh, so annoying. That's gonna send me back to Creed's Mansion, isn't it? Oh, holy no, it sent me back to Hassan. That's actually perfect. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. So let's go here. And let's sell... Uh, the healing... The medical herb, excuse me. And... Steel arrow. And this steel arrow. And then let's buy... The robin arrow. Ooh, 50. Let's go. And can... Arna can't use it. Alright. So I unequipped Karna by accident, but I think you could still buy something that's better than the power stick, right? Oh, is it really the power stick? Is the next shit? Well, that was my mistake, guys. Oh, she I thought I sold it. Oh, my bad. We're good. Alright, cool. Let's revive. save and then we'll head off to the dwarven mine uh we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with karna and we gotta get sarah up one more level which shouldn't take very long all right so if we're here uh dwarven mine oh yeah the dwarven mine is immediately off the uh caravan path right it is right over here. Where's the sick dwarf? Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure glad to see you. Here, please examine him. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. Okay, let's see. I 
is he? I don't know yet. Whoa. What? Hey, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm fine, I feel great. Oh, how can we thank you? I don't need anything, but why don't you help Razor? Razor, I'm going now. I hope your journey is safe and uneventful. Bye! Well, now we gotta get the, uh, the cannon shit to blow up that place from earlier. Thanks to you, he recovered. We all thank you. Take this gift. So the cannon, I think, is needed outside a new Grand Seal. We use it to destroy large rocks. Okay, guys, let's go back to Grand's Island. Everybody dig. As a uh, extra little thank you. Oh, this ends up probably being a shortcut, right? I can't quite remember, but it would make sense. All right, so let's head back oh, to the new Grand Seal area, which I believe was right up here. And then over to the east was the thing that we're gonna be blowing up if my memory serves correct. And this should be new Grand Seal. Indeed it is. All right. Um, oh yeah, it looks like... Are things shaping up a little bit more here? I think the uh, telling sign would be me going over to the right here. Oh yeah! Shit's built now, huh? Hey, it's a nice house, isn't it? Anything exciting? A war against the devils? No, no, I don't want to go. Any, no like, new shit here, or...? Oh! Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Ah, uh, Sarah can't use it yet. Can't use the gloves yet either. Let's sell, uh, Kazen's old flail. Well, that's good. Sir Astral forbids me to use the dynamite. I need his permission to give it to you. Well, there you go. Looks like you stuffed the dynamite into the cannon and then you're good to go. Disaster again? There's the church. I'm not allowed to go out because it's so dangerous. You've grown up so quickly. I know, I know. Oops, didn't mean to go in there. You brought so many friends this time. You're loved by everyone, my son. Welcome back, Razor. I heard your journey was hard. Sir Astral was right. He said you were coming back soon. I'll go to the castle and tell everyone. Welcome back, Razor. Thanks to you, Grand Seal has many allies to trade with. You've also made a lot of new friends. Great job! I've heard about everything from Bado. I never imagined Zeon would be revived. I understand that Volcanon is angry. So Princess Alice must be... She's alive! <laughs> what did you say? Is she alive? Y yes Is it true? Is it true? Yes, it is. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was Xeon, but it's the uh, the time lapse. Yeah, explaining in detail. About the ancient ruins and Creed and Xeon's message to the evil spirit, they explain everything. Amazing. Razor and Peter. You've experienced a great deal. Hmm. Hmm. Sir Astral? What should we do now? Easy. We have to defeat Zeon and save Ellis. Impossible. The king is right. What? Astral, thank you. What do we have to do first? We have to go to North Parmesia. We'd better go and see the storytellers and Tristan. Sir. Astral winks at the minister and smiles. It's an important job. Will you allow me to go with Razor? Sure, sure. Just bring Ellis back to me. Be careful, Astral. It's dangerous out there. I will. Razor, I'm going with you as an advisor. 
Advisor Astral has joined the force. I don't believe he is a playable character if memory serves, but who knows. We have to remove the rocks blocking the passageway leading to North Parmesia. Maybe we could use an explosive. So yeah, we get the, uh, the TNT and whatnot and stuff it in our cannon. Uh, is there anything else new here? Uh, headquarters. Yeah, yeah. Look at me leading the force over here. Alrighty then. Oh, I'm so sorry, Belly, but you just don't cut it these days. I don't think there's anything to be found in here. Alright. Alright, so we need to go get the, uh... The dynamite. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, that cannon would be perfect. Sir Astral said it was okay. Here's the explosive. Alright, cool. And I think... Yep. I finally found you. Your razor, right? Who are you? My love. I mean, Elric is with you. Am I right? Yes, he joined us willingly. No, no, I don't want to stop him, but I want to be with him. Please take me with you, please? This is not a sightseeing trip, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know, I still want to go. Okay, you look tough enough anyway. Oh, really? Thank you very much. Janet the Archer has joined the force. So, much like most of the other archers, I'm probably not having Janet in the party. Uh, although, like I said, I will be using the upgrade item on somebody, just for the sake of doing it. Because if I don't use it, nothing happens. Uh, I think everybody's alive, right? Yep. Alright, let's save up. And... When we finish up here, we're going to be heading west, I believe, and then north, to try to get to the blocked cave with our new cannon and dynamite combo. How about that? And then what was it? We were technically on our way to, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the town already, but they kept talking about it. Tristan? Kind of like Tristram from Diablo. Anyway, I'm rambling now. See you guys at the, uh, freaking cave, right? Alright, so I want to use the silver tank. Okay, so basically I'm doing something that doesn't even really matter, honestly. <laughs> I want to use a silver tank <clears throat> on somebody that's not going to be my party just to use it. Because apparently it's only uh, Janet and Elric or whatever that can use it in the first place, so... Let's drive... The silver tank. I'll give it to Elric for now, it's fine. So from what I understand, the silver tank raises the archer's um, attack and defense, but like ruins the speed and the movement, which kind of fucking sucks in a way. Um, but I just want to do it just to do it, you know? Why not? So, looks like neither of them are on my team anymore, right? But we'll do, uh, we'll promote Janet. So yeah, this is completely pointless, but uh, I'm just doing it just to do it. <laughs> I'm like a completionist, dude. If I got somebody sitting in my team that's uh, 
not promoted, I'm just gonna do it. And then we'll also do Elric. Oh no! I think I just fucked up, guys. Did I not take the silver tank? Oh no, I did. We're good. Alright. Um... Well, enough uh, side questing, right? Let's go continue the story here. So, we're gonna go uh, try to blow up that blocked cave, which I think is just over here, right? Wait, it's not over there? Hold the fucking phone, people. Where is it? Huh. Wait, where is it? I thought it was over here. Oh, I think I'm not going the right way, huh? Hmm... Interesting. I thought it was close to Grand Seal, but was it... Yeah, wasn't it close to Grand Seal? Because... The blocked cave... I could have sworn that the blocked cave was right outside of Grand Seal. That's the Dark Cave. Cavern of Darkness or whatever. Well, I guess we'll cast Aggress. So I don't have to walk all the way back. Because <clears throat> I thought it was like when they were constructing new Grand Seal. Didn't somebody get hurt there or something? Or am I thinking back to the original? I'm all fucked up right now. I can't even lie. Where is this shit? <clears throat> Where is this? Oh, this looks like a new... Yeah, this is a new battle, right? Alright. Where did I take the wrong turn? I guess I must have went too far south or something. That's what I'm talking about, guys. You can legitimately, at times... Get a little bit uh, twisted and lost in this game. Oh, Blaze 3 and Boost 2 and 61 attack. Yikes. And then we got some more skeletons. And a Dark Sniper with a Hyper K. <sighs> Blast 3. Medical Herb. Medical Herb. Blizzard. Alright, so we got the demon dudes up there. We got this body of water. I think we're gonna go south. the skeleton can get to me, but I don't know. It depends what the terrain is like over there, I guess. Actually, yeah, that skeleton can get to me. For sure it can. Oh, big mistake. Yeah, I, I definitely underestimated the movement there. Because of the one that was below. <clears throat> anyway, let's try out May's new digs here. 
Not very strong, but... <laughs> um, okay. Let's definitely heal. That's right, we know a new, uh, we know Apollo now. Hmm. Let's do it then, huh? A little fire action? Damn, that would've one-shotted him. Okay. Kazen's legit now. He's over the, uh... <laughs> he's over the Virgin Blaze caster, and now he's the Chad Summoner. Fuck you, Dark Sniper. Eat it. Oh, one! There we go, double attack. Well, uh, Rick and Chester are just gonna keep leveling up at this point, because <laughs> I'm waiting to get that Pegasus Wing before I make a decision. I mean, we do not have it yet, so... Alright, I guess I'll fall back. Get healed by Sarah. I'd like to swing up and beat the lesser demons as well, but I guess we'll see. Hell yeah! Let's go, Slade. It's a weak ass counter though, but. Uh, wait a minute. So she knows heal, boost, and blast. Okay. Is it boost two? No, boost one. So it is a full heal, I believe. Hmm. I guess I will put you over water right here, right? This lesser demon. They actually know a spell, right? It was Blaze 3? Yeah, I gotta be careful where I place him, actually. Um... Hmm... Maybe right here. Guess we'll continue to heal Kazen. So if I remember correctly, I think it's probably better to try to promote Sarah later <laughs> into the 20s, but I, I don't know if it matters with the bigger ball or not. Fuck. Because typically it's better to promote later in general, but to promote later for a healer, uh, because usually they get like extra heal spells or MP gains or something along those lines. So I'm kind of on the fence. She's a bit of a drag to fucking, honestly, <laughs> to baby. But once she gets the Vigor Ball, she's easy to level up. So it's kind of like, do I just do it right away or what's up? I don't know the answer. All right, cool. Oh, excuse me. All right, I gotta heal Slade.
Um. Yeah, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I think I actually beat into you. Because somebody should get a turn to hit the skeleton before Slade. Or before the skeleton has a turn, right? Uh, do I just block him? No, I'm getting greedy, people. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy here. I want, like, Jaha or somebody to go down and block Slade from getting injured. Oh my god, the double heal. Aura. Fuck me. Well, so much for any of the shit that I did just now. Should have taken the kill, huh? Fuck! Oh my goodness. Somebody please go block the skeleton. <laughs> Otherwise Slade's gonna die. Oh no. Um... Fuck you, Bishop. Oh my goodness. One of those fights, huh? One of those fights. Um... Oh, hey! Here we go. Perfect timing, Karna. Yeah, I would say Karna is actually a very uh, good addition to the, the force. Apparently, she's just OP as fuck, I'm assuming again with the Vigor Ball. But even in her current state, she's like much needed at this point. Although that would have been nice to get a blast off there. Shit. Um... Does anybody need healing? Not yet, other than May, who I could just do this to for some experience. Oh man, I shouldn't have positioned Karna there. I wanted to do, a uh, Apollo, and I can't even do it now. Fucking sucks. Oh, okay. I wouldn't say things are getting sketchy, but... I mean, they're definitely, uh... A little bit more intensive, I would say. Defense went up by three. <clears throat> oh shit, I forgot Rick's almost dead, dude. He might get killed. He might get killed. No, oh, we got the block here. Oh, one damage. Now watch the uh, fucking. He's gonna get healed right away. Take him out. Punch up. Oh. I'm so like caught up in Gerholt's old form where he punched everybody in the face. I'm clawing people now, okay? Alright, so we could heal uh We get there. <laughs> Can heal Rick. And Karna is the real MVP. All right. I guess we'll start focusing our attacks on this dude.
Thank goodness for that promotion. Alright, if anybody can go... Oh, it's second attack, though. Let's go, May. Let's go. We're probably about to get blazed or fucking Kazen was gonna get KO'd. Yo, that did a lot more damage than I thought. This isn't gonna kill him, is it? I should have just used Apollo. Oh, okay, good. 21. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, we got the Blizzard too from him. Cool, cool, cool. Man, sorcerers though. Good shit. That's a cool ass attack animation. I can't front. I like it. Um, guess we'll just attack here. I love how fucking Slade like turns away from the enemy. It's such like a, what a G move. Oh, nice. That's a good level up for Gerholt. Love it. Another good level up for Peter as well. Alright, um... Slade needs healed for sure. He's like fucking killing it right now, dude. From what I understand though, she doesn't like progress a crazy amount or anything, which kind of sucks, but. As far as like the attack goes and whatnot, her defense went up uh, four points in the last two levels, which is always good. Alright, so, we have a decision to make now. Uh, do we use... our... Apple to get her to 20 and do an immediate promotion or not? I don't know. I do not know the answer. forest. Oh, come on. Oh, of course. Of course. I miss my second attack and then I get countered. Oh, shit. Going after Rick? Oh, man. Rip. Sorry, buddy. I put you in harm's way and that's my fault. So anybody can get the kill here, which is good. Poor Slade. Yeah, 
There we go, more than half now. That puts us in a good position for, you know... Freaking enemies that, uh... Hmm... Enemies that you can kill now, if you get like a double attack, you know what I mean? Hmm... I thought about taking the kill, but then I didn't. I want Luke to get one of the kills, if possible. Um... Let's boost... Oh shit, boost does everybody like that? Yo, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Yo, that's good. <clears throat> that is good shit. Yo, boost is pretty OP actually, huh? Well, I'll be damned. Nice. I think I saw defense went up by three, unless I just wasn't paying attention. Which is always possible. Um, let's just do heal one. What's she at now? Oh, oh duh. She literally just went. <laughs> um, I don't want... Wait, what? Oh, he's boosted. I got scared. I thought he was, like, cursed or something. I'm like, come on, man. Just sneezed all over the place. All right, um, 59, 78. I'm gonna pass. I want Luke to get the kill here. Oh yay, a medical herb, yay. All right, the final showdown, let's go. No, he should. Oh, it's Blaze Three, isn't it? Yeah, we're dead. Holy shit, dude! Blaze Three only does fifteen damage. Pathetic. Pathetic shit. He's gonna be sick. He's gonna be on my end game, okay? I don't care how bad he is. Don't care anymore. Alright, let's heal. Should probably heal uh, Gerholt as well.
All right, we're out of range, unfortunately. That hurt. Let's take you out then, shit. Or not, just kidding. MP, so probably have to use some healing items before I head up there towards the end. The end, end battle, end game. Whatever you want to say. Alright, let's do a little heal too, I guess. Um, slay it again. Alright, cool. So at least he's- ooh, ooh! Not cool. Whatsoever. The fuck? Just fine. I think. Woo! No! Hey, let's go. Guess we'll heal Luke. This May doesn't need to be in the fray anymore, you know what I mean? Necessary Apollo for the kill. All right, now we could focus our attention on this guy. Anybody can get the kill here unless he heals himself. Which is a possibility. Uh, let's just give it to Peter. We need to keep making him as OP as possible. Hopefully we don't miss and get a counter. There we go. You know, all in all, not too bad. Pretty good fight. Uh, a little sloppy at times, but you know what? I'm not the cleanest uh, battle tactician that there is, so... And here we go. Road, road! Yes? You know about devices like this, right? Razor has a cannon and some dynamite here. Can you remove those rocks? Ah, okay, let me try. Road gets the dynamite from Razor. Stand back. Ready? Perfect! We can now go to North Parmesia. Wow, this cannon is great! Dude's obsessed with it now. <laughs> I can attend the battles with this weapon. Razor, do you need this anymore? May I use it? Huh? Wow, now I can fight alongside you. Hey. The Brass Gunner Road has joined the force. So I think his movement sucks balls, but let's check. Please call me when you need my help. Road is hooked. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Ra okay, Razor, let's go to North Parmesia. Um, all right. We need to, like, revive and shit first. Yes, I could have just cast Aggress. I realize this. Mm. 
Oops. Alright, let me think. Alright, let's take a look at our crew here. Um, member. Still level 20. Oh, I forgot that I know magic now for Slade. It's alright. Alright. So he's got the assault shell. What do we got here? 55, 34, 5. 55, 34, 5. But his movement's 7. Hmm. What about that? Do I really want to waste it on him? You know, because I don't want to, like, take Gerholt's running ring away from him. But, like, Road is better than Rick. But Rick's also not promoted. Right? And neither is Chester. Chester needs to get promoted. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, I think my team's good for now. Sorry, Road. Let's uh, head over to that tunnel. Where I'm sure there's gonna be a fight. Uh, we didn't use any items in the last battle, so that's good. Which reminds me, let's give... The Blizzard to somebody who should have it. Like Sarah. Alright, let's work our way back over there. I- wait, what? Hold up. Nah, I'm not fighting this shit again. <laughs> not a chance, dude. Not a fucking chance. Well, that sucks. Again, I don't like that. I don't like it. I know that's an easy way to start grinding. You can just keep doing that battle over and over again if you wanted, but I don't know. I really, really do prefer in the first that when you finish your battle, it's fucking over with. That's the end. Because, I mean, I realize you have to suspend, you know, your belief here and there, right? But how would it make sense that the enemies would just keep respawning? You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, great, another dark tunnel battle. Wonderful. With, it looks like, the same enemies as outside, huh? Yep, 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 yep. Same enemies, there's a treasure chest over there, okay. This is the only different enemy, I think. Ooh. Attack magic? I can't remember, does that boost attack or does it actually do damage? Anyway. Let's just start moving. Do, 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 do. This one might be a little tough, actually. Gonna get motion sickness. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> yeah, Chester's really lagging behind, dude. He needs to get promoted. He needs, like, promotion weapons and shit. Oop. 
Nope, no, no. Let's go right here. Get a heal three on Razor so we don't accidentally lose the fucking battle. It's right next to you, dude? That sucks. I thought since it was, like, magical that you'd be able to, uh... I thought since it was, like, you know, Blizzard and all that kind of shit that it'd be able to reach out further than just one square. That's disappointing. <clears throat> That's some disappointing shit. You know what? I'm gonna slap this guy right in the face. How do you like that? I don't feel like wasting the MP. might be my uh, my Pegasus Knight, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's take a look at the lay of the land here real quick. Skeleton Warrior. Two dudes down here. We're just going in. Fuck it. Reckless abandon, people. Kill or be killed. Straight up. Chester. Chester's gonna get killed, that's for sure. Oh, Chester, why did I do you dirty like that, buddy? I'm so sorry. You are going down, my friend. There's no way they don't target him. Oh, that's right, they do target Peter a lot. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. That's fine. All right, let's go here. And let's do the old, eh. yeah, I guess we'll just heal. Slade. Maybe we could check out his magic uh, this next attack. Right? I think we can. I'll leave you here. Or the kill.
All right, let's check it out. This ninja magic. Oh, come on, dude. Give me a break. <clears throat> that sucks. Now watch Slade get killed because of that, probably. I'll be hanging. Oops. That's right, baby. 2-2. Two, two. Let's go, Gerholt. Alright, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's do a boost. I couldn't get the Slade to heal him, so... Why not? Can Chester get the kill? There we go. Is there still a demon down here? Yes, but he's all the way over there, okay. And the next closest people are up here. All around this oasis. Alright, alright. Seriously though, she makes me want to throw up, man. Goodness. Let's kill Peter. <clears throat> Alright, I need these guys to come down. They gotta start pressing the issue on me here. I can't fucking... Wait all day, please. Oh fuck, asking you shall receive. May's dead, right? Oh, come on, don't kill May. It's bullshit. There we go. Okay. Nice. Alright. We'll have Sarah do heal two on May. 
Mei should probably be able to kill the skeleton, and then I might send Kazen up to kill the lesser demon. The fuck was that? Mei was like gyrating. Um. Let me see, let me see. This is fine. Yo, why is everything so fast? Is there a glitch like down here? It's super weird. Um, who do I want to get attacked here? This is fine, I guess. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> Yo, there's a lot of enemies in this fucking fight. Holy shit, man. Also, what? How did the sniper fucking- thank you. Like, skipped. Oh, well, nah, we're dead now. Fuck me, dude. Really? When was it Gerhalt's turn? Like, what the fuck? That's some fucking horse shit. Seriously, fuck that. That's dumb. I'm pissed. She shouldn't have died. I swear to god her turns got skipped. Unless I'm just tripping right now, which is possible. Give me a break. Right, keep that MP going up, baby. Anybody need healing? I guess Rick. Another great level up. So we have that lesser demon down here. And then up here we got like six more people. Holy shit, man. This fight fucking takes forever. Trying to get experience at this point for her. <clears throat> All right, let's roll. Wow, attacking Jaha, that's weird. That's weird. I'm worried that Lesser Demon's gonna come up and blaze three like a million people. Experience for two MP. That's like 
super exploitable, dude. <clears throat> You attacked the wrong fella. You did. Oh my god. The counterattack missed by one HP, dude. One. And then he gets healed. What a dick. Yeah. Everybody's like gyrating down here. Have I not noticed that? Has that like been a thing post promotion and I just did not notice? I guess it's possible, right? <clears throat> or if it's just this cave battle. I feel like I remember seeing that back in the day. In some way, shape, or form. Should be able to kill him, right? Yep. Need a better sword for Luke at this point, man. Alright, so we have the lesser demon below. And I think we have... The Dark Soldier, a Lesser Demon, and... What else is over here? Is it a Sniper? No, it's another, uh... Dark Bishop. Let's get another boost, shall we? That's nuts, dude. You could level up like a million times in a battle with her by casting boost. Like, obviously, you probably have to drag the fight out a little bit to uh, level up, like, considerably, but... You get, like, 20 experience every time, dude, unless every- unless people are boosted, I'm sure, but... <clears throat> oh shit, the lesser demon, it's coming. It's coming hard. quite there. Ah, oh, every time, dude. Every time I think Peter is like, okay, he's in the clear. The, uh, the ouch AI comes over and fucks me. It's really funny, actually. All right, we going in. Rick is drawing first blood over here. Sarah's got to be super close to leveling up at this point, like within like 30 H or uh, XP probably. Oh, we're getting attacked. What a schmuck. Alright, let's try to take him out quickly. I want to be able to focus all of our attention on the Dark Soldier. If I can... bullshit heals from him. There we go. Ah, my attack didn't go up. That sucks.
All right, return fire in the lesser demon here. Come on, dude. What is this? <laughs> Look how fast his wings are fluttering. Oh, is it because they were boosted? Is that why? Because the speed went up? So they were like trying to make it look like, you know, a certain way. Rick's gonna get killed by the dark. Oh my god, I can't hit this fucking thing. Yeah, Rick's going down, right? Oh, he survived. Wow. I'm almost tempted just to go after the, the dark soldier at this point, since I'm missing the lesser demon so much. It's kind of fucking annoying. In fact, I think I will. Nobody can heal him anymore, so... Oh, what is with that, dude? How did you attack so quick, jerk off? That's stupid. Well, might as well, since we're out of range, right? We're going for it. There we are. Oh, I thought that was the end. Oh, I gotta kill everything? That's dumb. Dumb. Now I gotta, like, backtrack and kill this lesser demon. I didn't know that. Alright, whatever. Did not know that. We'll cast boost again, because why not? <clears throat> yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the excessant fluttering and all that kind of shit of the sprites moving so fastly had to have been for the boost. Oh shit, blast level 3 already. Holy moly. It's gonna be at least another turn before we could friggin' attack. Oh, I just wanna kill this dude already. <clears throat> I would have thought for sure that the, uh, the Dark Soldier would have been the uh, kill condition, so to speak. Damn, Blaze 3 in us? The only thing that's good about that is he put himself directly in harm's way now, so pretty much everybody's going to be able to attack. I can't do that shit. Bam. This should be it, right? Yep. Alright, cool. Nice level up. Hey, let's go loot this item. Fairy tier. Hmm. 
let's leave the cave, and I think we might be already in North Parmesia. At least... Should be. Oh, thank goodness, because I actually didn't want to do anything. <laughs> I wanted to, uh... Just kind of heal up and... Save. Where is the priest? Why are there signs everywhere? What the fuck? Hello? Where's the priest? The fuck? Is there no priest in this town? Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. I thought he wasn't gonna help me. Alright, let's revive everybody. Save and then actually start investigating this town. Good stuff, good stuff. North Parmesia. What lies ahead?